happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. Happy birthday! <laughs> happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. I can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys. Tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you. Uh, and happy birthday once again. Hi, my name's Susie Mellon and I just want to wish Jewelry Maker a very happy 13th birthday. Mwah. Good morning, <laughs> lovely Jewelry Makers. After the show, it's the after party and after the party, it's the hotel lobby. <laughs> <laughs> It's the after party! You know what that means? You've got to bring the naughtiest designer in. Because that's where all the, the naughtiness shop. happens. It's lovely Linda morning. Bromwell. Good Looking morning. Good vision, morning. as always. Thank you. How are you, my lovely? Yes, I'm really well. Yes, we welcomed a new member into our family yesterday. My niece had a little girl. And uh, so it was a little bit... Whew, Frantic. All, all day long, yeah, but eventually, yes. Baby appeared. So another girl. We seem to be a family of girls. Oh. That's great by me. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. and look what they can get. Yes, exactly. You know, they have. Exactly. So are you Nana, Nanny? Great aunt. Great aunt. I've always been a great aunt, but now I'm a great aunt. Amazing. Oh. Lucky little girls <laughs> to have you. Um, my goodness me. Well, we have... I know you've been part of the birthday celebrations. It's mm. been completely... We've, we've all said it, it's been the best one so far. Right. By a mile, by an absolute mile. What happens at the after party, I hear you say? Stays at the after party. Yeah, yeah that's the rule. That is the rule because you know there is, uh, yeah, there's, there, there'll be no shots, not at two, two, two minutes bar at eight in the morning. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I suppose. Who might yeah, say it's all known, but um, No, what happens at the after party? Now, if you've missed anything, any days, any shows, um, throughout the birthday celebration. Don't worry, because any of our biggest uh, um, auction opportunities will be included in this morning's show. Um, so they might be quite minimal in their quantity. Um, they might be a bit more plentiful. But yeah, all of the biggest deal of the days, the biggest star buys... Um, we kind of mop up at the end. So it's also fantastic, like I said, if you've maybe had something on over the birthday celebrations and you weren't able to tune in um, and you're thinking, oh, no, I've missed that chance. Hopefully we'll be able to bring it to you today. Um, uh, this hour, now, it is stacked, jam-packed. It is all very last of stock. So we're talking minimal quantities. So we've got last of stock jadeite. We've got the last of stock storage. We've got the last of stock sea beads. You know, the, the storage ones. The big the boxes, you know, which Mark brought you. Um, we've got the claw setting jig kit as well. Um, in fact, let's go on to the website. It's much easier because you can shop ahead on these. Um, there they are. So we've got the last of stock of those rainbow sea bead storage that Mark launched uh, a few days ago. Um, now, see number 42, I need to point that out because that is the only brand new premiere launch that we're bringing you this morning. Sorry, scrolling back. Um, and that is your Peruvian turquoise. Now, there's a couple, uh, uh, quite a few firsts in this opportunity. A, it's the first time we've seen this strand. It hasn't been part of the birthday as of yet. It was bought specifically for the after party. Um, also, we rarely ever see Peruvian turquoise. Mm. Um, and it's for me, it's really exciting because it's such a distinctive location of turquoise. It's got a really beautiful, very unique celestial blue colour, which I'll talk some more about. So if I don't want you to make comparisons with the USA turquoise. It is very different. Um, all those stud earrings limited in opportunities. Um, you've got, look, you're lovely. There they are. Beautiful earrings. Malachite, you can see. There's the claw setting jig we just spoke about. Natural pearls. You've got the last of stock opportunities of those magnetic class that were launched as part of the birthday we've got the rainbow bags we've got some coat and mutton fat you've got those letter charms last of stock opportunities um we have some lovely chains there south sea pearls there um you've got lots of your amazing jade included as well but again very very last of stock even some of your essentials um in your wire guardians uh you've got plain rounds there and your six mil uh, these are minimal so i would strongly encourage if there's something that you uh, absolutely cannot do without check out nice and early know that we will be if they're not loaded at their prices which are they ross are they loaded at the prices 
not all of them some of them will be going even lower as well so um but shop ahead like that storage unit that's at that price so um in fact it's just sold out so amazing that's how busy this hour is going to be there we go i've only just shown it and it's already sold out um so yes i would recommend having a look at the website all the all the wobblies at jewelrymaker.com um and yeah the peruvian turquoise is launching again i would shop ahead on that one because we're taking it to an amazing deal now i'm going to start with and it is going to be quite fast and pacey today um, this is the first early bird of the birthday celebrations. So amazing. We can bring you the gemstones. We can bring you the inspiration. We can bring you the talent. Um, but we also uh, need to bring you the practical side of things, how you gift your jewellery, how you present it, how you sell it, maybe. Um, you might be looking at these for um, another reason, maybe not jewellery making. You might be putting, I don't know, scented potpourri. Potpourri, you might have. Potpourri. Potpourri, maybe in your knicker drawer. Yeah. Is that still a thing, isn't it? People yeah. put potpourri in their yeah. knicker drawer, don't they? Yeah. Um, whatever it is. And we were talking about the fact that you can actually emboss these, you can embroider these. Um, you do get all um, all of the colours. So in total, you're getting a pack of um, pack of five of them. And I think you could we could do a little bit of sort of cross-channel uh, discussions here. These are going to work really on Sewing Street. They're going to work absolutely on places like Hobby Maker. Mm -hmm. You could use things like your Hot Fix on there. <laughs> oh yes. That would be really nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, do you think we stopped at six ninety nine? This was the first of our early bird uh, birthday celebration deals. Bear in mind, there's five. Do you reckon? Do you reckon we stopped at four pounds and ninety nine pence? And text in, come on, it's the after party. It's where all the trouble goes down. Mischief. Did we stop here? No, we didn't stop there either. We've got another price crash, but do expect items to sell out if there is anything in particular that you want me to bring to air then do text in um because uh, we'll, we'll gladly bring them we'll bring them to our screens um they are limited though know that ahead ahead of each opportunity don't i wouldn't wait for me is the point um <clears throat> drop us a message if you wish but um i would shop ahead no know, know that they have all gone to birthday deals and we will absolutely be honoring that as part of the birthday celebrations um in 30 seconds we're going lower than four pounds ninety nine. I mean, is I don't think it's just me, but when at Christmas birthdays, whatever occasion, and you get something in what you think, oh, that's a nice bag, yeah, and then you think, all right, I'm, I'm hanging on to that. That yeah. I'll do. I'll keep that in my bag stash. And I think the same thing applies with this. It's weird the psychology. Totally, that, it, you know, when you, you're showing that you respect that piece of uh, that piece of jewelry, yes, if you like, aren't you? Wants to be presented nicely. Um, you know, you present a gift, particularly of jewelry, uh, accessories. Um, you present it in the way that you wish something could be presented to you. Yes, absolutely. So, you do. And, 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 you know, if you go into somewhere like Rolex or you go into somewhere like Cartier, they ain't just giving it to you in a jiffy bag, are they? They're giving it to you. They're presenting it to you. Um, three pounds and 59 pence only. You can absolutely multi-buy like so many of you already are. Um, in terms of um, in terms of quantity, how many do we have? Oh, there's a hundred of these. That's wonderful. But... There was over 300 on the original launch. And also, I should say, 100 is actually not that many, especially when there's people getting twos, threes, and fours. Um, so it will be a sellout. Good morning, everybody. Ivy, Susan, David. Hello to you, Anonymous Maker. Gabby, Sean, Nancy, Pamela. Hello to you, Gwyneth, Caroline. Hello to you, Linda, Helen, Siobhan. Uh, Rhea, hello to you, London, West Midlands. Um, make sure you're checking out those baskets. Remember, these are also on a curfew, so you do have until the top of the hour to make your confirmations. But in more realistic it's until stocks last you're all up and at it bright and early this Sunday morning so yeah it's uh, you know we always look forward to the after party it many, as as jewelry maker crew we always say this is the best show to have um, because you've got everything really haven't you you've got a bit of everything that um, that has gone on throughout the course of the um, the birthday celebration so don't you, don't you worry if you've missed out on some of the occasions we can probably bring them to you today um, and it's Sunday so hopefully you've got your feet up and you can enjoy the show. I'll leave that with you because we've got more beautiful bags um, to bring. These are your pretty sh uh, um, chiffon, aren't they? That's how you would describe them, chiffon bags. And you get two of each colour. Um, so in total, you're looking at ten. So you get, hang on, that's bothering me. There you go. Um, two of the, um, of the lavender. You get two of the what, hot pink. 
you know, say I could describe this hot pink, two of that lovely sunflower yellow, two of the celestial blue, and then two of the really pretty lime green, lime green, delicious lime green. Um, and at £4.99 for all 10, I used to spend fortunes on chiffon bags when I had my jewellery business, and um, I can't quite believe the prices that we do today. We sold over 475 at the next price crash. That's why there's only 35 of them left. Just over 500 were purchased for the birthday. Again, this was the first, uh, this and the previous, um, were the first of your uh, birthday early bird deals. 199 at wholesale, and I can only pass on my own personal experiences, at wholesale when I had my jewellery business, um, I used to spend much more than that. Much, much more than that. That's okay, that's all right. Yes, yes, you just get, just you gotta you gotta put a jiggery pokery and just yep. sort of Here stuff everything into place and should be good to go then, don't worry. Um there was only thirty and I can see probably more than thirty of you um with it in your baskets and certainly multi buying. Linda in Manchester snapped up three. Ironically, Linda, you know, I used to travel up to Manchester for my uh, for my chiffon bags used to go up, used to get, do a big do a big haul, so I'd have literally thousands of them. Um, and that's how I had to buy them, basically. And it used to cost me fortunes. Um, Joy's here. You don't have to have a minimum quantity auction no. to benefit from the wholesale deals. And even then, I think it's beyond that. Jane's just got two. Muriel, well done. You, uh, Rhea, congratulations to you. Sean, Barbara, Wendy, hello to you. New customer, Caroline, Lynn, Manchester, Anne, uh, Helen in Carmarthenshire. Hello to you, new customers. Good morning, Come and say hello to us make sure you're checking them out because they're going to be selling out in, in a moment's time um shall we do some lovely malachite stud earrings these are pretty really beautiful now these were obviously on carol's watch weren't they um we didn't have these so this is the first time i'm seeing them as well um had i have seen them i would have bought them too <laughs> um <coughs> oh really uh ross is just saying i thought that you would <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you want, we've got the earrings. Um, we've got them in garnet, amethyst. Um, the amethyst is actually sold out. You get a lovely five millimeter round. Um, if I just move this one here, you can see how the actual setting is. You've got the 925 sterling silver there with the butterfly back as well. Um, amazing quality of malachite. Um, yeah, we're going to do this in one price crash because it is a super low deal. Solid 925 sterling silver. <clears throat> and there's those wonderful peacock's eye. I love this because the round is actually the perfect peacock's eye, isn't it? Can you see that? How it kind of orbits um, those five millimeter rounds. Pardon? For a wow. pair of genuine gemstone sterling silver stud earrings. I mean, malachite is so incredibly Huge. on the up now. Huge. All the big designers are yeah. working with it. I mean, since Van Cleef and Arpel did it in their Alhambra collection. It's just gone wild. Or should we just it? say since we did it? Okay, then, since we since did it. Since jewellery maker. Yeah, that's very true, actually. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know because you yeah. think about it, Dior, yeah. uh, Chopard, you said Van Cleef and Arpels. Yeah. I mean, there are countless, countless different designers, high-end designers working with it. Um, we can show you some of those, if you wish. £6.99. Go along to Pravin's. And that's just a sliver. That's a sliver. 18 carat. Oh, okay, so they so they are gold, but it's only a, to a small amount of gold. Mm -hmm. You're talking about, what, £175? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. We're wearing that same beautiful gemstone for £6.99. How many do we have of these available? 20. Okay, I thought they would be a, set, uh, you know, um, a popular item that we've launched over the birthday celebrations. If you've got multiple stud piercings, it'd be quite nice to mix the gemstones, maybe going up the ear. Here's another one. Um, so the Aurora Malachite and Gold Vermeil Cabochon stud earrings, £45. They're lovely. They're absolutely beautiful, but they're still 45 quid. There's a big difference in the price point, isn't there, to, mm -hmm. what, um, to what we see here in the studio. Again, it's that same gemstone. This is not an imitation. We are talking about true, uh, true malachite. I know our sister channel have just been launching some really lovely malachite collections, which are um, hugely, hugely popular as well. Um, yeah, we've loved it for, for ages, haven't we, here at Malachite? Uh, here at Malachite, here at Jewelry Maker. It was a little bit of a, um, it was a, it was a Tucson joke actually where's Elle find the Malachite <laughs> she'll be by the Malachite yeah. um, amazing you've met what have you done 
this. No, that is, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 this. Is it meant to be all of this? So you get a set of three beautiful natural purple pearls and you get the bag, I need to point out, which is beautiful. And you get, oh my goodness me. We've taken it straight down to that price point, but these are absolutely flying. Out of the six that we had, three have already gone, so we need to bring it to air. So uh, um, hang on a minute. So that's three strands of natural pearls, which you would expect to pay a premium for. Plus you get the three half drill pearls. I mean, abs uh, at least, no, it's got to be more than that. It's got to be more than £25 each. If we were normally, pearl strands like this, we're going to be what, 199 I'd yeah, say? Yeah. For naturally coloured yeah, pearls? Yeah. For a jewellery maker? Yeah, without a doubt, yes. But particularly these sort of metallic y purpley yeah. ones, they come at such a, a premium. They do, they really do. Look at the quality of those amazing lustre. And I was researching pearls last night. And again, it just kind of drills into me that, you know, the quality of the pearls that we, uh, that we bring here at Jewellery Maker. We only have six, or rather had six. Um, London, you've already got yours amazing, multi-buying. And again, I've got another anonymous collector who's got theirs. Congratulations to you. Um, that is an amazing, amazing deal. You can get hold of it on your split payments as well. Simply not that and put it with a high-end clasp. You've just made... Mm, you know, premium yeah. quality oh, jewellery. Yeah. Um, yeah, you need to check them out. 150 sold of these on launch. I've got six of them left. Liz, you can do it, my lovely anonymous maker. You can do it if you check out your baskets, but I would have um, um, a sense of urgency. Um, Cardiff, did you say? Cardiff, if you press your option one key, then you can do it as well. It's all down to first come, first serve basis. And never has that been more apparent than this morning. With the after party, after the party, it's the hotel. Lab. Sorry, it's in my head now that. Every time I say it, every time I say it, sorry, Adam, sorry, sorry. What's that? 20 that we have sold, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, quantity is sold on everything on the website. So, um, and it is more than one, obviously. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. Everything's flying out the door. Fabulous. Um, what should we do next? Mm. Lovely, which one? Turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. Okay, that's that one. Oh, th now, again, I've not seen these before. Ah, oh, day two of the birthday. Oh, do you know the first thing I noticed? I love the length. Yes. Yeah, I love the uh, the fineness of, oh. of these chains. Oh, Linda, these are beautiful, aren't they? Yes. And you, you, if you want to cut away that little jump ring, you can. Yes. You don't and, have to And keep also, it. it's a chain that you can, if you wish, cut them up because they are, you know, decent link size. Yeah. There for, you know, adding charms to or uh, little, connectors, whatever. Pop a little tassel on there or a little pendant yeah, or a yeah. pearl. Or, as I, and do you know, this is probably what I would do. I would cut that jump ring away and just literally polish it down mm -hmm. and wear it as a really simple kind of Monica Veneda inspired piece of jewellery. What we're looking at here is a beautiful turquoise, which is wrapped in wonderful 925 sterling silver, 20 inches, which is my preferred length. It's all down to your personal choice and preference, of course. Um, I just think you get a lot of versatility with it. 20 inch um, <clears throat> yeah so I mean you could easily put um, a single gemstone on there you could do, maybe do a little sort of bubble style you could put a charm on there if you wanted one of what those are, pearls one of those uh, purple pearls all, all those look, alphabets don't, yes the alphabets would look absolutely amazing which are also on the website as we speak um, I mean you think about it if this was in a Monica Veneda box um, and it had their branding, of course, you would not be looking at £24.99. pence. No, near. You wouldn't be looking at a plain sterling silver chain for £24.99, no. pence, would you? How many have we got of these then, Roscoe? Okay, there's only 30 left. These were incredibly popular on the launch. Really? Of course, I'm, I genuinely, with the after show, you've got to remember there's a, uh, for me, I prep obviously for a show, but there's a lot to prep before the after party because you've got so much in the show and Ross doesn't bother telling me the prices of everything because I my brain simply won't retain all that information so under 20 pounds wow it's a big gram weight of 925 sterling silver plus a genuine turquoise there in the center are we the team went really low and I'm saying they because this was obviously on the other shift side how amazing 
Oh, I'm shopping again. It's uh, every single day over birthday. I seem to have been shopping, Linda. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, th you know, this is um, this is an item really where you can't go wrong with it because even if you don't know um, if you want to wear it or you can't think of gifting it at the moment, you will. You do will absolutely without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, you'll, you'll think do. of someone. It's going to. I be love to think of that waterfall tassel coming. From oh, that. beautiful! Saying some appetite or something like that would be beautiful. Oh, do you know we had the other day, Linda, the most amazing strand of topaz or zircon, either, either, or, and I was talking about creating one big full tassel mm -hmm. of those because uh, they were like remarkably beautiful. Imagine one of those suspended from this mm. in nine seconds. I can't believe this clock is ticking, but we are going even lower than £20. There's a big gram weight, you can see that just shy. Um, a whisper under three grams of 925 sterling silver. Again, quality turquoise, you can see that wonderful robin egg blue. I don't know what this is going to, so oh my goodness me. Again, I'm going to say it if this was Monica Veneda, which I don't know if you know this, a lot of our. Um, Pieces are made in the same factory. Um, so this might have been created right, literally alongside other Monica Veneda pieces of jewellery. So um, you've got that. Pr the reason I'm saying it is because to indicate the quality that you get from us here at Jewellery Maker, just at a different price point. £14.99. Caroline, I'm joining you on this one. And Charmaine and Beshley, uh, Alison, hello to you, Midlothian, Caroline. Once these have gone, they've gone. You've got a really large, generous lob, uh, bolt ring clasp at the back. So um, so really easy, I would say, on and offable. If you struggle putting your clasps on, then guess what? Have a look on the website. We've also got um, um, we've also got the magnetic clasp, haven't we? With the lobster claw. Um, they are very limited, though. The single figure quantities of each and every single one of those. Um, but they have the lobster claw, so you can literally just attach it directly to. All under £10 revolutionary can't talk about lobster claws without saying that word it's impossible <laughs> um well done everybody sharon amanda june annette um hello to you miss janet hello gorgeous girls and team jm lovely to see you linda i've been I'm watching sure, you on you. hobby starter um enjoy oh. the after party prices bring the fizz yeah where's the fizz we do uh oh. Oh, it's on ice. Oh, cool. That's all oh. right then. Um, just the one for me, though. Just the one for me. Just I'm going to drive. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We can arrange a taxi, can't we? Yeah. Easy. Yeah, good job. Good point. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations to you all. Make sure you do check out those baskets. Um, we're going to move on to... Oh, Ross is checking. He, he sounds all pensive. The rest of the chains? Yeah. How? So hang on. That garnet in the same necklace under. Are you sure? Yeah. This under £10. Love it. Oh, I'm stocking up on these. You, you, do you know what? That, that's a great price for a, just a chain that's on its own. A beautiful stone, isn't it? Amazing. That's a great price just for the chain on its own if it was yeah, just a classic definitely. curve. 18 inch maybe. Not just shy of three grams of sterling silver with this most passionate red natural Rajasthan garnet. Look at the glow in it. Oh, I'm buying some of these. You know it's not stopping at 19.99, under 10 pounds. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? So obviously I miss these as part of the birthday celebrations. That's the joy of the after party. Love it. How many have we got, Ross? And I will be honest, I'm asking for my own personal benefit. Um, there's less than 50 of each of these. So again, which might sound like lots. The, uh, oh, oh, you just probably burst my bubble then. Ross was like, sorry, Elle, the way these are going, you're not going to get one. But remember, at the end of the that's true. Uh, at the end of this hour, they disappear. Um, they disappear anyway. So have a little look on the website. It's absolutely worthwhile. Or, or the app. You can shop ahead um, on these chains. So you can see number eighteen is what's draped across the back of my hand. The lovely uh, Rajasthan garnet for a tenner. Crazy. Um, your amethyst going under ten pounds. Uh, the sky blue topaz under ten pounds. The citrine under ten pounds. Um, we've just done the turquoise. Tiger's eye, under £10. Oh, you're right. These I'd be stocking up on these because they'd be absolutely fantastic presents, wouldn't they? Well, as well as being fantastic presents, also, if you do um, sell your jewellery um, at craft fairs or wherever, 
um, then you have got three quarters of a piece made up for you, um, but you are still able to add your signatures to it. Um, so time is money, really. Isn't At it? time is money. You know? And these inspire you. These things like this, where you um, most of the work has already been created, it's quite inspiring as to what to do next. Amazing. I love these. You can get five for under fifty pounds. Tiger's eye, citrine, sky blue topaz, amethyst, and the Radistan garnet for under fifty pounds. You know today. they would look fantastic if you've got some little extender chains as well. They would look incredible stacked. Layered, yeah, yeah, lovely. Absolutely beautiful. But you need to be quick. It is busy, busy, busy this morning. You're all up and at it, even though it's a Sunday. It's the after party. You don't want to miss a trick, do you? You don't want to miss a single thing. Look at all these names. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Pamela, Sharon. Hello to you. Uh, Carol, Suzanne, Sarah. Hello to you, David, Carol, Jane, Sh uh, Sharon, Rebecca. Um, Hi, Jane in Lancashire saying I've shopped every day of the birthday and my Christmas and birthday box is looking good for this year. All thanks to Jewelry Maker Prices. Fabulous. You're my kind of girl, Jane. Clearly, my kind of girl. I would be doing exactly the same. So it's good to be organised, isn't it? Um, OK. Are we, let's do the amethyst then, shall we? Let's do... The, oh, this is beautiful. I, and, and do you know what? The joy that these are under £10, I would struggle picking a favourite. Mm -hmm. So are these kind of prices we don't have to, do we? Nope. Absolutely not. I have one of each. Uh, Thank that you That amethyst with a seed pearl tassel. Oh, beautiful. Be beautiful. You've got birthstones here as well. Yes. I mean, you can, you can yeah. personalise your gifts or maybe your own um, pieces of jewellery. How beautiful. £9.99. Again, even if it didn't have this lovely detail and I had draped across my back, the back of my hand a 20-inch chain at £10, that's absolutely amazing because it, it, it is a whisper under three grams. Uh, yeah. So you've got a closed jump ring on the end, Ross was just asking. Um, so, yeah, you can just literally wrap loop directly onto there. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Personally, I would probably snip that off and just get my um, learn from Claire McDonald and just give it a little buff, little polish, um, and wear it as a really simple dainty necklace. I think that would be really mm -hmm. pretty. We'll do the citrine on the back of this, the sibling of your amethyst, of course. Hello, Ellen. Um, I said I wouldn't shop today. But can't beat these bargains. Can we see the topaz, please? I tell you what, we'll do citrine, then topaz. No problem, lovely. No problem at all. I know, Ellen. Can, this is the thing. Can we afford to miss out on these opportunities? That's what I always say to my husband. Oh, believe me, I've saved more than I've spent. And he's like, mm -hmm. that, yeah. Right, oh, well. Yeah. He gives me that eye roll. Uh, let's do the citrine. Um, the citrine's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. The quality of this stone, is, it's glowing. Citrine should look like a little buttercup. Should have that wonderful sunshine yellow. Um, oh, it's just summertime in a beautiful necklace. Look at this. I, again, you're flying in for this opportunity. Love it. Um, under £20, you know we're not stopping there. Never mind under 10. Never, you know, never mind under 20, under 10. That's what I meant to say, sorry. Um, beautiful, look at that quality. I like your idea, actually, of just layering them up. I think that'd be absolutely beautiful nice. layering that, them up. That citrine is a beautiful stone again. It's almost Madeira-esque. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Yeah, it's not insipid. It's not no. pale. Um, it has that intensity. The golden present, really, to quantify it as being citrine. Again, so many of you there. I can see you there, Ellen. Well done, lovely. Oh, you're local to us as well. Uh, Pamela, hello to you, Charmaine, Suzanne, Jane, Glynn. Hello to you, Penny and Bucks. Um, nice to see you this morning. Absolutely beautiful. I'd be intrigued to know, are you going to put a big tassel? Are you going to put a single pendant on there? Are you going to put a charm? Maybe a, um, one of the uh, sterling silver letters that are on the website right now. Um, I've got two more to bring you. So sky blue topaz just for you, Ellen. Well, not just for you, but, you know, at, at your request, especially for you. Yes. Um, and then we've got the tiger's eye to bring you as well. You know where it's going. No surprises. Uh, see what I mean? I'm really struggling to find a favourite, Linda. Yeah, so am I. Ah, uh, this will go perfect with the... Hang on. Hang on. Thought. If you wanted to do Linda's idea of a little sort of cluster... Imagine some Peruvian turquoise underneath. That would be beautiful. Bra the only new piece of the day. 
Or just one would be yeah, quite significant on there, wouldn't it? I love Peruvian turquoise. It's, I think it's such a gorgeous It's the first time I've seen colour. it. It's a gorgeous It's almost colour. amazonite -esque. Yes, it is, yeah. £9.99 pence for your sky blue. You get this really delicate, it's quite glacial, a little bit more like your aquamarine. Um, so again, make sure you're checking out that Peruvian turquoise uh, is coming your way. Um, last but by no means least, we have the tiger's eye. Is that that one? Let's have a look. look. Process of elimination, Al. You should know which one this is. Um, <laughs> the last pot L. I haven't got it here. Oh, I have. Yeah, I have. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, there we go. Everybody loves tiger's eye, don't they? Now, I think this one you could, uh, a man could wear. Yeah, because it's a weighty enough chain. Yeah, you could put another tiger's eye if you wanted to put a drop on it. Another lovely. tiger's eye would look lovely, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Or a carving or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful, full of chatoyant, so you can see that lovely migration of light as it sort of glides across the surface from those microscopic platelets within. Again, we know that not, oh, it, it, this could absolutely be in, even if I'm conservative and said, you know, walk into uh, a, a sort of a high-end jewellers, um, you're finding something that's bang on trend at the moment. Even if it was something like 50, 60 pounds, you'd think that was a great price, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. Oh, Something definitely. Like you know, in, in a jeweller's window, you would hone in on that, wouldn't totally. you? Totally. 50 or 60 pounds, and, and, Yeah, and a lot of those jewellers, you know, they give a, a slither, a little mm. slither of tiger's eye, whereas this is a wonderful... Uh, oh, a cabochon, uh, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a plump cabochon, it which is. I really like about it. Under £10, again, you're flocking in for this one. I'm not surprised. Um, well done, everybody. Coming up in a few moments' time, I've got some type A black jadeite. So if you missed out on that amazing showcase. Um, another item that I've got today is, is E6000 glue. So if, you need, if you're desperate for your E6000 glue, we've got it. In this hour, is it? We've got, not this hour... We've got hypo cement as well, haven't we? I was going to say, uh, yeah, we've got the hypo cement. This is my favourite glue um, because it's got the, not E6000, sorry, we're getting our glues mixed up. Um, hypo cement has got that precision, 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 precision. the one. <laughs> <laughs> precision nozzle um, so particularly if you do uh, things like your um, your, your gluing um, of your pearls say to the bales um, this is perfect I use this one all the time I need it to seems to be the go-to generally as well out there in the industry yeah it's my favorite by yeah. a mile yeah yeah and, and I know loads of people rave about it um, nine o'clock You've got the last chance opportunities to purchase the three lengths of unfinished chains, um, which are, are, I launched these, they're at, oh, Linda, look at these, seriously. Oh, luster on that. Look at the weight. Oh, wow. They're 50 centimetres each. These are at nine o'clock, so you can't get them just yet. And these would look lovely stacked, wouldn't they, layered? Oh, Amazing. They are incredibly designer, the paperclip look. Aren't they? Hang on, I've got one more pot to open. One second. Yeah, they're so, the paperclip chain's everywhere, isn't it? And we've, we, we did it. Well, actually, I can't... The Royal We, this was Ross. Ross found out that it was uh, Coco Chanel that first designed the, the paperclip chain some time ago. It was Jackie oh, O that, you, that loved it. Um, you did? No, I credit where it's due, Ross. You discovered that, didn't you? Um, yeah, it was Coco Chanel who actually uh, launched the paperclip chain many moons ago. Well, you can ago. see that it... it you know, that's so believable because it's so chic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is. And Jackie O, um, there she is. There she goes. There, there she goes. <laughs> Jackie O. <laughs> there she goes. Wearing the famous paperclip necklace by Coco Chanel, Jackie had wanted one for years, but Coco only made a very small number. One finally came up for auction and Jackie paid whatever she had to win it. Wow. She was obsessed with it. Well, there you go. Um, there you, you come go. With, uh, with more of a encouragement than that. Couldn't no, you? absolutely. Nine o'clock. You can get hold of these. They're the last opportunities. Um, solid nine two five sterling silver, and they're fifty centimeter length. So all you need to do, look. For example, we've got the magnetic clasps. So just attach a magnetic clasp to it. Mm -hmm. You're making high end jewellery. It's an incredibly uh, useful design. Uh, the paper clip, especially this flat one, because you can add to it yeah. so easily. Yeah. Amazing. They're amazing. Coming up at nine o'clock. Not yet, though. Shall we do... Oh, I'm just bringing, going to bring this little display over. Seriously. 
If I had to choose one color of jadeite, I would probably choose black. A, because not just because gemologically we know it is one of the rarest colors. We know it doesn't form in the same way as other colors of jadeite. We know it forms in almost splint-like. Uh, um, you could put them in the palm of your hand, so much, much smaller. And not only the fact that it takes three times longer than any other color of jadeite, because it's transitioned through those amazing colors. But for me, it's just that wonderful, look at this. They say about black jadeite, it should look like silk. And it does. Oh my goodness. The quality of our black jadeite, I'm going to say it. You know, we're at the after party. You know, throw caution to the wind. I have seen lesser grade in Cartier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Than what's on your yeah, screens right more, now. Much more sort of a dull. Opaque. Yeah. Really yes, opaque. Yes, opaque. Whereas this has that absolutely beautiful silky, silky sheen. sheen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, here we go. We can show you that piece. You know, and Ross knew straight away what I was referencing. Look, it's beautiful. And I would never turn that piece of jewellery away, of course. It's a 35 grand ring. When you look at it up close, though, it's very dull, isn't it? Pitted, it's not silky. It is, yeah, like you said, dull, basically. You've got beautiful diamonds, you've got some amazing goldsmith work. Um, but yeah, top quality black jadeite should have that mirror-like silky luster mm -hmm. across the surface. Know that these are type A grade completely and utterly natural. We heard sort of Dave and Susie speaking about it. Uh, just yesterday, type A is the investment quality that you aspire to. This, there's, no, there's no intrinsic value. It's not considered heirloom if it's type B or type C because it's polymer impregnated or it's, or it's dyed. These, and I'm going to start with the six millimeter, are totally and utterly natural. So I know these are very limited because I had the huge honor of actually launching these. Um, they absolutely flew out the door. The, I'll say it again, the quality of our jade dye is second to none. Um, and, and plus, you know, you, you've got that peace of mind knowing that it is exactly what we say it is because um, we laboratory test and certify absolutely every single gemstone that appears on your screens. 110 carats. Look at this. It, 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 it couldn't get any better than that. That's the thing. And I always try and have that uh, um, thought process. Could it improve in any way? Is there, is maybe is the, um, are they, is the drill hole maybe off center? Is the luster slightly lacking? Is it um, maybe more of a chicken skin color? Remember chicken skin, you can see the actual coarse textures of the gemstone. No, it, uh, in the Far East, they would refer to this as, uh, as imperial black. Yeah. You know, we call it, we romanticize it here in the West and refer to it as piano black, but it's not that, it's imperial black. There are 11 available. Let's half that price and know that that's an amazing deal. You try and get black jadeite for a triple figure price tag. You're going to be hard pushed. You will, especially of this quality. At £249 for imperial black quality, I'm going to say out loud that we are not done. There were, did you say eight? Sorry, 11. 11 available opportunities, but now there's eight left. Okay. Okay. There's eight of them left. Um, I can't remember what we took these to, Ross, you know. You've got... Oh, didn't we? Was this not me? Oh, it was the rondelles, wasn't it, that we had? That's right. Um, okay. Remember, these are available uh, for 22 minutes now. So you've got till the top of the hour to make your com confirmations. Samantha, I can see you there. These are impeccable. Um, it was Carol that launched. These are absolutely remarkable quality. Again, it's that liquid sheen luster. Wow, that's low. £74.50 on your split payments or £149 for you today. What? What did they take it to? Is this a Dave... I think this is a Dave deal, isn't it? We took it to a double figure price tag, apparently. Whoa. I mean, you know, at this level of, um, of jade, um, I would use it sparingly. Very sparingly, um, yeah. You know, just a pair of earrings at yeah. £149 wouldn't defend me in the least. Do you know what I would do with it? Because coming up at 10 o'clock today, we have South Sea mm. and Tahitian pearls in one strand. 
can you imagine black jadeite mixed with those? Well, just look at that. Yeah. Look at that. So you've got your jadeite on the top, you want to do a drop of that pearl oh. for a pendant or earrings. I mean, just... move over Sotheby's. Exactly. Seriously. Exactly. This, or this... Sotheby's, you'll get this in, in a few years' time. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. And you, we should be doing that. The quality of your jewellery, the gemstones that we are working with, absolutely could, these could sell at Sotheby's, Christie's and Bonhams. I can't believe I'm about to say this out loud. We are taking this beautiful type A black jadeite strand in your most popular size under £100. £49.50. I know that Mr. Troth has said this countless times, but we should not be able to purchase this gemstone, Taipei, Burmese, particularly imperial black jadeite, for anywhere near double figures. Nope. It is a gemstone that you absolutely... We, we should have to dig deep for it because the natural rarity. Jadeite in all of its other varieties is rare. In the more slightly more abundant sort of apple greens, for example, black is is, is arguably... Uh, and, and, and there almost is almost unattainable, isn't it? It I is. Mean, I mean, I, I don't think, you know, if we sell out of this black jadeite, I have no idea if and when we'll be able to buy it again, particularly at this level. Quite possibly not. That's uh, uh, yeah, especially at this price point. Mm -hmm. If we do buy it moving forward, it won't be at double figures. Mm -hmm. we've, we've, no we've I mean, it's um, it's it's like uh, freshwater culture pearls as well at the moment. Yeah, this gemstone's in exactly the same position. It is getting rarer by the minute because the Asian markets are hanging on to it. For Dominating. Yeah. Um, make sure you check out because I can see you all there. Absolutely beautiful quality for that. Um, okay, let's now bring you the bicones. This was, I, I, I think, a moment of revelation for, for Dave because we said to him, oh, it'd be lovely to actually have your jadeites in bicones. And he was like, what's a bicone? He'd never heard of it before. And then when we showed him, he was like, well, they won't do it because it's too oh wasteful. Um, obviously, we found a way. Me. I know. In amazing. I, um, Susie yesterday gave me, because she I, I got some black uh, um, bi jadeite bicones. Might well be this strand. Um, because Susie was watching at the right time. I was like, Susie, please, can you add some to your order for me? Um, I, I'm obsessed with it. Again, it's those kind of flat, beautiful facets it that emphasize again the imperial black quality you need to be quick though because there are only five available within the uh, within the vault once they're gone they're gone we've been just just brutally honest and said look even if we do get black jadeite back again what we absolutely cannot do is bring it to you oh dear me oh my word well i'll have all five in a heartbeat. Forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. I mean, that is my favourite cut of gemstone. Is that is a bicone? I've always right from day dot. Yeah. I oh, they're stunning, the beautiful. It's just Imagine the way the a light. tassel. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, rosary linked as well. Um, it's just a delightful um, shape to cut a gemstone because it has so many surfaces. Now, particularly in this gorgeous deep lustery black you know this silky black it's a match made in heaven I'm, I'm i'm quite uncomfortable with that to be honest i'm uncomfortable with 49.99 well if, for lots of reasons one of <laughs> which is where else where else yeah i don't find know. a um i don't a black know jadeite in in a bicone i have no idea we've got got it in four mil too oh it's, there's your tassel there's then. your tassel yeah. there's your tassel with the bicone just what sitting at the end yeah, beautiful. Say that again, Ross. Oh, I just don't, I don't, I don't know. It's so obvious, and again, Dave said this yesterday. We know our audience have got a wealth of knowledge on your gemstones, not just your jadeite. You know this shouldn't be going to double figures. You do. You know that. And you know that if you bought this just did something really simple like a stretchy bracelet, um, you could absolutely be commanding prices, I don't know, in some places, in excess of what's on your screens oh, right wow, now. definitely. It's imperial black. Definitely. I mean, if you put that into a bracelet and put a, um, a magnetic clasp on it, um, that bracelet would stand you in such good stead for yep. any occasion. 
you know, normal daily wear to the office or uh, to work or whatever, and then going out to the poshest of eateries or whatever. Linda, it's going under £50 again. Wow. We're doing it again. So I I'd be teaming this with some of the red jadeite that we're bringing you today as well. Um, we've got last in stock opportunities of your red jade eye. Imagine those team together, or as you said, with some of the finest quality pearls, maybe your Akoyas or your Golden South Sea. That, again, I, I'm, I'm actually quite uncomfortable about that. Bring those pearls um, in again, Al, if you wouldn't mind. So just, these ones? Yeah. Oh, wow. It just makes you go... 10 o'clock today. It does, doesn't it? That's like eat your heart out, Met Gala yeah. ball oh. jewelry. It it couldn't get any uh, any more luxurious. That's than the that. sort of jewelry that celebrities borrow. From, yes, from exactly. Like big uh, jewelers. South Sea, Tahitian, and black jade eye. If you want to see it alongside the red jade eye, then here you go. Black and the red. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. Um, how many did I have of the four millimeters? Started with 15, I've got nine left. Well done, everybody. Heather, Debbie, Samantha, Lucy, Amanda, Maker Wanting Four. Suja, I can see you there as well. I love a four mil. For, I, I gravitate to four mils. I always, I always want to sort of step outside my sort of comfort zone, but I, I make with fours at four millimeters more often than not. Well, I think with a four mil gemstone, particularly with a black of this caliber as well, you can bulk it up if you want to into a beaded bead, whatever. Yeah. So, but then you can also keep it delicate because, I mean, I, I'm quite happy to wear, uh, when I go out, sort of statement looks, but my daughter never would. She would definitely wear this as a... South Sea? Definitely. How beautiful is that? With South Sea pearls? It South doesn't sea get pearls. any more luxurious mm. than this. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't get any more... Well, I mean, those are, are two, um, one, an organic and a gemstone that are going to be available far less. And I really mean this. I wouldn't say it unless I did. I've read so many articles over recent months about the scarcity now. Yeah, of, absolutely. Of particularly South Sea pearls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They're coming up at 10 o'clock today as well. Um, now, at the beginning of the um, hour, we said some of the items were set at the price. Some of them weren't. Some of them were going even lower. Um, this next item is not set at the final price tag. Um, so when you see it, it, know it's going lower. Okay. Um, these are your uh, good luck gourds or little vases, basically, symbols within Chinese culture that um, are believed to... Very auspicious. It's a good word, isn't it? Auspicious. Um, but yeah, but uh, good fortune and good luck is what they are believed to bring you. Um, these are through drilled, um, so top to bottom, obviously. And that what we're looking at here is totally natural red jade eye. Now, um, again, I know so many of you know this, but for the benefit of those people that don't and have maybe just sort of stumbled across Little Old Jewelry Maker um, with our 13th balloons that are ever so slightly deflated. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the after party. Um, let me just explain what re why red jade eye is um, as celebrated as it is. Well, jade eye is one of the world's rarest gemstones. It's in the top 10, without doubt, out of 6,000 minerals that exist on this planet. Red in particular, jade eye comes in a full color wheel that we'll be talking about a little bit later on. Um, but the skin um, is where the jadeite boulder will actually oxidize. That's where it might, not always, actually achieve this beautiful red color. Um, it is rare. So if you've ever seen um, sort of pieces at Sotheby's sold at auction which mention the color red, you know, it, it's usually just a tiny moment of it. It's very rare that you actually get an entire solid bead or sculpture um, or piece of jewelry that is exclusively in the red. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, again, can we just notice that this is exclusively red? Um, so, yeah, lovely little additions. I love the good luck vases. They're fabulous on the end of tassels, if we've mentioned it. Mm -hmm. um, remember, it is not set at the price that we are taking it to. Remember, this is the after show party. These are last of stock opportunities this oh goodness me oh my goodness me not not at the closing price has to be do you agree ross has just said in our ears this has to be the lowest price of red jade we've ever done here at jewelry maker definitely and and i'm gonna go as be as bold as say this this has to be the lowest price of red jadeite ever, anywhere, 
anywhere. Pop along to Mason and Kay, who we absolutely love. I follow them on Instagram. Mason and Kay, their whole business is jade. Mm -hmm. Their whole, whole business. You try and find any item of red jade dye at a double figure price tag. You know, you'll probably have a minuscule suggestion of red. Um, you wouldn't have them as well colour matched as this. And they definitely would not be $39.99. So I'm going to be as bold as say, saying that, yeah, look, you, this could be the lowest price of red jade I ever for genuine Taipei as well. Look, here's Mason and Kay. Um, you can go, this is on Instagram. So they've been established in 1976. Look at those lovely ears. Could you make those? I know you mm. could. But there's one jadeite, red, red jadeite bead. They're lovely, um, beautiful. There's a reoccurring pattern here. You get a very, 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 very small suggestion of your red jadeites. Um, and they cost a pretty penny. It's not your price, $39.99. I might snap these up. If there's any of them left, I might snap a couple of these up. I'd be, I'd be daft not to. Oh my word. <laughs> my word, that is, that's madness. I mean, this is a, a, a gem that will make a, uh, a piece of hereditary jewellery. It's a, a piece of jewellery that's got lots of history, lots of sort of inner meanings. If you look at the cultural aspect of Jay, yes. you know, it's got such a lot of really deep, but understandable meaning oh, the, to uh, it. And yeah. once you feel it, you can feel that meaning. Yeah, well, we mentioned it yesterday, Linda. If you go over to the Far East, people don't just know about jade. It's part of their DNA. It is very much. It's, it's part it's, of their it's, DNA. It's, it's a complete culture. You know, we, we, are, we know about diamonds to a certain degree. We don't, not, not to the same level that they do jade. Can you imagine? And this is why people shop with us from Hong Kong. This is why people shop with us from places like, uh, um, I'm trying to think of one, but San Diego. This is why people shop with us from California um, and Australia, all around the world. Because where else in the world, genuine question, are you going to find type A red jadeite, so natural red jadeite, for 15 quid? And if you look on the website, we're also going to be, we'll bring you number two right now. Look at number three. These are all... How on earth is this happening? But you need to check out your baskets. You've got minutes to make these confirmations, lovely jewellery makers. Um, amazing. I can see you there. There's just five of these left. Um, there's a slight delay on my call screen once again. So, oh, no, there's not. It's just kicked into place. Look, all of a sudden it just oh, yeah, lights yeah. up. Did you say they were top to bottom drilled? Yeah. They're through drilled. So, you know, it's, it's one of the easiest pieces of... Um, jewelry to well bead to utilize yeah, just for to, a beginner. Yep, yeah. use and a head pin or yeah. amazing. We're going to do what? Sorry, Ross. Another closeout deal with a floating flower jadeite. The, one of the most expensive. One of the most expensive floating flower. An indication of qual uh, of oh. uh, of quality. Yeah, I mean, look at that translucency. It's so dreamy. It's, it's stunning. I'd put one of the black jadeites just in the centre, I think. Um, absolutely amazing. Now, every single jadeite is going to be uh, look different. You want it to look different because it, it's natural, effectively. Um, so, yeah, beautiful floating flower where you have... Um, where you actually have sort of these lovely moments. Look at that pooled imperial mm -hmm. green colours. You might get sort of more of an apple green. Um, you might maybe get a little bit of a sort of the lavender floating flower. It's just sort of that variation in shade. Um, at £69, I mean, this one actually is more pure white, isn't it? Which you'd pay a higher premium for, um, or certainly a high premium for. Look at the split payment. And in 16 seconds, we're going even lower. Remember, this is going to be a closeout deal. It's the after party. Um, I, these are crying out to be earrings, I think. I think they'd be absolutely beautiful earrings. Yeah, and I mean, the simplest way of, of turning that into a piece of jewellery is by lark heading yep. a knot through that centre um, and then the knot at the, where the, um, it, the other side of the gem, just ah. pop a knot there. And it's just stunning. It's... It's just amazing. It's just really stunning. But as you said as well, a pair of earrings. Oh. Um, and also, if you've got some tiny gemstones, 
you can thread them and lark's head knots nice. through that centre again so that you've got something tiny and sparkly. Or use your tube sets it. in the centre as well, yeah. couldn't you? You could set a round brilliant cut. Yep. How on earth are we at £20 or £9.99 on split payment? Nowhere else. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. I bought, actually, similar to this, and it's probably why I said it. I was watching one of Dave's show on our sister channel. I bought some little high goo donut earrings. I was telling you about it, Ross, wasn't I, um, the other day? So little little studs. They, they, you know, they're probably, I don't know, about nine mil and they've got a little ruby in the center tiny mm. tiny little ruby um these are massive in comparison to those and i can tell you i paid more than 20 quid there's three left so well done everybody congratulations to each and every single one of you don't forget as well we've got those um amazing chains coming up at nine o'clock if you pop onto the website um so this is your last sort of heads up you've got about five minutes to make these confirmations now the jadeite vases are limited all the red jadeites very very limited now all sold out in actual fact yeah i'm not surprised by that um you can still get hold of let's have a look before i even say it pearl sold out you can just about get hold of there's three of the four mil black jade um orange pearl sold out six mils there's two of sterling silver sold out um, there's two of the Spacer B bundle, the Y Guardian sold out, there's one of the Floating Flower, four of the Pearl, the Bicones sold out, one of the Dragon and uh, Guan Ying. Um, all these necklaces are very, very, very limited, less than five on each and every single one of these, under £10, which is absolutely amazing, um, fabulous. Um, you've got half drill pearls there, lovely, £14.99, amazing. Um, and there's some of the, the, the letter charm lovely bale with white topaz you can just about get hold of the um, of the bags the letters there are f four did you say okay limited quantity um, chiffon bags have sold out as you can see the banded amethyst which we launched amazing all the magnetic class are sold out not surprised um, two left of those pearl sets uh, 10 of the claw setting jig if you wanted to get hold of that earrings less than five of each of these as well um all sold out um and then yeah just you just you've got to start checking out your baskets this is your last call really um we're going to bring you the peruvian turquoise right now as your early bird storage box at the end also sold out so yes it's been um um it's been it's been a busy hour if there's anything that you want to see you need to tell me now because we are about to bring you the first and only brand new item of the entire day. Um, when I was researching this last night and I was kind of like thinking, okay, we don't see Peruvian turquoise very often. I generally couldn't remember the last time I got the chance to talk about Peruvian turquoise, if at all, to be honest. Um, it is a scarce location of source, but the offerings that do come from that location are remarkably beautiful and very, very, very unique. Um, so it, you'll, you'll notice immediately that in terms of its visual beauty, it differs greatly actually from Mexican turquoise, differs greatly um, to your USA turquoise, unique in its own beautiful way. This is brand new, it's a premiere opportunity, the only premiere, early bird, and it's next. <music> Um, yeah, and I had this little battle with myself last night. I was kind of like, okay, so I could talk to you about turquoise, of course. Um, it tends to kind of be dominated by the USA turquoise in terms of literature that's out there. Um, I could talk about the history of it, and uh, I was like, okay, well, I could do that. But this isn't just any other turquoise auction, is it? It's very different to other turquoise auctions that we've brought to you, because this is a location, firstly, that we don't see very often, if at all, here at Jewelry Maker, and also in terms of its actual appearances, um, it looks very different. So one of the joys of Peruvian turquoise, which turquoise forms in very arid areas, so it tends to be sort of your desert areas like sort of Arizona, for example, or in Mexico. It's a very shallow forming gemstone. Um, so for example, the history of it changes quite frequently. So if a deposit runs out, there's no point digging deeper because it's not gonna be there because um, it forms on, very much on the earth's surface. Um, it's a complete shift in location. 
Um, but for me, Peruvian turquoise has got real similarities to that of its opal as well. Because if you think, if you love your pastel palettes, then I absolutely know you're going to love this. Um, because rather than have that really vibrant and intense, what we describe as a robin egg blue, Peruvian turquoise has a much more of a celestial blue. Um, and there are kind of spiritual connections as well, which I'll, I'll kind of suggest in a few moments time. So if you're wondering, you're thinking, okay, so I, I, I can't quite visualize how this differs. You get the same beautiful matrix, slightly more gentle matrix than you would see in USA turquoise and many other locations where you can sometimes see a complete, uh, I, I don't know, um, I don't want to say crack, but where you can actually see a perfect matrix break, if you like, um, with that host rock. With your Peruvian turquoise, it's much more of a dusting, which I really like. So it's, you can really appreciate the color all the more. But if let's talk about turquoise, rather than, rather than turquoise, how it's formed, we'll, we'll sort of briefly discuss that. Um, let's talk about this variety's color, because it got me thinking that in nature, what other gemstones, animals, or bird species, insects, actually have the same color. And I couldn't think of very many. And I was like, well, okay, well, this is described as celeste blue. What does celeste mean? Well, before I get to that, just, I, it, it actually was a moment of realization where I thought, a very little on this planet naturally forms of this color. So this is probably one of the rarest colors of mother nature. Let me show you a few examples of this beautiful gemstone. Here's a photograph of it just it, sort of in loose tumbled stones. Utterly beautiful. It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely. It's Larimar-esque, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of Larimar sort of mixed with a little bit of perhaps African turquoise look with a bit of the glow of Amazonite. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, its it's a really, really unique colour mm -hmm. of gemstone. One that you can't really pinpoint to any other, can you? No. Very no. unique to this location. No. So then I was like, I'm going to just look at Celeste Blues. So I found this, I think this was a wallpaper or something like that. I was like, oh, that's beautiful. But you can see that lovely, again, it's reminiscent of this beautiful location. I did say to, 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 to Ross when I was like, okay, you're going to think my PowerPoint's a little bit strange, but do bear with me um, on this one. And then it, I went down that rabbit hole and I found pictures like this. Look at that. But technically speaking, are those beautiful waters actually Celeste Blue? No, because if you scoop them up in your hand, mm, they're, clear, they're right? completely mm. clear. What about this? And obviously, I don't know, do roses form in that colour? But I just thought it was a really pretty picture Probably to put in. Probably not. But Celeste Blue, again, beautiful. Look at that colour. Is anybody else getting that spiritual connection mm -hmm. to this beautiful colour of gemstone? Um, I think I've got a few more that I can show you as well. Oh, Love it. That's cool. Love the little and injection. Tiffany Tiffany's, uh, yeah. Tiffany's and Co. in the background as well. Again, there's that amazing beauty of Celeste Blue. It made me wonder. I was like, you know what? I, I, maybe we'll see Peruvian turquoise in Tiffany's and Co. moving forward. Oh, sure. um, and here it is. What is Celeste? Well, in translation, Celeste is a light turquoise blue color inspired by the color of the sky. It is based on the Italian word, word celeste, meaning heavenly. It is comparable to other colors inspired by light, light blue of daytime, clear skies such as sky blue and the Japanese color sora. So um, heavenly, it translates to the word heavenly. And, and, and I was, all of a sudden I was like, it is. This is quite possibly the most heavenly color I've ever seen. And we associate angelite, we always talk about the heavenly blues. This is way more heavenly, I think, in its visuality. Tranquility, it's actually, absolutely. Uh, it's defined by the word celestial, isn't it? Yes, and the name Definitely. celeste as well, yeah. you know. Um, this is quite possibly one of the most tranquil colored stones I think you're ever gonna witness. And I'm just head over heels in love with it. But again, all the sort of, I don't know, housekeeping aside, do we see Peruvian turquoise very often? No, we don't. We rarely ever, ever, ever see it. And there will be a reason for that. Um, its accessibility, its rarity, of course, its desirability, I should imagine, would, be, would come into play as well. Look at where we are starting. It, you know, I, I, I'm betting there's people watching right now. You've got USA turquoise. You've probably got maybe your, uh, your Mexican turquoise. Maybe you have got some of your African 
African turquoise. I wonder if you've got Peruvian turquoise though, because I haven't. Um, it's an opportunity for the collectors and the connoisseurs out there. And when you get it home, and you can see on your screens right now, it glows. It's got that beautiful, unique pastel color, but actually one of the rarest colors of mother nature. Even if we were to stop here, knowing that this is the only brand new premiere of today's shows, that would be an incredible deal. But we're not stopping there. We are going to take, by description of its name, this heavenly variety of turquoise, under £20. I haven't even mentioned the fact that it's faceted, which we rarely ever see in turquoise. Never. Haven't mentioned the fact that it's round, which is really rare to get hold of. When do we ever see also turquoise under £20? Um, there are 100 available opportunities and they are all going to sell out today. How beautiful is this? What, I'd, be, I, I'd want you to text in during this opportunity because, you know, this is something I don't think we've ever really discussed before. You know, what's this reminding you of? Is it reminding you of sort of, I don't know, crisp white sands um, and wonderful tropical destinations? Is it reminding you of the heavens above? That's why I'm trying to sort of, uh, sort of accumulated a few of those beautiful celeste blue, pit blue pictures. There was wonderful ocean seas. There was azure blues of the skies. Just amazing. Um, so I'm intrigued to know what this reminds you of as well. At 19.99, we do not take turquoise. I'm not going to say as a rule, but generally speaking, it really goes anywhere near this price point. I mean, you referred, when you first brought the strand out, you referred to opal. Um, and when I think of um, Peruvian opal, it's almost an influence. It's a glow, isn't it? They have got that it? really yeah. unique appear, uh, unique beauty. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. I knew you were, said you were going low, Ross, but that's way lower than I was expecting it to. Um, absolutely beautiful. Well done, everybody. Lots of you are already shopping ahead and checking out your baskets. Know that you only have got a matter of minutes to get hold of this. It would be utterly divine, I think, alongside some lovely pearls. It would be absolutely beautiful, I think, mixed in amongst uh, um, all of your precious metals, of course. Simply just stacked, I don't know. Whatever you choose to do with it, a colour that very few of us, I think, could say we actually have with in our stash already um, a, another bonus that is of course the rarity of your beautiful turquoise we've been broadcasting here for 13 years and I could probably count on one hand if at all the amount of times I've brought Peruvian turquoise to it I've not seen it and I've been here since day one and I've not seen it hand on heart no it's amazing isn't it mm -hmm. really this this calming I don't know, quite spiritual influence to this gemstone. I don't necessarily get on board with the metaphysical side um, of your gemstones. I, 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 I'm intrigued to know, but um, is it a beautiful gem? Yes, absolutely, all day long. I love the sort of light dustings of the matrix. But for me, it is all about that heavenly uh, celestial blue color. We had 100, loads of you getting involved. One of the most, if not the most affordable strand of turquoise I've ever seen. Um, an amazing... Uh, um, bonus if you like that we are getting it from possibly a new location or one we rarely ever see if that's the case Rhea, Geraldine, well done to you, West Midlands Jenny, Lorna, Irina, Angela Carl Caroline, Lucy, Sue, June, Muriel Susan, hello to you, Trishiel, Margaret, Julie, Marilyn, Angela Lorna, Elizabeth, Marion Irina, well done to you, if you've got it in your basket make sure you check out, um, yeah let's have a quick, just flick through those pictures again because they're pretty aren't they, they're so pretty they're so pretty, we will be, we will, we'll be quick yeah, because the clock is, is ticking and that's to indicate not just the closure of this auction, but the closure of every single item um, that we've brought you so far this morning. If you've got a phone in your hand, just stay where you are. Lovely jewellery makers and our call centre will get to you. Um, we only had 100 of them and they are flying out the door. Have a look at the website. You can see lots of sold outs. Yeah. So um, if there's any items that are still showing us in your basket, I would check them out because you've got 30 seconds to do it. Otherwise, they disappear literally disappear 30 seconds 25 seconds 24 23 um 1499 check out well there's a full row of names of this in their basket um to be honest it's getting quite limited now anyway so good luck everybody celestial blue i think it's going to be love at first sight when you see that um coming up immediately after the break we have got um the relaunch of those beautiful chains the paperclip chains make sure you don't miss out on those linda and i'll be back after this 
happy 13th birthday jewellery maker, you are officially a teenager. Over the last 13 years you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration. So thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday. I'm very excited to come and celebrate with you. Hi, Charlie here, Summer Street Director. Just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi, you lovely people. Happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from me at one o'clock each day. Have a great time. Keep on making. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of Jewelry Maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the Jewelry Maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. He's a card, isn't he, our Alan? Sure is. A card and off, as my mum used to say. Card and off? Card and off. Lovely. He always has to do some kind of quip, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's a funny one. Now, lovely jewellery makers, one of my favourite items... Here he is. <laughs> Sorry, can we show that? That's hilarious. <laughs> Amazing. Um, behind the scenes, yes, we have uh, um, gym equipment some bizarre reason. Um, one of my favourite items, um, launches of the birthday, was these amazing chains. Not only because they're, they're beautiful and they're super simple to make luxury jewellery, um, but also the fact that we bring it to you at such an amazing deal. You know, it's 
for the amount of sterling silver that you are getting in each of these 50 centimeter lengths that of course you can customize you can cut you can attach your your clasp of choice you can solder with whatever you wish um is going to blow you away so if you weren't with me on this launch i know i've got 50 and that's it and we had a big quantity at the original uh, um original opening um once these are gone they are gone it's we, we, we show different designers because, as we said a few moments ago, there are lots of different high-end jewellery houses in particular that really throw their weight behind the paperclip chain. And, of course, there'll be slight variations to them all. I know uh, um, Beyonce was pictured wearing, a, um, I think it was part of their marketing, wearing their latest link chain, paperclip chain, um, that they do in silver, and they also do it in 18-karat gold. That's thousands of pounds, of course. Um, but basically, the idea, the concept is exactly the same. It's these elongated links that create this really quite modern and contemporary look. But actually, during that conversation, during that star buy, it was producer Ross who said, oh, L, these aren't as contemporary as what we've been saying. These have actually been around for quite some time. In fact, Jackie O, who is an absolute style icon, mm -hmm. of course, um, and there she is wearing uh, her sort of legendary Chanel suits, um, wearing a paperclip necklace by Coco Chanel. Jackie wanted one for years, but Coco only made a very small number. You'd think they'd make one for her, wouldn't you? You would, you definitely. Would so. um, one finally came up on auction and Jackie paid whatever she had uh, to win it. Um, and you can see her actually wearing that really lovely, very elegant long line necklace. Um, um, adding to his, uh, I love this, Ross. You own it, lovely. You found a, a write up on the paperclip jewelry. Okay, so perfectly trendy. Get on board um, with the paperclip jewelry. Remember when you were bored um, in homeroom and you strung together the paperclips, yes, uh, from your pencil case to pass the time? Or maybe you gave them to your friend to cement your, uh, your, your what? Your friend's clique. Is that clique? Um, either way, paperclip jewelry has come a long way. They are now the trend, so get on board. Whether a single strand or layering, paper clips have reached a new level of chic. Uh, here, here. Um, whether this trend takes you back to your homeroom or makes you nostalgic for a style of the 80s, the paperclip necklace may be trendy, but is anything but new. Created by Coco Chanel and made famous by none other than Jackie O herself, paperclip jewellery is actually a classic, a classic masquerading as a trend. Paperclip necklaces have come a long way since you strung them together as a kid, available in both yellow gold and white gold um, as plain uh, paper clip chains and even accented with pearls paper clip pieces need to be part of your fine jewelry collection after all if jackie o and coco chanel approve how can you go wrong here here absolutely here here this... you know, and, and going back to that time when coco chanel designed a limited edition and people purchased it and jackie o couldn't get it and had to wait for an auction many years later now they're seriously on trend. You've got to be there at the beginning because that will happen again. Of course it will. Of course it will. Um, and, and even if we do bring it to this modern day, you know, designers like Gucci, Miss Oma, Ashley Clark, Monica Veneda, of course, uh, Tiffany's and Co. Goodness me, I could go on and on and on. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana. Dior, they are all working with the paperclip chain of some variety in some kind of variation. It is, as we said, yes, the biggest trend, but actually it is, and I love that word, a classic classic masquerading as a trend. a trend. It has actually been there um, for multiple decades. Now, what you are getting today, jewellery makers, as you can see from here, is a significant investment of sterling silver in each and every single one of these lengths. I'm calling them lengths because they do need a class to be attached to them, but that's, again, a, a positive for us as jewellery makers because you can choose the class. Um, you can 
can put attach a magnetic, a bolt ring, a toggle, whichever you wish. Um, let's show you a few of those um, establishments. Pandora, okay. Pandora, I always I always credit them for their marketing. I think they've they've got an amazing marketing. Uh, um, They're always department. on the button, aren't they? They They're are always on the trend. Always busy um, around Christmas, etc. Um, so here they are, and they're that kind of middle of the road price tag, aren't they? They're not yes. sort of your Dior's, your Chanel prices, but they are still, I think, quite an investment. Um, Misoma, again, slightly higher in price point, as you can see. It's quite a heavyweight piece, though. Uh, £310 for that necklace, and it is literally over the top of the head. Um, here's another one from Misoma, £155. It's just got a simple lobster claw. You could make that. In a heartbeat. Yeah, absolutely. In a heartbeat. Um, another variety here from Thomas Sabo. Um, I always forget to mention Thomas Sabo. So again, Sterling Silver, you've got that one feature link there as well. Um, let's call it 300 quid, let's be honest, because it is. Um, and it's a slightly shorter length. Um, on to Monica Veneda, one of my favourite jewellers. Um, you're talking £495. Um, whether it's in the gold or silver, that probably will have a minuscule difference in terms of the actual price point. Um, here, slightly, I say slightly, significantly lighter, um, this one. At £350, this is 17 inches. So again, much, much shorter than what I actually have here before me. Um, and I think there's one more, isn't there? Oh, no, sorry. Love that bracelet. I think it's absolutely beautiful. £295. You could make pe versions of this, obviously, in the silver. This one is... I've, I've, I've physically held that. It is so lightweight, you can, you'd barely know you're wearing it. It's, and it's tiny. The picture is actually quite misleading. Um, it is, isn't it? It's very fragile is the word that comes to mind. Yeah, it's tiny. Yeah. It's really, really, really... It's one of those petite bracelets, mm -hmm. if you like. Um, and you're still at £95 for that, though. Gucci. Yeah, it's 18 karat gold, but I'm more just showing you the fact that they are using this link as well. That's beautiful, isn't it? Um, but it's eight and a half grand, which I think is astronomically Ooh. priced for an 18 karat gold um, necklace. Now, we have 50. You haven't got to choose. You are getting all three, which just to, just to confirm, Ross, the length of each of these... 50 centimetres on each, so that's, what, 20 inches, yeah? Um, more if you obviously add your clasp. We've all got favourites. This one's mine. You could texture them because you've got that much of an investment of sterling silver. All you need to do is half a metre? Yeah, you've got a metre and a half. Um, all you need to do is open and close a clasp. If you want to customise it, maybe you'd cut this down, use it sort of a, um, in earrings or maybe multiple bracelets, you could do that. You'd easily get two bracelets from each length of chain with surplus as well. Yeah, and the thing is, with a chain like this, it's very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for, Elle? It's, it hangs beautifully. Yeah. And you can actually um, sort of train it into, in other words, those paper clip links, if you want, well, you can train them into a V shape. Yeah, oh, yes, on I the drop. Really malleable. Um, yeah, malleable yeah, is the yeah, word. Yeah, yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, are you ready? Because these absolutely flew out, and I'm not surprised. If you're one of the lucky collectors that got hold of these, you'll 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 be agreeing with uh, with us on our, our admiration. Again, there's a massive investment. I don't know if we've actually done this heavier chain before here at Jewelry Maker um, outside of this opportunity. Um, in total, we are looking at 18.7 grams across the Whoa. three lengths. Yeah, so it's a it's, it's a big amount. Straight away, we've got people getting involved. Um, I'm not a silversmith. Um, even though I sit by, you know, Claire, Debbie and all of our wonderful designers, but I'm not a silversmith. Um, I don't have the facilities, frankly, to do it, but I can open and close a jump ring and that's all I would actually need mm -hmm. um, to create this lovely piece of jewellery or these, uh, I should say. Um, there's only 50 available. This is, I, I'll say it again, it's actually, this is one of my favourite items that we've launched over, over the uh, birthday celebrations. It's been on air once. This is probably going to be its final appearance. I don't think any are going to be left come the end of this opportunity um 18 and a half grams of precious 925 sterling silver in the biggest trend um hello lorraine saying morning my friend purchased a paperclip chain for my birthday last year from gemporia it's 18 inches and i absolutely love it there we go lorraine and i'm sure it's absolutely beautiful yeah if I mean, I, it's just it's... got sorry Elle. no it's right. just got so many um, so much, I'm saying it again, so much inspiration for your designs. Oh. 
Because if you imagine um, one of those links, if you took some, let's say, point. 25 sterling silver wire and threaded on lots of tiny little oh, gemstones um, and then covered one of those links beautiful wound them on and had one say asymmetrically you've got that comes to mind straight away the drops for earrings the drops sort of with the trapeze type earrings um there's, but there's so much potential isn't there there is huge amounts of potential the first one being as it is now oh that's what i would do i i i i I would do, especially with two of those, I would leave them as is. And yes, with the, I, I like that the idea one, of a bubble My star. son would love that one. We said that. Yeah. We were saying this could be a very gents uh, piece of jewellery. Definitely. So um, remember the sort of very lightweight Monica Veneda? It's, it, it's 18 karat for May, it's 95. 95 pounds for that bracelet, which is what? Eight inches. Mm -hmm. Eight inches in its length. Look. That's, you're basically getting a 50 centimetre length for, ni for £95 right now. And you can get hold of it on your split payment. Let's half that price, and I'm going to tell you that's not where we closed. 18 and a half grams of sterling silver. Again, don't, don't quote me on this, but that's got to be one of the heaviest chains we've brought to air. I know it's three of them, but you know, divided by, that's got to be one of the heavier chains that we've brought to wear here at Jewellery Makers. That's £50 each. And I mean, considering silver, all precious metals at the moment are going through the roof on, yep. the, on the Everything on the is. Graph, and particularly sterling silver being the most lustrous metal that we have. So, you know, you've got beauty as well as style and design there. Look at the core screens. Yeah. Well, you know. Do you know that's going to, that, there's only 50. Yeah. I think They're we're going to see gone. those two dreaded words in a few. Susie, look, yeah. Susie's getting involved. I think we're going to see sold out in a few moments time. If you weren't watching on the launch, there we go. Perfect example. That's Linda's lovely jewellery. We took this set of three under £100. That means... That for 18 and a half grams of 925 sterling silver, you can get hold of these beautiful chains for 33 pounds each. Did you see any of those establishments, even base metal at 33 pounds? Mm -hmm. Incredible. It's not base metal, it is precious 925. There's the Gucci one, I know it's gold. That, massively overpriced, that is. That's, it, it, <laughs> it's lovely, though, it's lovely. But eight and a half grand. Yes, it's because it's got that magical Gucci. It is. Name. That's what it is. Dude, that's what, what you're paying for. Um, we're at £33 per 50 centimetre length. And if you weren't watching on launch, you might be thinking that would be amazing. There's our closing price. It wasn't. It was not our closing price. You can shop ahead on the Hypo Cement, by the way. That's why it's sat there. Um, and again, you don't need to be a silversmith. You don't need to be a solderer. Um, in a minute, in a minute's time, I'm going to get my favourite. Look, look, look at that. Fifty centimetres, half a metre. Look how heavy that is. Oh, and Hang look on. at the lustre on it. I know. I'm going to have to move that a second. I, we didn't, did we? I'm <laughs> 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 yeah, let's move that. Sorry, Lynn. Yeah, you're fine. Let me move yeah. it that way. I beg your pardon. I'm just pushing that's it fine. out of the way. Um, here we go. Just surrounded by bus. That's what it is. Look at that. Oh, it's stunning. We took it to what? It's such a stylish piece. 20 of... pounds we took this to. Whoa. Do you know what I'm thinking I would do if I managed to get this, which I'm not going to be able to manage to get it, I'm sure. But if I did, I would link that one with the wider version. The, nice. You know, and have like a long, um, line. A long one. Yes. Lovely. That would be beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you can if you want to. I mean, we haven't mentioned this, but if you've got something like Zuron cutters, you need something 
a really good pair of cutters, you can snip those links yeah, just yeah, on yeah. The, the sort of the, the turn part and then use it quite like a jump ring. I you can't believe... Need, you don't need to lose a link. No, absolutely. It's all precious 925 sterling silver. We've put another clock on your screens because we really need to emphasise. I've said it out loud now and we have to honour that. We are going to do these for £20 each. My word. £20. There's 18 and a half grams. Guarantee your place. We have 50. There's 22 left now. And there's more than 22 names on our call screens. I can say that for certain. That's £20 per 50 centimetre length. Half a metre. Uh, and, and 18 and a half grams of precious metal. Unbelievable deal. Check out as soon as you possibly can. If you don't, you're leaving that sort of window of opportunity open for Linda and I to snap up ours. I'm kicking myself now for not getting on the, um, on the launch. I'm not a silversmith. You don't have to be a silversmith. If you've got magnetic class or any class of choice, all you need to do is attach that. Job done. Making high-end jewellery and saving yourself hundreds, if not thousands. Can you... This is why it was one of my favourites of the entire birthday. Over 150 went on yeah. launch. Totally and utterly understandable. I mean, you know, those you could see those three now in a jeweller's on the high street in a window, couldn't you? And you would stop yep. and look, wouldn't you? Because Definitely. of the luster. Which one's your design. favourite? Um, yeah, I did... love them all. I think my favourite is is the, the the one that you tried on. The, this one? Yes. Yeah. That one. Because I do like I, this I one think, too. Yes, I do. But I think you've got literally sort of the north and the south versions there. Yeah. You've got that. Um, but they are both perfect necklaces and they are all perfect backdrops for making jewellery with. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Look, you can get hold of this today on split payment for twenty nine ninety nine. dollars um, We brought the magnetic class in the first hour for under mm. a tenner. Add a tenner, um, put one magnetic clasp on there. Um, it's cost you, what, £30 to make that piece of jewellery. Um, or you could go to Misoma and make something very, very similar for £310. And, you know, you can use these comparisons on your, you know, as your sales pitch, really. Yeah. You know, it's out there to, um, to show your customers as well what you would have to pay in a, um, you know, a high street retail environment. So... Make those comparisons, please do. Oh, they're beautiful. Do you want to know how many we've got left? Oh. We knew that was going to be the case, didn't we? As it stands, there are 31 of you with it in your basket. I have six available within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone. Can't, you can't say I didn't warn you. You can't say. That's why I'm like, check out your basket. Um, um, when I was making jewellery last week, I mean, I used the paperclip chain in one of my designs here um, because I'd got some in my chain box. And um, if I hadn't, I wouldn't have known what quite what to use to make that design. No, it opens doors um, of opportunity, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it, when, when you need a chain, there's no substitute, really. No. Because the, is it because of the exposed links? Is it because they are, you know, more open? Gives you that yeah. opportunity to... Well, uh, definitely. There is so much opportunity. As I say, it starts off that bare skeleton like that, which is stunning. And then you can turn it into a real fully-fledged piece of gemstone jewellery. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Well done, everybody. Um, I think that's pretty much sold out. Now, I can bring you further amazing chains. Um, so, amazing, right? They've pretty, have they sold out? Yeah. There's two, two left. Hypo Cement, you can shop ahead and pre-order on this. I would be... Should she just shake her Hypo Cement at my... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, do it. Do it. Show it. Excuse me. I will shake my Hypo Cement at you, Roscoe. I will. Um, there we go. He's shaking his head in disbelief. I know. The audacity. Um, yes. So how many do we have of those? Because I do need them. Oh, do we? You got quantity. Good. So I would stock up, though, because it's one of those components that when it arrives, it's gone. Um, let's bring you some more essentials. Some more essentials to our jewelry maker stash. We always need chains, don't we? Um, especially if you create pendants. Um, if you purchase charms or pendants from us here at Jewelry Maker, maybe you've got some of the. Uh, the other day we had that 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 we had that spinning um, jadeite pendant. Mm -hmm. 
uh, which obviously fitted some of our lovely carvings. Um, you could put it on one of these. It doesn't have to be a long necklace. The thing necklace. is, though, if, um, and have we still got the gorgeous pearls available? Yes. To, yeah, well, the thing is, when you, when you buy something like a superb South Sea pearl um, or something of that ilk or a, a big nucleated pearl, something like that, the optimum way of displaying that that gem is on a chain like yeah, this. just like a this. A nice, yeah, um, I agree. plain, um, fine-looking chain. Beautiful. So that the, the whatever it is that you're putting on it is front stage. Um, I, yeah, I've bought a few of the uh, pearls and bales that we've had over mm -hmm. the birthday celebrations, and, and I was like, oh, where are all the chains? I was actually thinking, where are all the chain auctions? Exactly. Um, but... They must have been on the other shift side, so that's how I missed them. Um, now, 166 of these sold on launch. Um, this is one of the um, more intricate. Um, you've got a really beautiful... If you can imagine a rope, you know, you have those sort of multiple fine cords that are sort of beautifully knotted together to create that strength. Um, the same applies with your rope chains. They're very strong. Uh, you get really lovely, intricate uh, um, sort of details with a rope chain. OK, there's a reason why that quantity went on the original launch. We are not stopping at £9.99. 18 inch, um, there's only 30 of these left within the vault. 18 inch is the most commercially sought after That's length right, of chain because yeah, yeah. um, it sits just under the nape of neckline, depending on your build, obviously. Um, but if you go into a jeweler and you find a, I don't know, a pearl, as you've mm -hmm. mentioned it, Linda, suspended from a chain, it's probably going to be an 18 inch mm -hmm. chain itself. Um, we are going even lower. I've got a, a little run of beautiful sterling silver chains, all with a difference. So they They've all got different links. You can get many different varieties out there. The rope chain, it, for me, it's like it's it's almost DNA helix, helix like, mm -hmm. um, where they're kind of beautifully knitted together. Gives you great strength um, and amazing beauty. Um, in four seconds, we're taking it even lower. I could sit here and I could go, up, oh, pop along to Samuels, pop along to Beaverbrooks, pop along to Ernest Jones, pop along to Heinz, and see if you, see what prices their sterling silver chains are. Um, I'm fairly sure sure they're not going to be as competitive as what's no on way. right now. No, no, no way. I, mean, um, I said this a few hundred times in the past, but when I first started um, jewellery making and then sort of moving into suspending whatever from a, um, a beautiful chain, yeah. I was buying in the Birmingham Jewellery Quarter and I was buying by the inch. Yeah. And a chain like this would have been about £3.50 an inch then. Yeah. Yeah. If not more. We are very lucky because we are basically benefiting from wholesale, wholesale prices right now. And it's connections if you see, as well, you know, um, relationships that yep. the business makes. Amazing. Well done, everybody. We only had 30 and they are close to selling out already. Um, so I wouldn't leave them in your baskets. I'm going to say over half the stock has gone, if my maths is correct. Durham's got five. Lorna's got two. Michelle's got two. ayrshire has got two. Rebecca, Angela, Ellen, well done. Robbie and Angus, Shan, London, Helen, Muriel, Lorraine, Alison, uh, Caroline, Sheila. Uh, um, our call screen here in the studio is a little bit delayed. Um, so if I'm not shouting out your name, that's why. Um, it's sold out. There we go. That, that, that is why. Okay, the next is... Oh, I love this one. The luster that you're getting from this. I'm going to do it in two price crashes. Uh, the, again, I actually thought from a distance. From a distance. So this is the one that I want uh, badly because of this new little girl that's just come into the... Oh. Uh, have we got a name in, yet? It, no, Not yet. no. She came a bit too too early, so I don't think they quite decided. Decided, um, but I would like. She was born May. Is that an emerald? Yes, May. I'd like to put a little emerald on that oh. and, as a little gift. The classic curb chain. You can't go wrong with a curb chain because. It, I, I always just think it caresses the decolletage. It lay, always lays beautifully against Does, the skin. Yeah. It's um, fluid. It is. I think it's really important that you have an investment of sterling silver, otherwise it just sticks to you. Um, this is not your price. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. Seven ninety nine for a diamond cut, which is quite literally as it's described, faceted on a diamond cut we cutting wheel. That's where you get that amazing bright mirror-like luster. Um, yeah, it's going even lower. Even lower. Please say we've got quantity, Russ. Oh, please. Gosh, I need... Oh, I have all 60, I think. 
60 available. Please. We always buy multiples when we bring chains like this because they're not on every single show, are they? Oh, and as but, but no, no. I mean, it's rare, actually. It is. And as jewellery makers, this is... I, I always call chains essentials. They are. I mean, they're beautiful yeah. finished pieces of jewellery in their own right, but we need them as well, much as we need a headpiece. For that reason, it's, it's a gorgeous presence in, you know, you don't have to do anything to it. Um, but to drop a pearl or um, a birthstone, um, something like that, or one of those beautiful black jadeites that we had earlier. Amazing. What a lovely gift. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. In two seconds, it is going low. We've got 60 available. Yeah. I mean, if you were to say, L, recommend one chain that's going to complement every single design and preference, if you like, it's going to be the curb. Everybody loves the curb. Every, it, it's one of those chains that you, there's nothing not to love about the curb chain. I think it's simplicity is what its appeal. It doesn't try and compete. Does that make sense? So if you've got, for example, um, a really beautiful, intricate statement pendant and you want that to be the star of the show, you don't want then to have the most, well, you might, but, um, but you don't want the chain to be battling no, for no, attention. No, exactly. That's exactly um, what I think, Elle. You want something that has the look of something very lightweight mm. but being a curb chain it's exceedingly strong yeah. so you can go statement yeah absolutely what, and also you know you can you can cut those links they're big enough and then again using i uh, say a 0.4 sterling silver wire or a 0.25 sterling you can station it Put little, um, you know, as, so you're making a gemstone chain, oh, essentially, amazing. then. Yeah, customise it. You've got a bigger amount of uh, silver in this as well. £6.99 pence only. We had 60 again. The call screens have lit up. Um, well done to those of you that are shopping ahead nice and early, guaranteeing your places and your success. Um, amazing. The last of the chain, so I'll leave those final few with you again. You'll see they've all got a slight difference to them. Um, this one is a cable chain um so it always for me this is quite a nost nostalgic chain i really like this one because um when you think back to, as a child when i don't know just before christmas time when you're in primary school and i don't know if you guys did this but we used to sit and make paper chains for to decorate the yes decorate the hall yeah. um so you'd just be sticking them all together wouldn't you in primary school the cable chain has got that real simplicity those interlocking links that that kind of uh, they shift direction um with everyone so you've got always got that statement amount of luster at the front i love it for again for its simplicity um again i guess you could also say well this is like another curb chain isn't it it's one of those that's just it it, it, it it's functionally beautiful do you know what as well i was just it's just occurred to me there are lots of things within being made you know if you're a jewelry maker you can fashion and you can make but chains and i mean a chain particularly like this I wouldn't know how to begin. I've seen I the mean, machines. They're Italian-made yeah. machines. Italians, yeah. Italian-made machines, and they like knit. It's yes. like knitting. Like on a knitting machine. On a, on, yeah, it's absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it would be virtually impossible to make one of this size, I should imagine. I don't know. I'm not a silversmith, but... Um, it, well, it's... can you imagine the time? Yeah, exactly. And you're making that. Exactly. At £7.99, we are going even lower. Have we got quantity of a cable chain? 80, okay. Okay, so this one's a little bit more plentiful in its quantity. Again, it's one of our firm favourites. We love the cable chain, sometimes referred to as a trace as well, um, chain. Um, again, really simplistic. You've got those lovely kind of altering, a, a nod towards the paperclip, I think, um, actually, but much more rounded so. But notice how the links kind of shift direction, so you've always got that visual, uh, visual luster of your 925 sterling silver. Stock up your stashes while you get the chance, lovely jewellery makers. I mean, that, that bolt ring uh, clasp mm. is a substantial clasp there. I mean, that in itself, I mean, a jewellery maker would probably be, what, five, six, seven, ninety-nine? Mm. Possibly, yeah. Clasp. And it's got that gorgeous little um, wider 
flatter jump ring with a little 925 on it. Yeah, it's got the stamp as well, so yeah. you know that it's your precious metal. Stock up while you get the chance on chains. Once upon a time, years, probably, I don't know, last time I did it, maybe four or five years ago, we used to have hours of chains. As mm -hmm. in, we used to have different styles, different links, and we used to call it like our trade show. So you And people would get five of this chain, five of that chain, five of this chain, stocking up their stashes for the course of the year, etc. We can't do that at the moment. Um, do you remember the, the trade shows? are so expensive So expensive. Moment. So, you know, it's... Yeah, so expensive. Yeah, we were talking about... Um, um, we've we've found some sterling silver cutlery in my mum and dad's house that has it's been up in the loft probably for many, many, many moons. And Rich was like, well, do you want it? I was like, well... Not particularly, but because um, I can't be polishing cutlery. I haven't got time for that. Um, do you want it? And I was like, well, don't sell it, though, because the cost of sterling silver um, is at an all-time high. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, I've also got some lovely clasps to bring you. Um, but before I do, I want to show you this amazing opportunity. This necklace is unbelievable. Um, there's 10 available. This is Kotan, so not only the most expensive, the most historic lo location of jade in the world. These are my favourite shape, and I totally agree with that, Ross. The, we were all saying this is the best drum we've ever had. Ever had. That, if you dream of owning Kotan, then it's, it's going to look like this. Well, I mean, look at that. It's all been cherry-picked, hasn't it? Every single Perfectly one on there Perfectly graduated. And then look at this. If Ethan follows me round. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It's coming up. It's on pre-order, but just so you know, there are only 10. The years that it must have taken to put this together, I don't know. Um, amazing. So coming your way, an opportunity. Ten people can get hold of that, or less if you multi-buy. Um, I've also got some lovely, lovely sterling silver clasps as well. So if you wanted to add them to your um, to your chains that we had a few moments ago, um, this isn't just this isn't just any old clasp. You'll see. Um, you've got almost like this little hot air balloon kind of texture. It is pretty, isn't it? And I think it makes such a difference, the quality of the class that you choose with your jewellery. Um, so, yeah, it looks like a magnetic class, doesn't it? Looks like one. It looks like... Oh, like you a mean one of those... Um, yes. A like spinning a spinning top. top. A spinning top. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, they do a bit. Um, they have that. Yeah, I can see that. But this is not a magnetic class. Let me just show you. And obviously, it's going to be a bit trickier for me to show um, because it's obviously not on a finished piece of jewellery. This is actually a box clasp. Um, so if I press down this side, you can just see it get released. This is one of the more historic box clasps because it doesn't just sort of shove in. Um, it's actually one of those where you have to change directions to actually undo it. So whenever I talk about sort of the pieces that are um, on Antiques Roadshow, it's this kind of box class that they tend to have, where you, you have to push the sort of the wedge in, if you like. Essentially, they, they, they always put these on pearls. In always. Years gone by. Always, always, because they are that much more secure. Obviously, it's going to be significantly easier to do up, um, and I'm kind of regretting undoing it now, um, because uh, when it's on a finished piece of jewellery, because obviously you've got more. You've got more to actually grip onto. Yeah. That being said, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not struggling with this, I suppose. So there it is. Um, absolutely beautiful. Again, it's, it's, it's a box clasp and then some. So, yeah, it, it, it's not a coincidence that the pieces of jewellery, the pearl necklaces, whichever it is, the... Uh, in a Victorian, Edwardian um, pieces of jewellery that we do see on places like Antiques Roadshow, um, it's not a coincidence that they have class like this. Absolutely not, because all of those pieces, they've all been like estate pieces or hereditary pieces normally. Um, the amount of thought that goes into the design of every integral part of, of that jewellery, and now we're fortunate enough enough to be inspired by absolutely all of that. but these 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 clasps are made to last and obviously for those pieces of jewelry well not that's to what get lost exactly well you know you don't want to have, make or inherit or whatever or mm. buy a beautiful piece of expensive jewelry only for it to have a weak class yeah because even if this does come undone and let me just show you worst case scenario you catch your box class when it comes undone you've still got that 
exactly. That's why. That's yeah. why they have that feature. It, 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 it's, like, it's like additional insurance. Um, OK, let's bring it to you um, at your first price point. Obviously, more intricacy, more silversmithing work. I guess uh, would, we would expect it to com uh, command a higher price point. Um, I guess jewellery maker being jewellery maker is probably going to change that. Already, the, everybody that has made their confirmations is multi-bought. I'm not surprised. I would be as well. We don't see this type of box class very often. But if we are, and we didn't launch this, did we, Ross? No. So the other shift side launched this. So I'm, I'm still in the, um, um, in, in the dark about where this is going to. But Ross is saying, if we're going to honor that price tag, we need to see everybody there. OK, so if you need to stock up your stashes on one of the safest clasps, that's the thing. You might have a necklace. I've got some of um, mum's pearls that eventually I'd like to sort of re, uh, re knot for her. Um, just look at the moment. And the clasp is a bit loose. Yeah, it's not one of these. Um, so I would probably swap it out. We're at $39.99. But let's just get a little bit closer to that final price tag so we can give you a little bit of a hint. We need to see, we're saying 20 people, even if you don't check out your baskets or press one yet, we are going to take this level of intricacy, this level of security under £20. Do you know, you could, you could use that as a sort of a tassel top, couldn't you? As well, have it as a, a double class that's a good come idea. tassel top at the center of the chain that's a great idea so it's on and offable mm -hmm. amazing we are going to take this under 20 pounds but we need to see you there is there enough people is there enough people to honor that price tag eight more people says ross please even if you just pop any basket and you don't yet check out 20 pounds for this level of silversmith uh, talent for this level of uh, security and peace of mind quite frankly there's enough says uh, you can see more than me rossi because the, the call screens are delayed um it is going under 20 pounds we didn't launch this it's absolutely beautiful clasp again you can see the quality and i think if the quality of the clasp is there then ultimately the quality of the jewelry because that's the first piece we've spoken about it before haven't we the first piece uh, you know after the initial attraction first place i look at is the clasp. well definitely you, you tend to almost x-ray a piece of jewelry um in in the retail stores don't you when you yeah. when you can make jewelry you tend to be so I have this sort of x-ray mind, well, is that, you know, secure? Is this secure? Is that... Do you know what it reminds me of, uh, uh, Linda? Sometimes, you know, we've shown, like, the Guatemalan jadeite pieces of jewellery and that necklace, and I, I said quite openly on air I was a bit disappointed with the finishing of that necklace mm -hmm. that, that they have on their website. I was like, it's just a bit meh. Yeah, you know, it's just a lobster claw clasp. You know, when you're talking about something like Guatemalan Olmec jade, I would expect a little bit more attention to be taken to the clasp itself. So I was a bit underwhelmed. And, I, and when you're looking at a piece of jewellery, you don't want to be underwhelmed. You want to be absolutely Literally, blown away by every single... Yeah part of it if i'm working with something like this 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 grade cotan mutton fat jade if i'm working with the gradients of green i don't want an insignificant clasp i want a luxurious clasp on there that's going to give me peace of mind when i wear it absolutely which is why they manufacture now like diamond encrusted jewel and gem encrusted clasps yep. things like that because they are fast realizing that it is a very, you know, I mean, let's face it, jewellery does slip around, particularly yep. on the wrist. That's so true. you want something very attractive, you do. don't you, on it? Not just a, just a lobster claw. I just thought it, I was a bit underwhelmed by that. Boy, something like this, I'd have been, mm. I'd have been happy. Um, OK, have a little look at the website. What's that? Sorry, Ross. Oh, the lobs. Yeah, OK, let's do that now. Um, Oh, oh my goodness me. This is like a top of a charm or a pendant that's on and offable. You've got the lobster claw, but then you've also got... Oh, look, you can put one of your little half-drilled gems on there. Oh, that's lovely. It's a little butterfly. That would be lovely. That would be absolutely lovely on a charm bracelet, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Yeah, finishing touch, wouldn't it? 
beautiful. I love the fact that it's rather than just be sort of a classic jump ring, it is a lobster claw because it means you can take it on. And it's got a pin on it, so you can do the, you know, the pearls that you had with the half yeah. year old. And the hypo cement that we've got uh, mm -hmm. on pre order right now. Just a little dab of your hypo cement, secure it into one of your gemstones, half bills, whichever you wish. Um, and away you go. Look at that beautiful little butterfly. It's going to look stunning as a finished piece of jewellery. We're at 14 99 but again, the clock is ticking. This is the after party, lovely jewellery makers. If you've missed any days of the birthday celebrations, then um, you'll be very glad that you're tuning in today because we, are, we get the best of everything, basically. Um, some of them will be very limited in their quantity. I should imagine this one will be because Ross has said in my ear, do you say 100 sold on launch? 150, there we go. Um, so there was 200, uh, 200 of them originally. What do we take, what do they take it to? Really? 9.99? Again, just glue that onto, a, onto a, a nice pearl. Leave as it is. Top quality jewelry, it's taken you minutes to create it. Love the detail of the little butterfly. Beautiful. So Beautiful. pretty. So pretty. Well done, everybody. Lots of multi buyers on this. Sean in Northamptonshire, you've multi bought. Charmaine, Robert, Robert, Carol, Helen, Samantha, Angela's multi bought. Elaine's multi bought. Nora, Lorraine, Devon, you're there. London, new customers. I only had 50, so you do need to be quite quick checking them out. They're sweet, aren't they? Really, really sweet. Again, just a little dab of your hypo cement glue. Da -da, that's all you need um, on your on the little butterfly peg secure it into your pearl leave it overnight for it to bond and secure and you've just made high-end jewelry amazing amazing at a fraction of the price mm -hmm. and it's on and offable you could clip this onto your paperclip chain yes most definitely, that definitely. Would work, it's, like a, it? it's a charm carrier really isn't yeah it? Mm -hmm. beautiful well done everybody so many of you there very close to selling out North Wales, hello to you, Fife, Nora, Elaine. Um, there's a couple of other items on the website that you can shop ahead on, um, including not just the uh, ombre green cotan uh, mutton fat, they're on pre-order, um, but we've also loaded the oval class, which is very Charlie Baron-esque. Um, we're also about to load some uh, white topaz earrings. Um, so that you can shop ahead on those as well. Um, again, lots of precious 925 sterling silver. They're on your screens right now. Okay, so white topaz stud earrings. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, where were these played? I missed out on those. 10 pounds for those. There are only 30 though, they absolutely flew. So they're sterling silver and not cubic zirconia. These are white topaz with that lovely graduation. Speaking of Pandora, you know, um, and just again to, uh, to point out the fact that I, although I talk about their prices, I have bought from them. Um, I walked past them. This, is a, this was probably last year, I think. Uh, walked past Pandora's shop and straight, you know when something captures you, gets your attention? And I saw this pair of earrings. They very much like that, only just the studs. They've got a little graduation. So if you can imagine it without the drop, um, and I was like, oh, they're nice. They're really nice. And they're cubic zirconia, probably, um, in sterling silver. I said, I like those, just because they're really simple. Um, and off I trotted to do something or other. I came back, and Tom had, uh, Tom had bought me the earrings, which is a really sweet blessing. But, yeah, just really, they, I think they were about £45 or something like that. About £45. But just to show you again how amazing our deals are. Mm. Fabulous. They're not, they're not cubic zirconia. These are topaz. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations now. Um, it is time for this. Oh, I'm excited about this opportunity. So this is your ombre green Cotan Jadeite drums. Um, jade, sorry, I said jade. Yeah, because um, it is nephrite. Now, Cotan historically is firstly the most expensive location of source. Um, and the oldest location of source of jade in the world. To say that you own, you're a custodian of, uh, of Cotan jade, it really is something to celebrate. Um, you know, when we show you these sort of ancient carvings we have done in the past, your Cotan uh, jade carvings, they will be, they're never for insignificant amounts of money. They're never even at triple figures. They're at multiple thousands of pounds, if not more. This is, and we've all said it, in preparation to the birthday and after, and probably will do for, for moving forward, this is the best jade, I, uh, sorry, this is the best jade opportunity you've ever seen. 
Um, it was not, there were 10 available in the world. This is something that my own personal recommendation, if that's, uh, if that, if you value that, um, is that you at some point should get this insured because it's irreplaceable at the price that we bring it to air. The history of Kotan has been one of um, centuries, centuries upon centuries upon centuries. Nephrite from this location is not just occasionally the most expensive variety of jade that you can get hold of, it is repeatedly the most expensive variety of jade that you can get hold of but it has the history behind it as well you know when people talk about jade be that jade i or nephrite they immediately think of kotan um, and the reason for that is because the jade that you get from the kotan which is on the verge of depletion by the way would it's rumored to have maybe less than a year um, of mining if it hasn't closed already potentially yeah, I'm just seeing, so yeah, currently unavailable everywhere. Um, if you haven't already uh, sort of learned this, that the, the, the moments of Kotan Jade coming from the ground are in truth probably behind us. So what does that mean to your Kotan if you're lucky enough to actually own it already? It is only gonna do one thing in terms of its price point, and that is increase. Um, and I'm gonna read through, these are, these are Dave's PowerPoints, if that's okay, but it talks about the rarity of what we're actually looking at here, um, where this gemstone was actually, uh, what has historically actually been unearthed. And you can see here, this is in Kachin State, um, you have uh, jade pickers, and this is how they used to source their jade. They used to sort of wade into the waters mm -hmm. themselves to, to actually, sort of the moonlight, they believed that the moonlight would reflect the jade itself and make it easier to actually find and source but that's obviously an ancient picture sort of depicting the sourcing of their most treasured gemstones um, hundreds upon hundreds of years ago um, and you can see the locations there um, you can see the jade deposits they're all actually marked uh, marked on the uh, on the, the map of China itself um, we know that uh, of course China, you don't get jadeite in China. This is all exclusively. This is their jade, for example, that is actually unearthed from the ground. Um, so you source Kotan or nephrite jade um, actually in this location. And there are a few deposits around there, but out of all of those deposits, the most legendary is, of course, your Kotan. Although Chinese nephrite prices received little attention for many decades, since the rise of Chinese economy in the 1990s, the original jade has appreciated tremendously. That's what we're talking about right now. Kotan um, and your nephrite is the original jade. It's actually older. Um, as of 2014, the world auction record for jade is held not by a Burmese jadeite, but by a Chinese nephrite. And here it is. We can actually show you that photograph. This is not jadeite. Um, this is not from Burma. Um, this is actually the same material, obviously a different colour. This is nephrite jade, uh, Kotan nephrite jade. And yes, it's got history behind it, but look at that price tag. I, I can't comprehend those numbers. That's mm -hmm. the thing. When it gets to that, I can't actually comprehend, get my head around sort of that many digits. And this is actually quite small. It's only a few inches, I think, in its size. It's not actually the best colour. Um, yes, it's beautifully hand carved, but it's, yeah, the, the really the, the, the comment here here, that what, what highlighting here, it's not just your jadeite that commands those price points. Nephrite actually takes the top spot. It won't be that large because it's a seal, isn't it? No, so it it's, it's inches. It's about inches, yeah. about three, four inches maybe um, in its actual size. Um, jade from China's West surpasses gold in value. I'm, are we surprised by that? Are we surprised by that? I mean, we, uh, we've known that ancient Chinese province that, you know, that uh, um, gold has a price, jade is priceless. Um, you know, if you, if you damage your gold, you can, and Dave said this the other day, um, if you damage you got your gold, you can melt it down and you can uh, rebuild it if you like. Jade is quite literally pr priceless. And they go on to say, ounce for ounce, the finest jade has become more valuable than gold with the most prized nuggets of mutton 
Cotton Fat Jade, so named for its marbled white consistency, fetching $3,000 an ounce, a tenfold increase from, decade, uh, from a decade ago. Do you want to know how much is in this amazing necklace? 270 carats. When we discuss Kotan nephrite, it, it, and when we grade Kotan, it is exactly the same way that we would grade jadeite. The reason why we are saying this is the best that we have ever seen here at Jewelry Maker, you've got as close to imperial green colors that I've ever seen, firstly. Um, because with, firstly with nephrite, it's a slightly different luster. I actually prefer the luster of nephrite to that of jadeite because it's, it's much brighter. But you still grade its beautiful translucency. You grade its color. Is it polymer impregnated? Is it dyed? No, this is type A grade. Historically, um, we know that you can't mention, have the conversation of jade without mentioning Kotan. Because historically, this is probably the first place of unearthing this amazing treasure. So, so dear to um, the countries within the East, but now also so dear here in the West. We found a single uh, um, nephrite jade, granted different colors, but you are getting these colors at the reverse of the necklace, which I'll show you in a few moments time. A jade necklace, which is hand carved, uh, certified untreated, same as yours. The price of the mutton fat jade starts at $995 and tops out at $325,000 with these necklaces on average selling around 93. I mean, mm -hmm. that's first dib saying that, not us. Now on this amazing necklace, Strand, it's okay, you need to add your clasp or not, you could just knot them if you wanted to. There are 108 natural certified ombre to perfection, which takes absolutely years. Well, years. That, that, as I said earlier, you know, um, with, with a strand like this or a necklace like this, whatever you want to call it, each one has been cherry picked for the amount of strands that you have been produced. It, it, it has to be perfect. Totally. There are 10 of you there. I don't think we'll get another opportunity like this again. Not like this. No. The auction is opening in three, two, one. Good luck to you all. Edinburgh, amazing, Sue. Staffordshire, Essex, Lincolnshire and Shropshire, I can see you there. Um, we've got a message from Lorna. Hello, my lovely. Hi, JM team. I've just received the Greek, green Cotan strand. Um, it is spectacular. Also love the grey version, says Lorna. Lorna, can I, can I just say congratulations, because that is a, an amazing acquisition. Um, another message from Susan in Essex. I've got this. It's so beautiful. It almost made me cry. It's lovely. I, f I, I, I understand why, Susan. It, it really totally evoked an emotion. That's for certain. Do you know, and, I, and it's so important, and I'm sorry that I'm being um, talking about, I don't know, the less romantic side of this at the moment, but you must think of, about getting this insured at Definitely. some point. Without a doubt. Because we don't get items valued just for ego purposes. We get items valued for insurance purposes. If, heaven forbid, you know, uh, um, we lost an item or it was stolen, then we're not going to be able to replace it. To be honest, we're not going to be able to replace it at what's on your screens right now. No, right I mean, now. That, that's, that is so true. I mean... Um... We had um, a break-in, I think it's four or five years ago oh. now. And, uh, OK, it wasn't jewellery as such that, that went, a certain amount did, but it was my collectible handbags that I'd, you know, bought in my handbag collection days. And um, they turned out to be irreplaceable. Irreplaceable? Yeah. So things it, are irreplaceable at, at four thousand pounds which i'm not saying that's not an insignificant amount of money of course it is but you try and find a certified natural cotan on with this perfection of color anywhere else at, at what's on your screens i would personally be putting an 18 karat gold clasp on this 
Definitely. Personally. And get your certificate of authentication as well. Yes, that's invaluable. Um, it's an absolute must for this. And then if you do want to insure it, take it, do your some research and take it to somebody who understands Yes, absolutely. That's so gem. important. It's because, so important. Because, uh, you know, a lot of high street retailers don't understand the gym. Mm -mm. So take it to somebody that does understand the gym because you don't want to underinsure. I'm not saying you want, don't want to overinsure, but you certainly do not want to mm -mm. underinsure. Take it to somewhere, a gemologist. It has to be a gemologist. That's exactly right. And yeah. not, all, uh, not all valuers are. No. We're at three figures and we're not stopping there. Oh, goodness me, this is unbelievable. There, look, we have enough of you there to sell this out. And I assume you are waiting for that price point. Look, remember, it's not just me that's compl uh, and Linda that are completely blown away by this. Susan's messaged in 19 seconds ago saying, it almost made me cry, it's so beautiful. I, I totally agree. Um, Lorna, here we go. Just received the green coat and strand. It's spectacular. Absolutely. It absolutely is. And there's 10 available. Or rather, there were 10 available. Six now. In 60 seconds, we're going to drop it to that price tag. We don't... For, for me, this is the kind of opportunity that you would so... 100%. If you're talking about making a quick buck, and I, I, I personally I couldn't do this right now, but with, with this, I wouldn't be able to part with this. But if you're talking about making a quick buck, not it, put, put an 18 karat gold clasp on it and approach first dibs because they will not sell this for 999. They will <laughs> not sell it for nine. They won't no, sell it for 399. Bit, yeah, no. They won't. They absolutely won't. No. I know what this is going to, and believe me, it's absolutely incredible. The quality of the Kotan uh, um, Jade, is it doesn't get any better than what's on your screens. It will have taken absolutely years to be able to accumulate enough of that same translucency, of that same quality, of that same luster to create that perfect graduation. There are five chances available. Good luck. Huge congratulations. The biggest of congratulations that I've ever conveyed to those of you that own this amazing piece. Because at £499, yeah, or £124.75 on your split payment, you haven't got to wait the months to actually, uh, to, actually put, to get this home. You can pay that first £124. You can go and get it valued. You can get a second opinion if you wanted to. Um, you can sell it on. Even make, before you've even made that next payment if you wanted to. Not that I would be able to do this. I would 100% want this as part of my family's legacy. There Definitely. is, Linda, there's a reason why so many of us have actually said, um, not just as, as employees, we, we are purchasing the jade, this opportunity that is before us right now and fantastic that it is. It's not going to be there for very long. Remember, this is a mine that is rumoured to have closed already and that's centuries upon centuries of history. There's a reason why Kotan is globally as recognised as it is. It's the quality of jade that comes from that location. There is no finer strand than what's on your screens right now. No. no. We've got two left. Two of them left. We're not going any lower. That is your price point. It should have had four figures on our screens right now. I, I, yeah, Ross is saying uh, even, even if it was like £1,000 on top of that, that would be an amazing price. Absolutely it would. Absolutely, totally agree. It's the best Kotan we've ever seen. Ever, ever, ever seen. I, I, we are not reducing it anymore. That is the... We've matched the price that Dave's honoured. Um, it's been on air once. I've got two left now. There are 14 of you on the phone lines and the web. Um, you've got 108. Exactly. Oh, yes, it's the perfect length mm. for the Marla if you yeah. wanted to. Yes, Sue, perfect. Um, hello, Caroline, my lovely. Uh, and I know, Caroline, you've got a perfect on a strand. Abs perfection on a strand. It is, but it totally. is that, that is the word. That's the right word for it. It's perfect. Perfect perfection. There's one left. One left in the vault. I mean, I, I, I know for a fact that this particular strand has come from a company that is headed, the CEO of the company, is a world expert yes. on Jade. Yes. Oh, we were talking about him yesterday. Mm. He's a, he was in the building, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a couple he of weeks ago. He was a couple ago. of weeks ago yeah. he was here. 
Um, just unbelievable. One final opportunity. I don't want this to slip through your fingers. I've got West Yorkshire, Staffordshire, Essex, Lincolnshire and North, uh, um, Northamptonshire and West Yorkshire on the phone lines. You can see you there. Glasgow, you're there for one. I've only got one. I don't want this to slip through your fingers. I want you to see it in person. I want you to see why so many of us are just completely blown away by it. You know, that's, this is the kind of piece, the kind of opportunity that I'll never forget. I will never forget this, uh, this opportunity. Well done to each and every single one of you. Huge congratulations. Um, and we have got more opportunities like that in different colors. Now, just before, ah, oh, these are beautiful. Oh, the, it's the year of the rabbit, of course. There are less than 20 of them. Um, here we go. Well, now, that would make a delightful christening present, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? If you're born of this year, mm -hmm. you're, a year you're, you're a rabbit. Yeah. Um, and also 1987. I always remember it because Adam's a rabbit. Oh, right, OK. And he was born in 1987. <laughs> Um, beautiful cashmere grey. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? It is lovely. I really love beautiful. that soft edged carving to it. And, and also not polished in that yeah. mat. Yeah. Ah, look, he sat on a little bed of, bed of flowers, it looks like. So, Roscoe, you need one of these as well for your little babby. It'll be Year of the Rabbit too. I mean, even here at 499, again, it's 10 carats, beautiful hand carved. They're limited in their quantity. Caroline, I can see you there straight away wanting multiples of these. Yeah. Are you a rabbit? Or do you know somebody that was born in, uh, born in the year of the rabbit? Or do you just like rabbits? Um, Ross has just said I had to, I had to triple check this price tag. Um, and it's carved front and reverse as well. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to wear that, um, if it did turn over, it wouldn't matter. You'd see that beautiful detail. Look and appreciate that translucency um, that we're seeing within uh, within Nephrite. I adore Nephrite. I think Nephrite for me is, um, it's my, well, out of, out of the bangles that we've brought to air, I chose Nephrite because um, I just love the colours and the translucency. I just love the it. look of this gemstone. I love its, this sort of translucency um, with, a, with an opaqueness as well. Yeah. Um, you can see why they choose it for carving, can't you? Because you get that fabulous outline but it still set, remains soft reminds me of watership down this piece oh it's not all bad no it well. isn't it's not no. all bad no. lovely soundtrack yeah isn't it beautiful soundtrack um let's quickly squeeze in um what's this one ah oh, the little lotus flower hang on this is where i need my glasses hang on a second Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, oh, lovely little component with the anchor points, of course, that you could um, easily, easily knot onto or attach with your sterling silver chains if you wanted. Um, so you have the circle of heaven and then you have that in the centre there, your lotus flower. Really pretty, aren't they? Um, we're at £39.99. Again, um, lovely intensity of natural colour. This is not type B or type C grade. Well done. I can see you there on the phone lines and also on the website. Make sure you stay tuned because we have got some apps absolutely spectacular pearls coming up in the next hour um we've all, we've got the blue akoya coming up at 11 o'clock sorry the glue <laughs> the glue <laughs> the glue <laughs> is coming up at 11 o'clock. You've got your Blue Akoya, your South Seas and your Tahitian coming up after this break as well. They're going to blow your mind. And I can't believe the price they took them to as well during the birthday. Um, amazing. Make sure you do check out your baskets. Huge congratulations once again to everybody that managed to get hold of this incredible strand. Um, it is absolutely unbelievable. Don't go anywhere. Linda and I will return after this. Hello jewellery maker, John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word, 13 years. You've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. From the hobby maker team. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewellery. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. 
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. I can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys. Tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you. Uh, and happy birthday once again. Hi, my name's Susie Mellon, and I just want to wish Jewelry Maker a very happy 13th birthday. Mwah. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Happy 13th birthday Jewelry Maker, you are officially a teenager. Over the last 13 years you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration. So thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday. I'm very excited to come and celebrate with you. Hi, Charlie here, Sermon Street Director. Just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi you lovely people, happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from here at one o'clock each day. Have a great time, keep on making. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of jewellery maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the jewellery maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, jewellery maker. Hey. What an amazing show it has been so far. And genuinely, I meant it when I said the after show um, show um, is it's always one of our most popular to be part of because you get the best of everything effectively. Um, we always describe it as presenter envy, and I know guest designers have designer envy as well, but there's certain items that we might see um, our wonderful colleagues bring to wear that you're just really jealous that you're not doing it as well. These next few opportunities were, that was definitely the case for me. 
because many of you that know me know I'm completely obsessed with pearls. Absolutely adore pearls. Um, and alongside your jades, pearls is the gemstone that I've been buying the most of over the past uh, few years or so. And yet, you know, with all the challenges that the, um, the pearl market has against it, COVID being probably the most obvious, um, and they don't think that's really going to be uh, recuperate to its full uh, um, height, if you like, in terms of supply uh, for another decade or so. The fact that Jewelry Maker are still bringing you these pearls really is something to celebrate. But it got me uh, immediately when I saw these next few opportunities, and it's all down to um, which is your choice, uh, which is your preference. Um, when we talk about luxury pearls, because there's lots of different varieties, and I need to, I, I wanted to describe that because not everybody knows the difference. So, for example, you've got saltwater pearls and you've got freshwater pearls. Um, generally speaking, your saltwater pearls are significantly more expensive. Um, I always describe them as the Mariah Carey's of pills because they're much more deaverish. Um, they require a lot more investment of time to actually culture the pills and also to actually nurture and look after them. Freshwater pills, um, it, it really opened the market to um, the pearl, pearl opportunity to sort of um, Joe Bloggs. Basically, everybody all of a sudden could purchase pearls because all of a sudden they were um, they were much more affordable. Um, they kind of churn them out a little bit faster to a certain degree, um, certain varieties, I should say. But of the top three. If I was to ask most people that have enjoyed pearls for any period of time, what are the, the three most luxurious pearls in the world? They will say, South Sea, in no particular order, South Sea, Tahitian, Akoya. They are the big three. And down to, it's down to you to decide, really. And, uh, you know, you could go on the web and you'll find different articles that will say, Akoya's the best, South Sea's the best, no, Tahitian's the best. You know what? Just, you're all beautiful. It's all down to your personal preference. But we can complicate that somewhat by start talking about the size, the shapes, talking about the colours, the luster as well. So we've got those, the, the five virtues that I quite often reference. The rarest of all, though, in the first location that we are going to take you to is blue. I'm going to take you to the cool waters of Japan, where for just between two and three months of the year, pearls are harvested in salt waters. This is the oldest location of pearl harvesting. Mikimoto developed the idea, the concept of culturing pearls in Japan. Um, and I found an article, these aren't my words, but I wanted to share them to you. But within, um, within uh, um, Japan, the cool waters of Japan is where you get opportunities to acquire these beautiful treasures known to have the best luster. Again, that's something that South Sea say and Tahitian pills also say. But I thought this is a really beautiful article and it highlights just how rare this opportunity is. Blue pills the rarest of all pearls. Most people appreciate how pearls come in a variety of size and colors, yet few are aware of blue pearls, one of the mo most unique wonders of the world, arguably the rarest of all pearl colors. Even more compelling, blue pearls come in a wide variety of blue hues, from pastel sky blue to a deep midnight blue. The meaning of a blue pearl Trust, truth, tranquility, and courage are the qualities associated with blue pearls. Blue pearl, uh, uh, blue pearl is the perfect gift for someone who needs that extra boost in confidence and calm in their lives straight away. And again, I don't necessarily get on board with the metaphysical side of gemstones. I'm intrigued by it, but that wouldn't be why I would uh, purchase a gemstone. But immediately those words resonate, you know, tranquility, courage, calmness, confidence. Like they absolutely resonate um, when I'm seeing these acquire pearls before me. But Akoya pearls, whether you're purchasing them in white, whether you're purchasing them in blue or, or every other color in between, 
is an investment. It, it, there's no two ways around it. You've got to remember they are harvested only a couple of months of the year. So obviously the, you know, the time frame, the actual harvest itself is very, very limited. It's not a case of, okay, well, we'll, just, we'll just have more of those lovely mollusks, won't we? We'll just put more of them out there so that we can harvest more and more acquired pearls. It doesn't work like that because of course there's different temperatures in the water, there's different minerals in the water, um, and, and all of these have to obviously be nurtured and cared for. Um, um, so it's not a case of just more, just put more in there. Um, and it's not a guarantee as well that you will get a pearl at the end of it. But when you do get the rarest of them all, um, they are a, an amazing anomaly of nature. So imagine that. So you've been nurturing this little mollusk for, um, for a period of time, and a coir pearls are the smallest of all mollusks, usually about two and a half uh, inches in their diameter. So you've been looking after this little mollusk, you've been taking, chipping off all the barnacles, you've been making sure the temperatures are just right so he lives, uh, he's living a really, really happy life. And then when you do come to sort of uh, um, extract that pearl, you find that it is a wonderful blue. It's like, that's like finding uh, um, that, that diamond in a rough. It's, it's a needle in a haystack. It's that opportunity that you don't ever imagine to come true, like winning the lottery. There's a blue pearl inside. So you found one of them. How often do you think it is that that happens? Well, I can tell you it's the rarest of all colors. So to get a strand like this, that I'm about to show you, completely and utterly justifies the $5,000 that this is commanding on that website. Can we show it? A natural Japanese Akoya pearl measuring eight to eight and a half millimeters in size with a sterling silver clasp secures the blue Akoya pearl necklace with a safety hook to ensure your pearls are always protected. Um, with their strong iridescent and excellent luster, Akoya pearls make a stunning accessory for any occasion. This would have potentially, and I can't give you sort of a, a look, look, it took this long, a definitive answer. This would have probably taken multiple years of harvest to actually accumulate enough to make that necklace. Is, there, is it a surprise that we haven't brought you blue pearls before? The only time I think we've ever even mentioned blue pearls, not brought them, but mentioned them on our screens, was in the presence of Charlie Barron, where he said those words, they are the rarest of colours. It said in that article earlier on, you get different shades. You can get your very delicate sky blues, but you can also get the much darker, much more Tahitian reminiscent um, colors of Akoya pearls like this, like a midnight blue. But look at that price tag. That's just two. Two Akoya pearls for $440. And they say as well, that's why I kind of included it in this photograph, that a rare blue colour palette to be seen in Akoya pearls happens every once in a while um, as the mother oyster creates the pearl. Um, these are rare anomalies of nature. I, I'm, I was trying to think in pressure, preparation for today's Deal of the Days, is like, okay, did Charlie ever bring blue pearls? I don't know is the simple answer. I don't, I don't remember, and I'm pretty sure I would remember a blue Akoya pearl opportunity. Um, our, our powers that be are saying this is the first time ever in jewelry maker history and they do not disappoint. My goodness me, these are absolutely mind-blowingly beautiful. To be a true blue Akoya pearl, you need to be natural. That's exactly what these are. Natural blue Akoya pearls. And you're not just getting the one, you're actually getting a strand can see that blue color even from distances away yeah I, I wanted to show this as well because this was on Etsy there was one available rare find they, they highlight don't they it's in somebody's basket look at that price tag and I know they're a different shape but you're talking about two and a half thousand pounds for that necklace it doesn't look finished I don't know if it's finished or not they're saying it's a necklace, aren't they? Oh, strand, there we go. But um, two and a half thousand pounds. Now imagine that knotted and a complete piece of jewelry. Is it gonna sell for two and a half thousand pounds or is it gonna sell for at least double that? At least double that. The rarity of what I have draped across my hand is one not to miss out on. If you are a pearl connoisseur and a pearl lover, then you, your ears have already picked up. I already know that you're excited about this opportunity. Good luck to those of you that are, uh, that, that, that are wanting it. Know that this is only a limited quantity opportunity. We do not have huge amounts um, of blue, uh, blue uh, well, 
uh, of blue pearl, pearls full stop. Even if they were dyed, we don't have big quantities. These are not. These are completely and utterly natural. So again, Ross, just to get the housekeeping out of the way, how many do we have of these available? There are 11 available. Okay. There was only ever 30 available at the beginning. Dave launched them on the first day of the birthday. This is coming from the most historic location of sourcing your culture pearls. As I said earlier on, Mickey Moto. Let's talk. Let's go through this because it's actually that's exciting. Because not only are these blue pearls, these are Mickey. These are Japanese acquires. So the son of Japanese uh, noodle maker Mickey Moto created the world's first cultured acquire pearl in 1893 by manually in, in, introducing an irritant into an oyster to stimulate it to form a pearl. Back in 1893. And it was from this location. So your acquire pearls are the most, much like Kotan actually, as we just spoke about, are the most historic. Um, when you're shopping for high grade, investment worthy pearls, you'll notice that they, uh, that they come in several different types. The type of pearl in this case, the Japanese acquire pearl, is determined by the mollusk which form, from which it came. Many different species of mollusk produce many different kinds of pearls, so the opportunities are expansive when it comes to pearl purchasing. So, what are acquire pearls? Simply put, an acquire pearls are some of the most beautiful culture pearls available. They can't <coughs> Excuse me. They come in from the relatively small acquire oyster, whose scientific name is the pink tada uh, fucata. Um, in order to preserve the species, most acquires, uh, acquire oysters used for pearl farming are bred in hatcheries. Um, in this article, we'll cover a little bit about the history of acquire pearls and how they cultured and harvested throughout the world. Harvested only in the calm waters of Japan, they do look calm, I agree, Ross, yeah. The history of acquire pearls um, is in inextricably linked to uh, Mikimoto, the founder of Mikimoto, the creator of the first ever cultured pearl. Yeah, you talk about Mikimoto, you think about this location. Renowned for their delicate colours and their brilliant luster. That's the cool waters that produce that impeccable luster, by the way. Akoya pearls are created by the smallest pearl making oyster in the world, measuring no more than six to eight centimetres in size. The Akoya oysters can be found in the calm waters of Japan, where the cool water temperatures encourage a slower formation of nacre, resulting in a more compact structure, which gives the pearl, as I've just said, the brightest of luster if you are do you know, again i know if i was to ask any pearl expert what's the most important of the five virtues they would 100 percent say luster same as you know um you can ask the question of diamonds what's the most important of the four c's is it carrot weight is it color is it clarity or is it cut it's cut and not everybody says that because you can have, you can have the biggest diamond, but it doesn't necessarily look the most beautiful. You can have the best colour, but if it's cut poorly and clarity, if it's cut poorly, it's not gonna, it's not gonna complement the stone. Lustre is the equivalent in your pearls. This is the rarest of all, widely documented, whether it be from a koya, whether it be uh, from any other location, blue is known to be the rarest colour that is naturally produced in the culturing process. You can see that beautiful crisp white lustre. There are 11 available opportunities and uh, Linda, you hinted at it earlier on. We're going to put a one minute warning clock on your screens and then we're going to be introducing um, the graphics to your screens. Going back, Linda um, was talking about uh, um, the demand. There we go. Two reasons why pearl pricing is surging in Japan. The Japanese jewelry market has experienced a higher demand for pearls from surprising, unexpected clientele men. Yes, lots of men are wearing pearls as well, causing prices to completely surge. Aside from COVID related reasons for the production decline, um, a mysterious event that killed millions of Akoya pearl oysters back in 2019 largely aff affected uh, production figures. Quality pearl have already seen an increase in wholesale prices. So everything has been against the pearl, mark, uh, against the pearl harvest. Um, the death of the Okoya oysters, oh, this is sad, isn't it? Um, in Japan, and what it means to you. 
We, well, it means a higher price point. You know, it will it will rec recuperate. Of course, it will. It will recuperate, um, of course. But we will have to wait for it. And in the meantime, we'll have to pay a high price point. Ordinarily, if you were shopping anywhere else other than here at Jewel Maker, there are eleven available. Did you say? Immediately, we've got people getting involved and checking out your baskets. What a fantastic purchase! Well done, Peter. Um, absolutely amazing. Again, you can see that strong blue that is so rare so celebrated in the curl in the pearl uh, market uh, and again you only uh, pearl experts I know that you're familiar with Charlie I remember asking him the question some years ago what's the rarest color of all and he said blue he said blue straight away um, look at these wow they're incredible so these cobalt blues um, in the genuine Japanese Akoyas are a thing of the past China is trying to recreate the Akoya but in reality they are just fresh water these pearls are in color uh, the, the, sorry these pearls in this color are solely supplied to high-end retailers here in Japan or Europe they are sold as single options with bracelets um, if you were to take our whole remaining supply I'd be willing to provide a closeout okay Okay, this is obviously how we've acquired this opportunity for you today. In reality, you are the only company who can take everything, and I'm confident in saying this, uh, will be the biggest pearl deal in the world possibly ever. So this is our supplier talking about this very opportunity. We've purchased everything that they have. They're, you've got to be really careful where you are sourcing, of course. You know, and I, and I read an article last night talking about the fact that really a lot of the saltwater um, uh, um, harvest are actually freshwater pearls. So buy from a trustworthy uh, location of source. Yours is certified. You've heard direct from the supplier right there. A thing of the past. I wouldn't say indefinitely. I don't know because you would hope that the the the, the, the Akoya market um, and the oysters will obviously get back to their um, original status previously and numbers really. Even here though, at one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine pounds, these are certified completely natural. Look, we're already better than the one that I found on Etsy where there's just one, very similar in that sort of soft sky blue. It's not the darkest of colors. If you want the darkest midnight blues, I would say go to uh, Tahitian pearls. But if you want the sort of soft silvery blue, more like a, I don't know, a, um, um, glacial tones, um, then definitely go to the cool waters of your um, Japanese Akoya pearls. Straight away collectors getting involved. Even if we were here, easily, Anywhere else for the rarity of natural blue pearls here. Easily. Well, look at the earrings that I showed you earlier on, which were inferior in their colour. Those two stud earrings, they were like £500. They were $440 for two. Even if you took this strand and broke them down in two, broke it down into individual pendants or pairs of earrings, it wouldn't be un it wouldn't surprise me to see 500 pounds 600 pounds 700 pounds not at all incredibly dave launched these alongside carol as part of the birthday celebration at under a thousand pounds the rarest of them all those aren't my words those are the words of one of the leading pearl companies in the world on natural blues those are their words. And you can get them home today for £799 or use your 0% interest split payment of just £199.75. Again, we've never, ever, ever done blue Akoya pearls uh, before. I love the fact that you have this really beautiful Baroque, almost La Peregrina drop shape as well. Um, really? We didn't close here. Okay. We went even lower. Okay. I'm learning this with you. I can see you there, Hampshire, Worcestershire, Devon, London. And I know you're on the phone lines as well. I can't see your names as of yet. These are not dyed. These are certified natural blue Akoya pearls. One of the top three locations in the world for the finest pearls. This is a one-off opportunity, one that our supplier said, look, this is not gonna happen again. You can take our entire supply because I know that you will bring the best, the best possible deal. Are you happy? Uh, uh, were you happy at one, two, nine? Nine? Because I certainly was. We did promise them under a, um, under a thousand. We're at 799. 
and we're still not closing there. Good luck, everybody. Get these home. I would encourage, again, much like the conversation we had with your Kotan Nephrite Jade, I would recommend getting this valued and I would recommend getting it insured. £699. I generally do not know anywhere else in the world that can bring you a full 20 centimetre strand of natural blue Akoya pearls and a double figure, uh, sorry, triple figure price tag anywhere near what you're seeing right now. Um, absolutely incredible. Worthwhile getting them valued. Um, worthwhile getting them short 100%. Now we are not only under a thousand pounds, we are significantly under a thousand pounds and it wasn't where we closed. I can see you there and I get that this is an investment, I get that, but comparatively to what you, you might see blue, natural blue, so important that you research that it's natural that they are genuine Akoya pearls, not freshwater pearls. Um, because, you know, there are some fairly scrupulous retailers out there that will maybe say it is and it's not. Even here at 699, that's absolutely incredible. I get that's an uh, you know, a, a considered price, but not comparatively to what we're getting. Akoya pearls, I remember the first Akoya pearl ever launching here at Jewelry Maker, probably about eight, nine years ago. I bought one. Mine was a blue pill, funnily enough, but it was, it, it was on Gemporia, our sister channel. It's a much darker colour, more like those earrings, framed in 14 karat gold in a tiny, tiny little pendant. I can tell you that I paid, I, I remember, £350 for that pendant, and that's one single pearl. One single pearl. You're getting an entire strand today for £499. That is your closeout deal. We cannot go any lower. This is the rarest of the rare. Natural blue. We've got six available within the vault. Massive congratulations. We've got retailers getting involved, and I don't blame you for that. The reality is they've probably not had the opportunity. I don't know. I don't, I'm guessing at this maybe, but you've probably not had the opportunity to purchase natural blue Akoya pearls. Um, with the confidence of knowing that is precisely what, what you know what we uh, we are saying they are. Well done to those of you that have been successful in getting hold of yours. Bedfordshire, amazing. Remember, we had eleven retailers getting involved. I'm immediately down. Over half the stock has gone um, to the final five opportunities. You can do it if you check out Anonymous Maker, Teresa, Karen, Patricia, another Teresa, um, Oxfordshire and Devon. Um, hello to you, London. Well done to you, Edinburgh. You're there as well. There, you can dial up speak to our wonderful call center team um, if you haven't yet set up an account thinking oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it in time make the phone call because they can do it super quick and you can be the custodian of one of the rarest of all pearls um, every item that you purchase from us here at jewelry maker and I'm saying this for the benefit of people that maybe are new to the channel comes with a full 30-day money-back guarantee no questions asked get it home get a second opinion you've got your certificate of authenticity it's not going to show the price that you paid on that certificate of authenticity by the way so you you can just say look there's a cert this is blue uh, natural blue akoya pearls um you know uh, what do you think these would be valued at what do you think these would be priced at in your average retailer they're not going to say 499 well done everybody i've got two genuine chances left now within the uh, within the vault i'll leave those with you because there's a load of you with it in your baskets congratulations everybody do you know what these would look amazing with and can you imagine I don't know, you're going to some special occasion. It might be a wedding. It might be, I don't know, a dinner dance. It might be a ball or whatever. Can you imagine? And you're wearing a, um, a piece of jewellery, let's say a necklace, and it's going to capture everyone's attention because they're the most mesmerically beautiful pearls. And of course, I don't know, put yourself in the shoes of a, of a celebrity for a moment. And they say, oh, you know, what are your pills? What's your jewellery? Who are you wearing, for example? Um, and you actually get the opportunity to say, well, this is not only natural blue Akoya pearls, but it's South Sea and Tahitian. Now, I'm going to go to polar opposites of your cool waters of Japan to the warm waters of Australia. Widely regarded as the most deverish of all oysters. The reason for that, the South Sea Pearl, and the, again, there's, I, I read so many articles last night, oh, the Koi is the best, South Sea is the best, Tahitian is the best. They're all beautiful. 
it's very difficult to actually say which is the best pill because I guess it's all actually uh, um, it's all perception, isn't it? What, what do you think is the most beautiful? You might gravitate towards the smaller size of the Akoya or the luster of the Akoya, or you might gravitate towards the golden colours of the South Sea or the uh, um, the wonderful intense colours of Tahiti. It's uh, of Tahitian pearls. It's up to you. Um, but yes. We're going to introduce the graphics straight away for this because they are very, very limited. But I want to talk to you quickly about South Sea. You get two different colours from South Sea, and that's all dependent on the oyster itself. Um, but how rare and how valuable are they? And I'll whip through this quite quickly. Um, white South Sea pearls generally retain the highest value of all pearl types. Again, there's that statement again. <laughs> all the, the different locations all say the same. Because of their scarcity and unusually large size, they command much higher prices. Well, I guess that is true. Depending on the quality, the shape, and the size of the Golden South Sea Strand, those prices can be um, well up into the thousands of dollars, with prices for the White South Seas going even higher. It is uh, quite common for the retail prices of fine quality South Sea necklaces, necklaces to be in the range of $10,000 to even $300,000 and more. The Baroque shapes uh, are often used individually in unique jewelry pieces and can make them more affordable, uh, while while still showcasing their natural beauty. Love it. Uh, and again, it's it's all about that size. Uh, with South Seas, it's quite different because we've just spoken about a, a, an oyster that's, what, six to eight centimetres um, in, um, in Akoya pearls. Um, the South Sea pearl, they can be almost dinner plate size and they take years to mature before they even start their pro uh, culturing process. Um, there's got to be the risk factor that is considered as well with your South Sea pearls. Um, I don't know if I would volunteer going swimming off the coast of Australia because there's lots of things in those waters, aren't there? Um, but where do they come from? Here we go. The majority of, what, of South Sea pearls are cultured along the northwest coast of Australia. Uh, pearls of the golden variety are also produced pr uh, primarily in the Philippines and Indonesia, two countries that are quick, quickly becoming leaders in the finest golden South Sea pearls. So we're not just talking solely about Australia it's actually that water area um, I suppose that produces these amazing pearls I wanted to see it so you can see there are literally that photograph a few moments ago look how many oysters are in those baskets and there's eight yeah so how many pearls do you think each of those oysters is going to produce maybe one possibly two or maybe none or maybe none, exactly, or maybe none. They can't open those. They don't open the mollusks to see if there's a pearl inside. They, they spend years nurturing them until that happens. They are the most pampered mollusks in the world, the South Sea mollusks um, of the golden lip oyster. And I saw this necklace earlier on and I thought, I've got to put that in the PowerPoint because there's something else I spotted. Not only these white South Seas, what do you spot? Queen conch, yeah. I, I, it was just on this article, I was like, I'm sure that's Queen Conch. You can see the flame, can't you? Alongside the South Sea Pearls. Yes, if you want size, then definitely the South Sea Pearls are for you. This strand is utterly exquisite. And I have to say, is pulling on my heartstrings as well. I might, I'm very tempted to join you on this one. I wanted the bust to show you um, against the white background just how beautiful that ombre is as well. So we've covered the expanse of waters from the coast of Australia across to the Philippines and Indonesia. Sorry, I'm pointing the wrong direction. Um, so you've got those wonderful golden colours and you have the crisp whites. Do you also notice that they are perfectly spherical? I think we have very much erred on the side of caution, describe them as near. Um, yeah, I think most uh, retailers would, would describe them as total, uh, uh, as complete rounds. They are natural in their colour. We're going to do it in one price crash. These are very, very, very limited. The most deverish of all pearls, arguably the most challenging, of, of course, to actually produce because they take such time. It takes significantly longer for a, a South Sea pearl to actually culture, um, even prior to it actually being instigating um, with that nuclear speed. Yeah, goodness me, really? We're at 499. 499 pounds, Russ. Really? This should have been more expensive than, I mean, I don't know, different traits. But this, for me, seven nine nine at least, at the very least. Is it just me that's absolutely flabbergasted by that opportunity? 
They're perfection. Let's go through the five virtues. Shape, rounds. These are round pearls. Perfect round pearls. Colour, are they natural? Yes, absolutely. Speaking about the white pearls fetching the highest price point, you've got the white and you've got the beautiful gold colours and everything in between. Totally and utterly natural. Then we start talking about, so what have I covered there? Shape, colour, size, eight to nine millimetres. So beautiful wearable size, you know, not too, uh, sort of, not too in your face. Um, a little bit more, um, a, a, I don't know, appropriate, I guess, for different occasions. And of course, that amazing luster. Well done. I'm going to leave it with you because I can see there's a few of you there. And again, I'm running out of time. Um, OK, the last of all the strands. Remind me what they go to. I've been showing these throughout the course of the show. Um, you've already got it in your basket. I'm not surprised. This is, if you got those black jades then I think you need these. Um, I've got a slightly bigger quantity. There's 19 available. And there's a... Uh, I gravitated towards this unknowingly, didn't I? I kind of picked them up quite frequently throughout the course of the show. Um, I love the fact that you are covering two of the big three. So we said it earlier on, what's the, what's the big three pearl varieties in the world? Akoya, no particular order, Akoya, South Sea, Tahitian pearls. Well, in this next opportunity, you've got both white South Sea and the beautiful intoxication of um, your Tahitian pearls. We can quickly talk about the Tahitian pearls because, again, this comes from a different location, contrary, uh, uh, contradictory to how the name suggests. It's not from Tahiti. Exotic black pearls uh, um, or the black lip pearl oyster are more commonly known as Tahitian pearls. These pearls are often referred to as black but have a remarkable colour uh, color range that covers the spectrum from light, creamy white to grey uh, to regal greens, iridescent peak Peacocks and deep blacks. Tahitian pearls are relative newcomers to the pearl world, popularized only um, as early as the mid 1900s by the efforts of uh, Mr. Robert Wan um, of Tahiti and his New York based colleagues. Unlike more common pearl types, Tahitian pearls typically have a, a naturally dark body color, These, and that's from the oyster shell itself, the black lip oyster itself. These pearls have become some of the most sought after expensive pearls in the world because of their vast color range, matching these pearls into a finished strands is an enormous task requiring thousands of loose pearls to create every single strand it is this location where they are literally sung to um uh, yeah I, I i ross is saying this is his favorite i love the fact that you're getting both i love the fact that you're getting the white uh, south sea i love the fact that you're getting the beautiful tahitian pearls as well beautiful tahitian pearls are among the largest pearls in the world ranging in size from approximately eight millimeter 18 um, the only larger commer commercially harvested pearls today are South Sea. The beauty of Tahitian pearls, however, is not limited to this size, but their incre incredible array of iridescent colours. Tahitian pearls are the only pearls that have a full spe colour spectrum. Black lip oysters have a rainbow-like mantle which exhibits all natural colours. These colours are expressed in Tahitian pearls in a magical way, with colours shimmering over the surface as some of the best specimens. You can see those colours, can't you? Because Tahitian pearls pearls are bead nucleated many of them are round or near round with other shapes expressed in drops like these baroques buttons or circled pearls when all other factors are equal round tahitian pearls are the most valuable or i should say i'm going to rephrase that most expensive not necessarily the most valuable um, and i also want to point out that it, it, these here will have the thickest of nacre um, it, it is uh, it's 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 uh, um Okay, um, it's the law that no Tahitian pearl can be exported if it's over, uh, under 0.8 millimetres in its thickness of nacre. Although Tahitian pearls carry the name of Tahiti Island, other Tahiti Islands, um, they do not come from Tahiti. Tahiti is the main trading post uh, for Atoll to produce the, uh, Tahitian pearls. Black lip pearls are farmed in the French Polynesia, the Cook Islands and the Micronesia Islands, um, and even some, to some extent Japan, Thailand and the Philippines. But only those grown in the French Polynesia may be called Tahitian pearls which is of course what you are getting right now we are going to do this in two price crashes I've already said out loud this is the lowest price of the three you've got South Sea tick in the white color and you've got Tahitian pearls and these beautiful droplet shapes even here imagine 
if you separate it, how many have we got on a strand? Let me count them. Four South Sea and five Tahitians. So you could make two South Sea pearl pairs of earrings. You can make two Tahitian pearl pairs of earrings and a matching pendant. Because I personally, and it's up to you, of course, but I personally would use these as individual statement pieces. We had the chains earlier on, didn't we? Um, that would be absolutely perfect for that. In 35 seconds, we are, as stated, as promised, taking this to the lowest price of this high end, the most luxurious pearls that we can possibly bring you here at Jewelry Maker. We've covered them all, haven't we? We've brought you the blue of your uh, of Akoya pearls. Imagine those together. Oh my goodness me. Natural blue Akoya pearls alongside Tahitian and South Sea. Ticking all three boxes. And I get that that's going to be a bit more of an investment. I do get that. Lowest price of all luxury pearls. Coming your way at £249 only or £62 and 25 pence only on your split payment. Look at it from there. Again, you can see that wonderful colour contrast uh, between the pure whites of South Sea um, and the wonderful mystery of your black lip oyster Tahitian pearls. Um, that's working out, thank you, at £25 per pearl. I'm, I, never mind comparing elsewhere and price points, etc. Well, elsewhere. I remember Jewelry Maker launching Tahitian pearls. Um, it was in the studio just adjacent to Linda and I right now. And we sold them in little bunches of three, didn't we? And we first launched them, they were £150 for three. That was for three of them. Um, and they, they probably went down and back up, down and back up. They probably fluctuated in between that. But they were £50 per pearl, so we've significantly dropped the price tag since then. Amazing. Leaving that with you again. Loads of you there. London, West Midlands. Hello to Edinburgh. Barbara, congratulations to you. Loads of you there. Marion, you've got yours. OK, you've got loads of beautiful high-end opportunities coming your way, including your colour wheel strand of jade, which was, again, one of my absolute favourites. You've got bright red jade as well um, coming your way plus so much more but before that I've been shaking my hypo cement at you haven't I everybody who I think has become a regular with us here at jewelry maker um, or makes jewelry will probably already know how popular hypo cement is um, it certainly is the glue of my choice um, now we launched these and they sold how many <coughs> Excuse me, over 700 sold on launch. Okay, we have got quantity. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. Don't put, get yourself into the situation that I have where I have no hypo cement. Um, and I don't really want to use the glue that's super alongside pearls. Have we? We've got over a thousand available. Well, they sold over a thousand. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised by that. I'm not surprised. Um, it hasn't been on air since 2021. So I, I will be getting probably four or five of these. Because there's no shelf life. If this sells out, which could happen, it's, take, it's taken us two years to get back on air. So that means this might not be, you know, if history repeats, it's not going to be on air till 2025. If history repeats, that is. Um, what is so excited? Uh, can I open this, Dan? Is that all right? Yeah. Is that okay? Um, because I, oh, let's read the back first. Why is hypo cement the glue, uh, the glue of choice for so many of us here at Jewelry Maker? Um, let's read it on the back. We'll read it together, shall we? There, precision applicator uh, for intricate work. You know, there's nothing worse than sort of you're trying to get glue out and it's clumsy and you get glue on this precious metal and you can never get it off properly. Um, so no mess, no waste, absolutely. Um, and also, if I just turn it around this way, um, you can see there's that needle. Now, your hypo cement glue shouldn't seal up. Mine never has. Never has my hypo cement ever glue up, uh, sealed up. And I do a lot of gluing, in actual fact, because I make a lot of things like pearl pendants and amber pendants and things like that. So if I just open it up, up and I'll actually show you um, how it actually works. This will last you ages and ages and ages and ages, the hypo cement glue. Um, if I just open this one, you can see it's just a really simple unscrew nozzle. Come on, you can tell it's on there nice and securely. And then can you see how you have a needle inside of a needle? That needle pushes into that tube and prevents it from sealing up again. So it's genius, it's absolute genius. But it's also, let me take it out, 
That's the precision nozzle that you're going to be using. Can you see that there? It gives you just the smallest bead um, of, uh, of glue for you to dab onto any of the posts, for example. But it's not just that that we actually glue, is it? So you can remove that if you wanted to. As and when I haven't got my glasses on right now, and I'm doing this at arm length. This is where I've got such admiration for amazing designs. There we go. Um, so just make sure that needle goes back into the tube um, and obviously seal it back up nice and tight. And it shouldn't stick. It shouldn't stick. It shouldn't seal up. I've never, ever experienced that in my time. Um, but it is all about that amazing precision. Um, we had a thousand of these uh, uh, available. Over a thousand went on launch. But if they all sell out today, as Ross said to me, that it might be another couple of years until we bring it on air, if history repeats itself. Um, so, okay, let's have a little look elsewhere. Um, you can get this exact glue, hypo cement glue, there you go. Oh, it's on sale though. Nine pounds and 36 pe uh, pence, so it's on sale. Amazing. Um, another one we found, there we go, nine pound 36. Okay, amazing, exact same glue. Exact same size. Um, you can go to Amazon if you wanted to. £9.36 seems to be the price, doesn't it? Seems to be the price. And they even specify that it is a jeweler's glue. This is what you find within uh, jewellery workshops, professional jewellery workshops alike. Um, now, we've bettered those prices, haven't we? £8.99. I wouldn't just be getting the one. Whilst they do last, it's always good to have a second, uh, have a backup. You can see it's not just jewellery making. You've got pinpoint precision for jewellery, beading, hobbies, watch crystals, optics and industrial application. £8.99. I'm more than happy. We've bet, we've, we, we always try. We'll always endeavour to be, bring it to you the most affordable price tag. I don't know what they brought this to air for. What did they bring it to air for? Did they? Okay, yeah, I'll probably get I'll probably get four of these. Because it's always good to, it's not gonna it's not gonna go off. There's no shelf life. There's no date on there saying use by. So even if I just put this in a cool, cool, dry area, this 100 percent um will last. Amazing. So I'm gonna be stocking up on them. We're not even stopping at eight pounds and 99 pence only. Geraldine's multi-bought, amazing. Marion's multi-bought, Wanda's multi-bought, Pfeiffer's multi-bought. Um, Rachel, hello to you. Carol, Jill, Sandra, Lynn, Anita. Hello to you, Anne and Hilary, Jeanette. Hello to you, West Yorkshire, Soraya, Jeanette, Joanne, Jean, North Yorkshire, Elizabeth. Hello to you, um, North Wales, Karen, Maker says, I'll have six, thanks very much, Elle. I don't blame you. Um, full instructions are inside. Oh, okay. Shall I do it? Shall I? Because you do actually need to open open the box. Um, so here we go. Full instructions of use inside. Oh, yeah. I never knew that. I'd never have thought to open it. Who was that from? Who? Who? T how do we know this? Has somebody messaged in about it? Ah. Thank you, Jan. Here we go, full instructions inside the box. So I'd cut that out and just keep it on the side. Um, and to be honest, once you've used it, once you've used it, I think you're going to know how. But there you go, directions of use there inside as well. Um, so um, just if you do need any guidance on it. Hasn't been on air for two years. And that's not through choice, obviously. Uh, I had type. listen... I had hypo cement glue, and I'll remain nameless. One of the guest designers stole it. Stole my hypo cement. Stole it, stole it. It wasn't Linda, no, it wasn't Linda. You didn't, you didn't steal it, did you? But it's like gold dust, isn't it, Linda? Absolutely hypo... like gold dust. Is it your favourite? Without a shadow of a doubt, because as it quite says on the, on the tin, as it were, it is the jeweller's choice of glue. It's that precision tip. It is. Makes all the difference, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All the, and the fact the tip goes into the tip That's as well, right. so it doesn't seal up. Um, why is there a clock on screen then? We're going again. So we're going to beat Amazon and all the other establishments that we've seen. Well, we've already done that. We did that on the first price crash, uh, price introduction, didn't we? Um, for your for your hypo cement, as uh, rightly said by uh, our lovely Linda, it is the jeweler's glue. Let's read these bits on the sides as well. I always like reading the boxes of these for fine detail work. Um, 
for hobbies and crafts, model building, jewelry and beading, fly fishing lures, amazing. Um, watch crystals, plastic, glass, metal and ceramic, optical industrial applications, fine screw locking and general repair. $6.99 for you today. It dries clear, it stays clear and will not bond fingers. Oh, that's got to be a bonus. That is a it? massive bonus. Is there anything more annoying than glue on your fingers? Oh, no. Because it doesn't come off, does it? Oh, and then it, it, you sort of get it somewhere else then and eventually end up glued to whatever it is you don't need to be glued to. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody needs that. It's just, a, it's an annoyance, isn't it? It's an absolute annoyance. Um, and probably not best for your skin either, is it? So, um, doesn't bond your fingers, loving that. We had um, a thou over a thousand of these on the initial launch. They absolutely flew. Loads of you chose to multi-buy and you're doing exactly that today as well. Gillian snapped up two. Look, you've got one that can be in your jewelry making stash and you've got one then that you can keep um, you can keep as a, a, as a replacement. Norma, Hertfordshire, Muriel, Wanda's got five. Sandra, Denise, Anne, Alwyn, Ted, amazing. Um, Ted, I know you do some lovely gemstone setting. There's never, you know, lots of, uh, some of the jewellers that I worked at in their workshop used to often use, I'm sure it probably was hypo cement, but I'm going back some years, but they used to use a version of glue underneath a gemstone and then clog set just to give you that added addition, uh, additional insurance of security. Why not? Because I, I say it because, Ted, I saw your, your name there and I know you do some gemstone setting. Gillian, Lynn, well done to you. Anita, Anne, Hilary, Samantha, Norma, well done. Carol and Margaret, hello to you. Linda, Brian, Heather, Kaylee, new customers. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. We go crazy for our hypo cement. It's the, it's the glue of choice. Again, if you were to do a poll, I think most of us would say hypo cement's the best. Most of us. I'm not saying you have to say that, but we definitely do. We do definitely believe that. Amazing. And it takes us a, a long time to get, uh, to get back into stock quite clearly. Well done. Um, make sure you do check out your baskets. Whilst we did have thousands at the beginning of the birthday celebrations, we don't have thousands now. Um, so I'll leave, um, I'll leave those, final, uh, those final few there. My goodness me. What we have coming up a concept and idea that was sort of bounced around for quite some time before the birthday celebrations. We have the last remaining opportunities of the, if we, when we talk about 13th birthday, we're gonna say the color wheel Jade Strand. So the idea came from Mason and Kay themselves, another business that, that, that's, that's whole model is Jade. And they have the color wheel. Um, so just to show the many colors that jadeite forms in. And the idea was, I wonder if we could do a strand that includes those beautiful colors. We've got that to come, last remaining opportunities. Uh, we also have red jadeite coming your way. We have uh, Guatemalan jade bangle. And we have also the photography light box that I saw our lovely Monica walking out with the other day um, out of the studio. Now, if there's anything that, you know, you have seen um, as part of this birthday or other birthdays that you want us to play, then drop us a message. We'll do our very best uh, to include it in today's show. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on your hypo cement. Well done to every single one of you on your high-end luxury pearls, your blue acquires, your Tahitian and your South Sea. Um, and I can't wait to see those in finished pieces of jewellery. Um, I'm going to make my way over to our lovely Linda for more amazing uh, after-party deals. We'll be back after this. Hello jewellery maker, John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word, 13 years. You've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. From the hobby maker team. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewellery. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker.
Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. Happy birthday! Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. I can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys. Tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you. Uh, and happy birthday once again. Hi, my name's Susie Mellon, and I just want to wish jewellery maker a very happy 13th birthday. Mwah. makers did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee no matter the size weight or quantity of your order how many times you check out that day we will still only charge you that single pmp keep things simple on jewelry maker happy 13th birthday jewelry maker you are officially a teenager over the last 13 years, you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration. So thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday. I'm very excited to come and celebrate with you. Hi, Charlie here, Summer Street Director. Just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi, you lovely people. Happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from me at one o'clock each day. Have a great time. Keep on making. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of jewellery maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the jewellery maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, jewellery maker. Sit up straight. <laughs> I said, your chair's sinking <laughs> down. <laughs> Get lower and lower and lower, bless. Right, oh. sit up straight. I'm back with you now. Um, and my goodness me, we've got, we've got a lot to squeeze in between now and the top of the show because how many of you um, have got love hearts in your eyes over this amazing natural type A red jade eye? It's coming up. It's, it's already knotted, so you don't have to do anything to that, really. No. Nope. You don't have to do anything. Again, it's completely natural colour, so we've got that coming up, and we've got it in two different sizes. We've also got your uh, Nanhong Agate. Is that right? Yeah? 
to bring you. Um, I've got the color wheel of jade to bring you as well. Um, and I'm going to bring you a few other little uh, little items and deals to get to, 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 to get uh, so the momentum of today's show. Um, now, it's been very pearl heavy in the last hour. So let's give you a nice mix, shall we? Um, how about a big, gigantic parcel of one of your favorite gemstones historically? Um, there are 30 available opportunities. 1,400 carats. I shan't tick them all out if you don't mind, just because, look, it's a lot there. There is a lot. You can see you're getting two of these full containers. Um, you can see the... Uh, uh, anywhere else would describe this as blue sheen. I think we'd all agree. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you've got supreme... my wings, isn't it? Yeah, you've got supreme labradescence in each and every single one of these. Once upon a time, you know what? It used to be... Labradorite used to... Especially when I first started presenting, it used to fill me with dread. It's like, oh, I hope you can see the labradescence on the gemstones. I hope you, hope you can see it. I don't have to work at this. I'm not even looking at the stones. And yet here you are seeing that wonderful phenomena effect um, that, yeah, it gives it, understandably, uh, it gives it its popularity. Now, 1,400 carats of beautiful natural labradorite. I always call it the Heathcliff of stones. It's a member of the Feldspar family. It is. It's got, it's got this moodiness to it, which I quite like. It's quite moody and broody. Um, love it. Uh, again, Feldspar family, which is... Uh, um, surrounded in wonderful history and uh, mystery but it, it 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 actually its beauty offers that as well mm. it's a wonderful gemstone we're always like lobs uh, uh, lobs lobs <laughs> 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 moths to a flame uh, moths to a flame we just gravitate towards it hang on a minute seriously ross again this wasn't with us how are we bringing 1004 i'm tipping them out sorry i am doing it dan i'm doing it sorry just no, well, I've done it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. There's no stopping me. Look at how many there is. Because, hang on. She's still going, you know. But how long is it since we have... Well, I know it's been a dearth of time for me. I haven't seen Labradorite, because I can't say that word very well, so I will remember yeah. that I can't say. So I haven't used that word very often, because I still can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long is it since we've had these Labradorite cabochons? I can't remember the last time, certainly not in quantity. No, ages, no, absolutely cabochon. ages. It has been. And if we have, which, like you said, is not very often, it's probably, I don't know, that. Yeah, exactly. In terms of quantity. Yeah. You're probably getting that much, aren't you? Yeah. Um, all you wire workers out there, oh, now's the time to get involved. I'll leave it with you. There's a huge stash, years worth probably of wire working, depending on. Um, amazing. Shall we do something a bit crazy? You up for that? I feel like we're just being a bit too well behaved for the after, after party. Shall we do the what? Star with the pearl. A star? Is it a star? <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah, it is a star. <laughs> Sorry, Ross, not doubting you. I was a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, yes. Oh, it is subtle. That's clever. What a beautiful bale. So you get your half-drilled pearl. This is where you need your hypo-cement, see? You need your hypo-cement glue. Just put a little dab on the bottom of the peg. Secure it into your half-drilled pearl. Leave it overnight. Job done. Just made yourself Don't even jewel. consider... Popping the needle on the hypo into the pearl, as Elle just quite rightly said, just pop it onto the post. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, otherwise it will just ooze out of yeah. the top. You're going to make a mess of your pearl and nobody wants that. Now, um, we want to see how many of you there during the after party. Um, OK, first price crash. An amazing, beautiful, really quick piece of jewellery that you can create. But it's, again, it's, it, it, it's commercial jewellery, isn't it? Um, £19.99. pence. We'd pay that for the bale, wouldn't we? I'd expect to, because you've got that lovely... The bale is like wraparound of, uh, of lovely stars. Um, very symbolic, very They're emblematic. They're like shooting stars, really, aren't they? Oh, they're lovely. And is the bale... Yeah, that's a little star as well that goes... Would obviously just sit on top of the pearl itself. Um, 19 99 but we're going to go even lower. Now, we want to see you there. How many have we got available then, Ross? 50 available. It's the after party. 
You know what happens at after parties. It's where we, all, all, all the celebrities who go to these big red carpet carpet events. They've done the, you know, they've put that on their front, if you like, for the red carpet and the award ceremony. And then they run off with the goodie bags. Absolutely. I know, the goodie bags, which are worth obscene amounts of money. Mm -hmm. And they let their hair down, don't they? And that's where it all goes down. Definitely. It's like that here at Jewelry Maker. Very much so. It's all going down here. <laughs> We're going to find Linda dancing on the tables in a few moments' so. time. In four seconds. Not enough of you there, though. Not enough of you there. No, if we're going to go, if we're going to do it, if we're going to do it, we need to make sure that all 50 of these actually do sell out. This is going to be a bit naughty, lovely jewellery makers. You get both. You get the pearl, you get the sterling silver, beautiful wraparound star pendant. Very different, very unique in terms of its actual style. Um, come and say hello to us as well. Tell us what you're up to this Sunday morning. I always forget it's Sunday. I'm so caught up in the birthday celebrations. I don't know. Yeah, it's our last uh, um, our last day of sort of the birthday celebrations. We're back with you then on um, on Wednesday. But I've kind of lost what day of the week it is as part of this. I, I I lost that around Christmas time. I yeah. have no idea. What I, I all of a sudden shifted dates yeah. over Christmas. Do you do that? Yeah, absolutely. But I on a, honestly on a daily basis when I get up in the morning, I have no idea what day it is. Standard procedure for me, to be honest. <laughs> What's my name? What day is it? Where do I come from? Yeah, standard procedure. Like you look at the kids and go, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Um, OK, three seconds, we're going even lower. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's simplicity, and you've got you've even had the sterling silver chains today. Mm -hmm. So wait, you can get hold of one of those the curb chains we took to what was it six ninety nine. You can get hold of this beautiful sterling silver uh, um, bale and pearl. You've got your hypo cement glue. All you need is just a little touch of that. Leave it overnight. You've just made for less than what twenty pounds for the two for the two mm -hmm. components together. You're making high end jewellery. Um, that's why we had earlier on messages into the studio saying, look, I, I, as part Part of the birthday, I've ticked off the Christmas uh, presents boxes and the, and the birthday gifts and things like that. Hello, Vera. Hi, girls. Got both of the designs on launch. Magnificent. <laughs> Amazing. Are we talking about this? I think so. I think so, Vera. Yeah, it's all been magnificent today, isn't it? it certainly has. All been amazing. Um, big bait. Have I got what, sorry? J-Class, yes, I have. I've got the J-Class, they're just here. Am I meant to have this many, though? Yeah, three. So J-Clasps, um, also sometimes referred to as S-Clasps. It's not quite an S-Class, but um, what you'll basically see, you have this kind of like fish hook. If I hold it with my tweezers, you'll be able to see it better. So you have this kind of like fish hook design. And if you can imagine that's on one side, uh, one, one side of your necklace, and then this is on the other, you just basically loop them together like so. Um, and let gravity do its thing. So you can squeeze it together if you wanted to. These are 925 sterling silver. You're not just getting the one, you're actually getting three of your 925 sterling silver um, J-Class. We're not stopping though at 19 pounds and 99 pence. These will have been popular on launch, I'm fairly certain of that. Very popular, yeah. I'm surprised there's any left. Less than 30. And that's because, you know, let's be honest, bolt ring class, lobster class, certain class can be fiddly. They can be a bit fiddly. And if you can't be bothered with the fiddle, then basically use the J-Class as an alternative. If you can't be bothered with the fiddle, use the violin, yes. Yes, there we go. But these are absolutely the class to go to if you want to make these lariat star necklaces. Yeah, because lovely. Because you can have that for the sort of uh, passage through of the gemstones or beads from the one side. And again, you've got two in one with a clasp that normally a lariat necklace wouldn't have. Yeah, absolutely. Just took it over. It's that simple. That simple. If you want to squeeze it close a little bit lower, it's sterling silver. You've got that malleability as well. All three for £12.99 only. How amazing. Again, 925 sterling silver, beautiful precious metal. They're not small. Again, I like the idea of using them. Would you have them at the front then for a lariat necklace? So yeah. um, almost like you would do your curtain tie back. I would probably, with a, with a clasp like this, have them more sort of slightly on the side yeah, nice. to the front, but slightly on the one side. Yeah, beautiful. So that's working out at what, £4 each? Mm-hmm. 
four pounds for all that sterling silver well done it is busy on the phone lines and on the website what well a marion susan jane deirdre jeanette nice to see you as well today we have less than 30 available opportunities yeah i i, I agree with you i think long line necklaces really suit the uh, the j hook class but mm -hmm. again if you're one of those people that really struggles with the class and i do i struggle with like certain sizes of bolt ring clasps mm -hmm. um or lobster claws um then this is hopefully going to um, benefit fit you four pound per class you can't say any fairer than that there is a slight delay on our call screens here in the, in the studio um again make sure you make the most of these amazing after show after party deals um, after party deals these will all be very limited in their quantity I'll always try and update you on how many we actually have available um, but don't leave it to chance uh, make sure you do check out as soon as you possibly can we've got the light box coming up as well in fact, that can happen. Uh, we'll do that opportunity next. I saw uh, guest designer Monica walking out with this the other day. She was chuckling. It was so funny because she's so sweet, isn't she, Monica? Yes, she firstly. is. She was, wouldn't melt. No, it was proper <laughs> sweetie. But she was walking out the front door and she had all these boxes and she's laughing to me. She was like, this isn't even it. I've still got more to go back in for. <laughs> um, and she was like, I bought the light box. I've bought this. I've bought the jades. I've bought, I think she said, Alison's um, dragon jade class. She, uh, like, she had about four boxes and she had to go back in, um, go back in to get more, bless her. Um, but yeah, I mean, we see on a regular basis, don't we, Linda, the, oops, what's that? Um, we see on a regular basis the, the amazing pieces that our jewellery makers actually create. Um, and uh, of course, if you sell on Etsy, if you sell, uh, um, have a website maybe, um, or if you want to send your photographs into the Wall of Fame, of course, then um, having the right tools, having the photography skills um, is worthwhile. Now, let me just show you how this works. This is almost look exactly the same as yours, Adam. It's very, very similar, isn't it? Um, maybe even better. So, Adam, I'm going to need you for this. Um, so you've got the photo light box. You've got an on switches here. So obviously to put the light on, I guess. Um, it's, there's a USB port just here. So can you see that? So you can easily plug that in. It all sort of tucks in there, the actual cables, so it's nice and neat as well. And then inside, you have full instructions of how you actually use it, how you concertina it down when you're, um, when you're not using it. So, it, you know, it doesn't have to stay up, as we're showing you right now. Um, so it tells you uh, how to use it, how to set it up, where to put position your pieces of jewellery, for example, or whatever it is you're photographing. You know, what you do um, in terms of uh, sort of the switches just here, it even comes with a little carry case. I'm just going to put that down for a second because this is fairly important. You even have the different background colours. So depending on what you want to photograph, for example, if I was set, if I was uh, photographing some, I don't know, Tahitian pearls, I probably wouldn't put them on a black background. No. Um, I'd probably put them on a white background. Um, you've got white. Look, you've got this really lovely neutral colour. You've got a vibrant green. You've got a bright red. You've got the pure white, which is all wipeable, by the way. Um, you've got the black just there, and then you have this lovely teal green. So in total, let me just count those. One, two, three, four, five, six different colours. So if I just take the white for ease of, so we can, for ease of visuality, um, it goes in like this, yeah? Done. There. Eh. There you go, done. And obviously you take it, your lights up here. There you go. So your light source goes up here, clips in to place just here. Hang on. Or you can photograph through there. It's actually just showing there. Um, or from the front, or the front. Oh, so this can be a light source, of course. So you're not getting any glare from either side. So you've got the light source from the actual top. It's like a little sunroof, if you like. Um, but if you if you zoom in on this photograph just here, you can see um, that's using the actual white. Uh, you can see the photograph there is actually from the front, um, but also from the top. But it folds down. Um, it connects to power. Again, gives you that um, lights up itself. Absolutely amazing. You've got the different colors as well. Um, hello to you, sorry. 
Um, I have this exact light box. It's fab. Also have a 60 centimeter one, which I love, but this is much more convenient and big enough for most items. I think, you know, if I can get a, a jewelry bust in there, which I can, obviously not one of the taller ones, but if I can get a jewelry bust in there, one of your standard sizes, then it's going to do the trick, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, you're going to get your bust in there, you'll get your uh, bracelet um, stand and you'll get your earrings and so you can do the complete suite. You can do the whole suite of jewellery. Yeah. And it's easy to swap around the colours and you can play with the backdrop, see which works best. Um, amazing, amazing and so professional, particularly if you do retail your pieces. If you sell your jewellery or you have ambitions to sell your jewellery, then photography is really important. You know, um, I, I, you know, I think about it not just in jewellery, but, you know, if you look at sort of clothing brands, for example, if you can't quite make out, you know, what's what, then I just simply won't buy it. No, you just uh, don't buy no, it. No, exactly. If he hasn't got that series of little pictures that you move along, I yeah. just... No, if I can't see the, if I can't see, you know, is is it a zip? Is it a button? Whatever it is, um, if I can't quite make out the fabric, I just won't buy it. So photography is really, really, really important. Um, Twenty nine ninety nine, um, and Director Adam is just saying to me, "Oh, that's a great price point for a light box." It comes what? They cost a bomb. I'm sure they do because it's professional equipment, isn't it? Professional equipment. So, for example. You know, if you do things like um, not all the hobbies out there, if you if you if you paint, if you sculpt, sort of stitching and things stitching. like that. If you because the thing about a light box is that you can move your displays around in it and yeah. do those several different perspectives. It's just really clever, isn't it? And it's really easy as well. That's what I quite like about it. It's very... It works. It really... I mean, if, yeah. you, if you... I mean, I haven't got one. I will get this one today if there are any left. But um, if you photograph your jewellery, say, on a kitchen work surface, on a, let's say, a piece of fabric or whatever, and then compare it to the photos that you take in a light box... Yeah. Well, makes all just, the difference. It's totally, there's no comparison. Yeah, worlds apart. And look, you've just seen. I've never, I've never had a go at one of these before. So, um, you know, we've got some wonderful, talented directors who take all the photography. Um, but you know, even I could probably figure out how this sets up. So you basically push that down. Oh, you know, Adam. You know, you were saying, "Where's the light?" There it is. Ah, can you see? It's like. There's the light there, and hole at the top, what's this for? If you want to weigh your pieces and you want to take that, what, like this? Oh, I get it. So, for example, if you want to do this, take a photograph of it on the hand. That. <laughs> or do a puppet show if you want, yeah. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like that? But like this? Oh, right, OK, like this. <laughs> then take a photo! Sorry. And this is why I am not a member of the crew. I get it, so you can take a bird's eye view photograph. It took me way too long to get that, Linda did it. Yeah, oh, well, I hadn't really got the time you did it. I was still A uh, genius idea. What an amazing idea. Obviously, you put your backdrop in there, um, whichever colour you wanted. So, um, for example, if I was somewhere like Cartier or Roberto Coin, then I'd probably go for this, uh, um, this beautiful red, wouldn't I? Put it in properly, though. Well, that's the one to put your black jade eyes into. Oh, it is, isn't it? That's lovely. The red looks absolutely beautiful. Even our directors don't have these colours, do you? Um, we're at 29 99 There's loads of you with it in your baskets. Show you the light again, no problem. So if I tilt that back, you plug it in. Here's the plug. So there you go. Plug it in and there's the light. Can you see just here? It's in this. 
these little, I don't know what you call them, tiny little like USB lights. Are they LEDs? There we go. Um, little LED lights and that's what lights up your piece of jewellery. Um, amazing. Or whatever it is you're photographing. So fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Okay. Coming up, wonderful jewellery makers, we have, it's one auction away. Um, we have your amazing colour wheel strand. This, again, if we talk about the 13th birthday, um, this will absolutely go down um, in history as probably uh, um, one of the most exciting opportunities. It certainly took the most planning, I can say that for certain, because the inspiration was taken from um, wonderful Mason and Kay, we've got very good friends of ours. We've, uh, uh, we've uh, had a relationship with them really over the past year or so. Um, and of course, this is what their, their jewelers, their brand is all about. We had 200 of these on the launch and I've got 30 left. So that speaks volumes. The idea and the inspiration, we're not putting this on pre-order because it is so limited. Um, the idea behind this was, you know, the color wheel of jade, all, jade, all the colors of jade, imagine being able to offer those to our wonderful uh, um, audience in one particular strand. That's coming your way and Mark worked alongside that. Now we're gonna do, just before, we're gonna do last opportunities of your Guatemalan jadeite bangle. It comes beautifully boxed as you would expect. Uh, it, it, this is stun absolutely stunning. You know, yesterday we had that really beautiful grey um, that we were talking about. So, um, and the rarest, it was the greyish blue, wasn't it? And one of the things that Dave was actually talking about was sort of that blend of colours. This, I think, if you have the budget, would look amazing alongside. This is, of course, the rare Guatemalan, the lost treasure of Guatemala, this wonderful, absolutely amazing, exquisite Olmec blue um, that historically has been around for uh, many centuries. Um, but it wasn't until uh, so the 1980s that um, mm. it was rediscovered and launched once again to the world. Um, again, it's not mined out. I can tell you that there is an opportunity to source uh, Guatemalan jade. I, however, it has pretty much been taken over by uh, the Chinese market. Um, you've got to remember Burmese jade is now closed, so they are looking for other um, international deposits. This is stunning. You've got absolutely beautiful markings. You've got wonderful translucency. This is your second chance to own it, quite possibly the last. Because even when we launched these, we didn't have a huge amount of the Guatemalan jadeite bangles. Um, again, I, I wasn't able to tune into this either. So I don't know. There's five left in the world. Okay. I know Dave launched it. Yeah. So I do, yeah. Ross is just saying, Elle, I'm not going to tell you what we're taking this to. <laughs> um, but he's, he's, he's just saying, Elle, you remember the price of the Guatemalan jadeite bangles in the past? Yeah, they were seven nine nine. Yeah. Do we all remember that? Yeah? Previous Guatemalan jadeite bangles were £799. Uh, okay. Now, this was on the other shift side. Dave, yeah, with Dave. Every Guatemalan Olmec jadeite bangle, I love the patterning of this. It's almost like floating flower in Guatemala, isn't it? Um, has always been on what's on your screens right now. And that's unbeatable. You know, it, it is still the case whether it's Guatemalan, whether it's Burmese, whether it's Kotan, the bangle is the pinnacle. It is the absolute pinnacle. Really? Ross has just... No, ever. We've never done a, never done a Guatemalan bangle lower than 799. There's five available. And what Ross has just said in my ear was, L. This might well be one of the best deals of the birthday. Okay. No, they did not. It's a great size, this bangle as well. You know, sometimes they can be quite small. The, the, this is a, yeah, great size. Are you ready, jewelry makers? The final five opportunities. Guatemalan has never been Guatemalan jade eye in a bangle has never been lower than seven nine nine up until up until this birthday. Apparently, um, yeah. Dave did something completely unprecedented. Don't know why. Doesn't matter. Make the most of this opportunity. Wow. Y yeah. Look how elegant and chic that looks I on you. The it's just beautiful, isn't it? It's just you know, it's a real look, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
And it, 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 Susie was talking about this yesterday to, if you don't own jade, whether it be a, a, a single pendant, whether it be sort of beads or whether it be, the bangle is the ultimate. I think so. You know, yeah. It's the I would ultimate. Agree. Definitely. Because it's, it's the most, well, it, it, we know it's the most expensive piece to actually create. We know that there's, you still have to, let me just take this off. You still have to pay for this area in the center, um, all that's cut away. And that can't be used for something else that's carved away in the same manner that your Burmese and your Kotan is still carved physically by hand, you know. Um, so we expect to pay a higher price point. We were saying that even in, in the jade markets, I know this is a different location, the jade markets in places like Malaysia, the type B grades that Dave experienced at the beginning of this year, type B, which is polymer impregnated, mm -hmm. was wholesale 5,000. Yeah, yeah. Wholesale. Here we are bringing you, again, a, a wonderful example of this. I love Guatemalan jade. It's become, uh, it is absolutely one of my favorites, if not the ultimate favorite, actually, because of that really distinctive Olmec blue that only forms in this one location in the world. But again, we knew about it. It had been displayed within um, ancient artifacts of the Smithsonian Museum. But the mine location, the precise mine location was lost until um, until sort of uh, more recent years. One is left in the vault. Who's going to get that last one? Amazing. Leave it with you. Manchester, London, I can see you there. And Deborah, congratulations. Well done to you, Lorna, as well. Amazing. But it is time. Okay. If you were to ask me, Al, give me your, what was your favourite? Favourite item of the entire birthday. Bearing in mind, this has gone on for pretty much two weeks. It is 100% this next opportunity. Um, it was on the actual birthday. So again, that, that in itself shows you how special this, uh, this piece, this opportunity was. This is the, an idea, a concept, if you like, that was bounced around by the team um, upstairs for a significant amount of time. So wouldn't it be wonderful if you know the colour wheel that we show you quite frequently on Jewellery Maker, wouldn't it be lovely, lovely if we put together a strand? And of course, they were like, Don't be daft, that's not, it's not going to be possible. You know, that includes the reds, the yellows, the lavenders, the greens, um, all the colours of jadei. We have made it possible. We had 200, incredibly, on the birthday. And we have just 30 left. If you were to ask me what was my favourite, without any hesitation it would be this. If there's one purchase that you make today and you value my opinion, it's this. It's, uh, should we make, this has to be star by. Has to be, Ross. I don't feel comfortable just introducing it willy nilly. Do you know what I mean? This is an oppor a historic opportunity. Imagine owning all the colors of Jedi in one incredible jewelry maker deal. It's your star buy, and it's next. We've referenced before, and for those of you that are new to the channel, and maybe uh, just sort of... Uh, getting involved in the amazing, amazing story that is Jade. One that not just us here at Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia are we new to, the West is very new to, but there are so many of the big, big, big names that we are more familiar with. The likes of Cartier, the likes of Louis Vuitton, the likes of Asprey, who have said, okay, we get it. We're a little late to the party, but we get why you are so fixated on this beautiful gemstone. And Aspreys of London um, have set their stall out and said, look, we are going to be the number one leading supplier of luxury jade eye in the West. And we are launching an exclusive collection. Those pieces, by the way, at Aspreys will cost you anywhere between, is it 130,000? upwards to multiple millions and they look something like yeah sorry yes 130,000 going up to 18 million and that's for all of Asprey's jadeite pieces they will be accompanied as you would expect by the certificates of purity in collaboration with the Oxford University do you want to see what some of those pieces are going to look like 
just flick through because they are absolutely beautiful. Well, this is the 18 million carving and not carving. Let me rephr rephrase that rough. Because very cleverly, Aspreys have said, you'll now be able to commission a carving of your choice from the unique block known as the Stone, is Heaven, uh, Stone of Heaven. Aspreys aren't known for carving jade. They don't have the history of that. It's the Chinese market that does. So what they've actually very cleverly, I think, actually said, I tell you what, you commission your own. It's going to be one of a kind. It's going to be bespoke. Amazing. Cost you 18 million to do so. But that's, that's, that's your monkey. You've got to sort that. You've... A few more million, probably. Absolutely. Recently acquired by the Mayfair-based luxury house, this rough, common, uh, um, uh, promise to, yeah, to precious stone circles, pieces of jadeite featured many of the hues um, with, with which this uh, silicate mineral can be blessed. Notably, though, here's, the, here's what I was sort of skimming down. Notably, red and white as well as the rich translucent green with which jade is normally associated. They highlight in particular the whites and the reds. You've got yellows and the greens um, within there. 18 million. And you might be thinking, oh, it's huge. It's got to be huge. It's definitely not huge. I think it was about 30 centimetres or something like that. But you think that they would, within that price structure of 18 million, you think that would include the carving, wouldn't you, Probably of your not. design? No way. They don't even say they're going to give you the, no. here's the... Here's the details of the master carver. No, no. But you look at these other pieces, and they are absolutely beautiful. You can see the quality. You've got your lavender jadeite. Um, you can see the wonderful intensity of saturation. You can see the translucency um, with diamonds. You've got a wonderful jadeite bangle just there. That's imperial green jadeite. So, again, that's not going to be 130,000. That's going to be significantly more. And they're right. You know, they are bringing luxury jadeite to the world. Um, but there are other suppliers that bring you beautiful quality jadeite, Roland Schlussel with Pillar and Stone, of course, and uh, uh, Mason and Kay, which we, there's Roland Schlussel. And he, um, in terms of the West, that's him and his wife that you can see um, with Dave and Dave and Jake. Um, yeah, now we, uh, they, they met a couple of years ago, actually, at, uh, at Tucson. And these are the words of Roland Schlussel, who has, the reason he was holding that book is he contributed to that book um, alongside other uh, uh, sort of gemologists. And he specifically said about jadeite, the price of type A jadeite is right now at an all-time high. Particularly difficult for us is sourcing the skin. This is the fancy colours of jade, the lavenders and the red. These prized colours are so rare because it is the skin of the boulder as it oxidises. This is why you never get solid red sculpture uh, uh, colour sculptures or jewellery. The skin is so thin comparatively to the boulder um, and the boulders aren't coming out of the ground. So, talking about the reds, the lavenders, these colours have turned the industry on its head. The demand and supply is a real issue and as such we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material and still dealers are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. We are finding it easier to provide imperial green to our clients and at a more affordable price tag for the first time. Can you just say of, of the thousands of years of celebrating jadeite, never has that sentence been said before. No. Imperial green is more affordable than other colours. No, no, it hasn't. No. So it was very much a, could we possibly? Let's show that colour wheel, shall we? Because here it is. It's the GIA colour wheel. Um, and these are the colours in particular that Roland Schlussel was talking about that we've highlighted. But there we go. The boulder skin has completely disappeared from the market as it's the only material that has never been stockpiled. This has resulted in the most drastic price jump that the jade market has ever seen. We strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record is held by purple or red jadeite, which changes everything we've ever understood about jade. And that was said at Tucson 2022. So can you imagine? Imagine the idea, oh, let's do a colour wheel strand. Let's do all of those beautiful colours, maybe pieces. And we found them. We actually found them elsewhere. We went, surprise, surprise, they were on an auction site back in 2014. 
uh, not the best quality, we have to say. I don't know if that one actually had a price, but I remember us actually referring to the fact that it isn't as good a quality as your strand that you're about to see. Um, we found another one. This is Gumps. Now, Gumps um, are in, if I remember right, uh, New York. Is it New York or was it, or was it Los Angeles? Or a forest. They're in a forest somewhere. Uh, yeah. Um, Gumps, again, they specialise in amazing jade, natural jade as well. Um, so, uh, jade necklace, early multiple coloured necklace, piece look what it sold for ten and a half thousand pounds um is that a difficult piece for you to create if you've got the right components is that a difficult piece for you absolutely to create? not it looks like it's got little spaces every four or five beads doesn't even look it? like it's yeah. knotted does it no 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 it isn't no, no there you go and it's got a gold clasp in between i think we found one other san francisco that was it um we found another didn't we one other example and it was this Oh, it's the same one. There we go. Just an up-close photograph of it. Ten and a half thousand pounds. Now, I really want you to take almost like a photographic memory photo of what we're looking at right now. In terms of the colours. And I'm going to show you our colour wheel strand in a few moments. Because we've got one more to show you. Another Gumps multicoloured jade necklace. Created in the 1960s. £4,717. And the next time that gets into circulation, after that particular purchaser puts it back into the market, that will more than double, probably triple. Yeah. Let's, um, I wonder, Adam, with all of your amazing skills of split screens, etc. eyes on it, look. Take a look at your colour wheel strand alongside the gumps if anything as has got more life about it's it it's better it is yeah. better I'd, i would agree because you've got translucency yeah i mean we've bunched the colors together as such if you wanted to separate it like gumps have done you absolutely mm -hmm. could and that's probably what i would do to be truthful i would oh my goodness me I would probably separate the colours to create that contrast, um, like at San Francisco Gumps, Type A Jade I also. I don't want to pay £10,500 um, for a necklace. I would far rather, A, not mine, rather mm -hmm. than put spaces, and I'd far rather a price tag that is achievable, shall we say. Of all the 13th birthday celebrations... This, this has to be the best of them all. It has to be. Do you agree? I absolutely, totally agree. I mean, I love that as a piece of jewellery. I mean. You know, just um, restrand it exactly as this is. I think it makes a really interesting, noticeable... Um, you know, people say, oh, I like your necklace. What is it? Or where did you get it from? That You will get questions about that because it's very unusual. Absolutely. I think our oranges are better. Look, the reds are identical. The whites are identical. The greens are absolutely identical. I think our yellows are definitely better. Yeah, absolutely. You've got black jade eye in here as well. And You've the lavender. It's got more, as I say, more life, more spark, more energy in yeah. ours, I think. So look, Gumps sold $10,638. No, it, it's exactly the same material. It's from exactly the same location. It's type A certified grade. You've got the full colour wheel here. They've chosen to put theirs with gold, which I would do too. There are We had 200 at the beginning of this auction. It was on the actual birthday. Today, we've got 30 remaining. They, in, this, was, this was an idea, a concept that was bounced around upstairs. It was like, oh, could we? Is that going to be possible? And at first, it was like, no, no chance. We're never going to get all the colours and be able to put them all in one strand. But it happened. We're going to make you wait just one more minute. If you miss the actual birthday, or maybe you've got it home and now you're thinking, I wish I'd got another, um, then here's your second chance. Don't wait, though. Hiya, Kim. Hi, El, Linda and team. I have this strand. Stunning. And I have teamed, uh, teamed up with the Green Dragon class. OMG, you must own this if you can. Kim, I agree. It's what absolutely beautiful. What piece of jewellery with that green dragon? And can I say, Kim, insure that, maybe. Oh, um, yeah. Hello, Amanda. 
I bought these. They are just beautiful. Spent ages just looking at them. Will await a light bulb, mo uh, bulb moment before making with them. Amazing, Amanda. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We are about to open the auction for the final 30 opportunities. Uh, uh, you know, high praise. To get the deal of the day status on the birthday is, you know, uh, that, that alone. But I think we all agree it's the most exciting opportunity that we've done throughout the whole of the birthday. Out of 200 that we first launched, we have the final 30. And I don't think they're going to hang around. I can't remember what we took this to. What did we take this to? Remind me. I do remember the one on Gumps, yeah. Let's just start there. Look, got to start somewhere. And is it unrealistic? Am I showing you something that is vastly different from Gumps? No. No, no, on it's many not. of them, it's vastly better. I yes. think that's, that's only my opinion. I agree. But, you know, seeing it here in the flesh, it's certainly got more about it. You've got egg yolk yellow, you've got natural red, and it's not just, an, uh, you know, a, a suggestion of red. Let's better that price on the first crash, uh, on the first uh, price point on your graphics. The reds are better, the yellows are better. You've got beautiful blacks, you've got pure whites, you've got lavenders. Even here, the other one that we showed you from Gumps, we actually said was inferior. Yeah, it is. It's not as good a quality. Um, 4,717. So I tell you what, that can be our next stopping point. And I mean, if you equate that 4,700 and something, Back in the 60s to now, mm -hmm. that price will probably be 12,000. Yeah, probably. Probably. Still beautiful, don't get me wrong. It is. Oh, I love the rosary link look. Yeah. How about you pop along too as well? We will visit a few other locations. There's only a handful that will actually offer you a full colour wheel piece of jewellery. So here it is. Let's, let's better that price, shall we? There are only 30 chances available. How many do we have? How, what, sorry, what did we take this to, Ross? <gasps> oh. We've bettered that Gump's piece already. And that's a 1960. Yeah, that's a really good point. Mm -hmm. Back in the 60s, yeah, that's a long time ago. That'd be a lot, probably, as I say, about 12 grand now, I would have thought. I'm going to tell you that we are no way near. We, we are stratospheres away from the closing price. Oh. Stratospheres. The next piece that we showed you, also gumps, comes a little bit of their, this is one of their signature looks. They're smaller than what I have draped across the back of my hand. These are seven, there's a seven mil, ours is seven and a half to eight. Um, but since uh, 1861, Gumps has been a destination for jewellery that is distinctive and timeless. Once considered uh, more precious than gold and treasured for thousands of years, jade has been more highly prized in Asia than any other gemstone. It represents harmony, balance, protection, and is thought to bring good luck to the wearer. Yeah, I mean, it's not thought to be considered more precious. It is more precious than gold. Most, and has been for thousands of years. We're at two thousand. They're at two thousand and nineteen pounds for smaller size and far lesser quality. I'm going to say, would you agree? Because theirs is very opaque. It's very. It, it lacks the translucency. I think that one there. Look, I'm not turning my nose up at it. Don't get me wrong, no, but but there's a definite. It's more of as is more of a glow, and that yeah. whereas I think Gumps is more of a smarty effect. Yep, I get that. I don't, I don't know, you know. It's not, I like the clasp like... on that one. I really like the clasp. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can do that. It's a round clasp, basically. Hmm. That's a four, which you could probably pick up. Fourteen karat gold. You could probably pick that up for hundred pound on an auction mm -hmm. site. Yep. So we've beat that price mm -hmm. at one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine pounds. We're still stratospheres away, you know. Mm. I don't. People don't. I don't think people really realise just how low we're taking this. Just how low? We don't want to melt the phone lines. We don't want to crash the website or the app. We are so far away from what our closing price is, you will not believe. If you weren't able to join me, Mason and Kay themselves 
and said, look, I'm going to take that idea. I'm going to create that color wheel necklace, also teaming it with 14 karat gold. Again, not the nicest of clasps, I'm going to say. Um, but we're around the same price. This is $1,800. It's a superior color, most definitely. Um, lavenders, yeah, again, I think the lavenders, I think, are comparable. Um, yeah i mean yeah it's it yeah the, the i think the lavenders are comparable the others seem quite matte the the lust they lack the luster even here though for 200 carats of this level of quality here's another one yeah, it's really wishy-washy that one it is it? it's very pale very insipid but it's not in stock but it was one thousand two hundred dollars mm. It is. Photography skills aren't the best either, I have to say. They need the light box, don't they? Mm -hmm. um, but $1,200. Do you think that's going to be anywhere near? The lowest, most affordable price point that we found for type A natural jadeite was a bracelet. Again, it's gumps. And they give it that lovely write-up. You've got rosary linking, and that's using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 individual stones. Let me just count that. And obviously, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you could make that bracelet probably three times over. Um, we've got the exact same colors that are on that bracelet. In fact, you'll probably, yeah, you might even get more. But £1,000 for that bracelet. It's just random. Why, why not just call it £1,000? 1,010 is just a bit strange to me. Um, that's the most affordable that we've seen. We are going to better that on the next price crash. And I'm going to tell you, lovely jewellery makers, that, um, yeah, we are not stopping. Genuinely, 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 if you've got your heart set on owning this, I, I truly think that the price point that you might have in your head is significantly more than what we're actually going to be taking it to. Of the entire birthday celebrations, this is the best we've done. It was a deal of the day on the actual birthday. We had 200 available um, and literally they all, they all flew out. We've got 30 remaining. If you weren't able to tune into that occasion, here is the chance, probably the final chance we'll ever get to bring you a strand like this. Have you got any idea what this is going to? No. Nope. None at all. Even if we said 999, though, how amazing is that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you sort of shown you comparisons. Um, okay, these are retail establishments, etc. Um, that basically, in my opinion, they rely on their their names. Yeah, of course. You know, the marketing goes into the name of Tiffany, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and presumably with Gumps, it's the same. Um, but there's no denying the fact that this is the same material, the same absolutely gem. Possibly um, the same supplier. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. We're there. We've reached that triple figure price point. We have bettered the bracelet that you could probably make three times over out of this strand. And the lowest price that we've seen in a multicolour um, jade piece. The necklace was, what, 1200 And it was quite, yeah, it was wishy-washy. It was pale. It was poor grade, um, to be honest. Uh, listen, I'm not going to turn my nose up at, at it if that's all that I could get. No, but of, but looking at the two together, you know, there really is absolutely no light, no 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 spark in that. The worlds that one, apart. There? Worlds yeah. apart. It looks like it's been in the washing machine too many times. Linda, we're no way near our wow. closing price. No way near. Evelyn, amazing. Mariam, well done. There is a huge, huge price crash. Coming off that uh, uh, that already amazing deal, there's a reason why it was the deal of the day on the birthday. This literally was the centerpiece of the entire 13th birthday celebrations. Um, I would encourage, like I said, 30 might seem like loads, but I can already see um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and, and like and there's names behind the screens as well. Um, if you weren't able to tune in on the birthday celebrations, you will not believe the price point that you're about to see. It's the highest 
highest quality uh, grade of jadeite all the colors so if you've thought oh one day i'll get the yellows one day i'll get the reds you know um uh, and it's all budget to permitting this is ticking every single one of those boxes because it's covering uh, covering them all you've got the pure imperial whites you've got your beautiful apple blossom greens you've got your lavenders you've got your egg yolk yellow you've got your reds um you've got the blacks if there is any item that you buy during the all uh, during the whole birthday let's rephrase it not just today the whole birthday I think it's this. I genuinely think it's this. Especially if you purchase not just for yourselves, you purchase for your family's legacy. They're seven and a half to eight millimeters and a full 40 centimeter strand, type A grade, get them insured. I, I genuinely would recommend you doing that. Um, 499 pounds only. Already so many of you making those confirmations. So listen, we've gone from uh, we've gone from ten thousand six hundred and thirty eight pounds, which sold or you can get hold of ours today for four hundred and ninety nine pounds. You know what? What what sort of strikes me as well that you can spend like those ten thousand pounds and plus on things like diamond, mm. sapphire, you know, emerald necklaces and that. But they're just not as wearable as this joke. True. Linda? You're not going again. That wasn't our deal of the day prize. Oh, my word. I want to really, really, really emphasise this. We will never be able to do something like this again. Of all the pieces that we brought to you over the 13th birthday, this is probably the most time-consuming. In fact, definitely. Definitely, in all, in all senses. In all senses. It was an idea, a concept put to the table that everyone kind of went, <laughs> yeah, as if, that's not going to So happen. it wasn't just said, well, would you like to purchase this, you know, for the company? It was... No, we, we commissioned prospected it, it yeah. yeah. There was 200, which is absolutely incredible. It is incredible, actually. So it's Gumps has that one. Yeah. for example it's incredible considering they're all exactly the same size and they all work together so beautifully you know it's wonderful to have um a piece like this with all these beautiful colors but it is the same gemstone each one's the same gemstone so they sit so beautifully together no matter what color they are Linda, I think you're going to... Sh I'm glad you sat down, to be honest, my lovely. And I'm, if you're not at home and you've got your heart set on owning this, there was only... I say only, that's amazing that we've got 200... We had 200 of them. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Um, and something, I think, as a, you know, as a company that they should be really, really proud of. Um, we've got 30 today, or rather I had. There's more than 30 of you with it in your baskets and on the phone lines. Don't let that put you off. Now is the time to call, because I can't believe I'm about to say this out loud. Even that is no way near your closing price. We need now is call to action, everybody. There won't come an opportunity like this again. The re and, unless, of course, you want to go to one of your first dibs or your auction houses, or you want to go to Gump, so of course in San Francisco, amazing you can do. Um, if you want, look, if you want to buy the finished piece of jewellery, yeah, they're not fabulous. You can do that, of course, but it's going to cost you more. Um, there's nothing know. stopping you. Maybe you think you're watching right now. I'm just trying to put myself into the shoes of people that maybe don't make jewellery. But if my dad was watching, bless his heart, if he was watching right now, I'd be like, well I, well, I can't do anything with that. You can. You get the necklace, purchase a gold class. You can do that on, uh, online and get somebody else to knot it. You know, uh, it's, it's about this component that's on your screens right but, now. Uh, you know, I don't know whether I should sort of say that, but from my uh, point of view as well is this is... If you've got that thing, what am I going to do with it? Don't even worry no. about that at this stage. Wait until you've actually got it, and then it will inspire you. If, it, if that doesn't happen, this is so highly collectible yeah, for future generations. You know, because, do um, you know, with probably my granddaughters, they probably won't have any access at all to new jade it'll all be second secondary market it will be it will be inherited mm -hmm. absolutely it will are you ready nobody was ever paying 10600 or 999 or 499 we incredibly launched the colors of jade the only strand and probably we ever Ooh. have done and ever will do 
at £299. That's why we were saying, look, this, if this is the only purchase that you make across the entirety of the birthday celebrations, most of us would gravitate towards this one wow. um, because you are ticking so many boxes. Um, it is a real legacy opportunity for us all. One that, you know... Wow. Even Dave, with his uh, amazing relationships that he's built around the world with Bernard, um, over in Hong Kong, with Sally Hewer, even they have said, look, no, this... Sally Hewer said to Dave uh, a few months back, look, I, we can't continue to bring you type A jade out. No, so, well, it's supply and demand. It is supply and demand. Um, and even more so, even if we can, we can't do it at 299 Um So well done to those of you that have got yours. Massive congratulations to those of you who have checked out. We had originally 200 of them. Uh, you know, whether you choose to, I would mix them up like Gumps have done there. I would personally mix up the colours. Um, so you've got that really beautiful sort of uh, rainbow-like effect. I genuinely think that we surpass their colours in, in many of them. Oh. Oh, absolutely. And I think the totally red's agree. far better. Yeah, I totally agree. I think the yellow is far, far better. I think our lavender is far mm. more lavender as well. Um, but look, 10,600 sold. Um, today you can get hold of it for 299. Evelyn, amazing. London, well done. Sean, well done. Abiola, well done. Licolette, well done. Marion, multi buying, amazing. Well done. Anna in Derbyshire, amazing. Lorna, Gillian, you've got yours as well in Telford. I've got Cambridgeshire, Samantha, Karen, Sonia, uh, West Yorkshire, Tracy, Hertfordshire. Maker, if you want those four, I only ever had 30. So, um, and well over half the stock have, has gone on these already. Karen in Hampshire, amazing. Amazing. Sean in Northampton, you're there as well. The final 30 opportunities went, look, look, that quantity is not hanging around. You need to be quick. Um, that's where we started. We had 200 at the very beginning of the um, deal of the day on the birthday on the 4th of May. Um, we have 14 chances as we speak. Jackie, Gillian, well done. Sussex, well done. London, Gabrielle, Cheshire, I, there's too many names. Look, we're over allocated, so it's going to be allocated on a first come, first serve basis. Um, there's no point popping it in your basket and just leaving it there and hoping for the best. Um, get it home. This is your opportunity. That would be like us sitting at, at, at a, an appreciating auction in Sotheby's, something like that. Um, and not do, and, you know, I want that piece of jewelry, but not putting your paddle up. Do you see where I'm coming from? I mean, this really is a, a museum piece, isn't it, really? It's a, it's a look what Jay can be, look what, you know, it's, it's that premium. Wheel? Yeah. It's that colour wheel. Again, uh, can, we go, can we just quickly show that? It's off the GIA, the GIA colour wheel, where you have this wonderful uh, sort of Catherine wheels of colour, um, and it's got those colours all within this amazing strand. Just It was a concept, an idea that we thought, no, that couldn't possibly happen, um, but, but we have achieved it for you, and it's an incredible, it's an, an incredible acquisition. Um, there are 37 of you with it in your basket for the final 10. Christine in Essex, you've just got yours. Alan in in Somerset, you've just got yours. Nine available chances. Gabrielle in Dumfries and Galloway, you've done it. Um, Cheshire, you've done it. Uh, London, you've done it there. I'm just trying to call out the ones that have recently made their confirmations. Um, I've still got Lanarkshire there, uh, Staffordshire there, Sussex there, Cambridgeshire there, Samantha there, Sonia there, another Samantha, new customer. Um, people on the phone lines as well. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. It is eight remaining opportunities. Just to put this into perspective, um, you know, Bristol, you can do it if you press your option one. Essex, you can do it. Um, if you're not checking out, then you will be missing out on this opportunity. Uh, you know, and I ask this question knowing the answer, sort of during uh, opportunities like this, alongside the likes of Dave and our amazing team, that work tirelessly behind the scenes to make opportunities like this um, available to us all. You know, and, and you know. Uh, credit where that is due as well, making this such opportunities are possible. You know, this is something I could literally take home. I could not, and I would put on 18 karat gold class. I could approach first dibs, um, and mm. they would probably put an astronomical price point yeah. on top of it, yeah. even if I did that. I'm not saying I would, because this is something that I would like to pass on to future generations. The final six. In fact, sorry, five. Karen, you've just got two. Well done. Sonny, you got yours. Amazing. So if you see your name on this side of the call screen, Justina, Paul, you've just got yours. Well done, I've seen you confirm. So if you are Justina, 
Gillian, Paul, you just confirmed. Staffordshire, Sussex, Cambridgeshire, Sonia. Oh, no, I think Sonia. Samantha, Hertfordshire, maker who wants four and you disappear. I can't see you all. The other ones are Northamptonshire, Lincolnshire and Kent, County Durham, West Yorkshire, Greater Manchester, London, Gloucestershire. There you go. Um, if you're any of those people, there are five remaining chances available. Four, amazing. Congratulations to your Caroline. You've just got yours. Congratulations, lovely. It's going to blow you away. The strand is absolutely beautiful. And, and we're not, we're, I wasn't showing you, or Dave wasn't showing you any pieces of jewellery there that um, is an unfair comparison. No, not at all. You know, no. I'm, not, I'm not showing you something that is vastly different, that is smothered in diamonds and encrusted in, the, you know, in, in a huge amount of platinum. It's, look, it's basically the same, just reconfiguring the colours. But all the, the thing about this this um, this piece, this strand of, of jade is that once these last couple have gone, in my book, this strand is irreplaceable. It is. We will not be able to get any more... No, we've been told that. ...like that. I mean, literally, we won't. No matter what price you're prepared to pay for it, we just yeah. can't get it. No. And this will be known though, as the it? lost gemstone it in is. about 20 years, won't 299, it? 299, no. Sorry, so I've just remembered, I've just looked up and seen it, and they're like, £299 for something of this rarity. There is one left. Oh, who's going to get that last one? This is so close. So, so, so close. We I mean, were massively over-allocated. The reality is more of you are going to miss out than be successful now. I'm so sorry about that. It never pleases me to say it. That's why I try and give you as much of a heads, out, heads up saying, check out your baskets. We had 200 initially. Good luck, everybody. I'll leave that. There's Patricia in Yorkshire, Lynette there, Nottinghamshire. Can I have uh, a... Of course you can, my lovely. And personal. Thank you. Of course you can. I'm not going to see it again. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. What was that, Roscoe? The Reds was very popular in the first hour, absolutely. Can you believe, where's that time gone? Now, a si this is unbelievable. 65 centimetres. Now, it's, it's knotted already, so if you wanted, I would probably make sure it's really secure and probably re-knot it myself. However, it's done the work for you. It's kind of laid out for you. So you've got that really beautiful graduation. This is 65 centimetres of red. You know when we were referencing earlier on Mason and Kay and we were saying with their red jade eye, you get, you get one bead of red jade eye. Remember, as if you were to bite into an apple, um, the flesh will be the colours like your greens, for example. Um, they're the more dominant colours, very still very, very rare, don't get me wrong. But um, the reds itself is kind of, uh, it is where the, uh, where the boulder actually oxidises, so it's wafer thin in comparison. That's why when we've shown you the red jade eye boulders, uh, or carvings rather, that have sold at Sotheby's and Christie's, there's been sort of a moment of it, if you like a, um, a sash of red that runs across the surface um, to get an exclusively red jadeite piece remembering what Roland Schlussel said to us as well that he believes that red jadeite could surpass that of your imperial green in future years um, there you go. The boulder skin has completely disappeared from the market as it's the only material that has never been stockpiled. This has resulted in the most drastic price jump that the jade market has ever seen. We strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record is held by purple or red jade, which changes everything we have ever understood about jade. Said last year at Tucson, it's the colours circled right there. And those are the colours that I can absolutely see in this exclusive red jadeite necklace. Um, it's 65 centimetres, graduated. Is it graduated? I feel like it is. Six mil? Yeah, six mil, yeah. Oh, it must all be the knotting then. So, mm. um, so how beautiful is that? I mean, I, I, I wouldn't do anything to this other than probably re-knot it. It's like a burgundy. It's like a dark burgundy colour. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Some will say this is the rarest colour of all because of course it's that skin uh, it's actually the skin of the boulder itself not every boulder oxidizes as well that's another factor to consider um often when and i've shown you these powerpoints in the past where they will auction say a bangle and say oh it's a red bangle a red jadeite bangle but it's actually not it's probably three quarters of it is actually white um well done every single one of you that's already got involved 
the first price crash. These are last remaining opportunities of your type A jade eye, all completely natural. Um, 65 centimeters. Oh. Gosh. Can you imagine that yeah. in Sotheby's? Um, I can, but it wouldn't be in that price bracket. No. Can you imagine this being in Sotheby's and say, let's, let's use Gump's necklace as an example. Ten and a half thousand pounds. It's not unrealistic, is it? No, not at all. No, absolutely. Because it's it's quality, it's rarity, it's everything about the gemstone that comes before it. Yes. That sort of convinces everybody that that's I wanna, you know, okay. Yeah, I want to say something that, and I get, I totally get it. I get why people are like, well, why are you bringing it to air at 499 then if you're saying these kind of prices? Yeah. I get it. I've had my friends, my closest friends, and my family actually say that too. Yeah. One thing, if you've ever met Steve Bennett, will know that he will never, never deviate from the ethos of this company. Never. His whole ethos was, look, he could start a jewellery company, you know, like a traditional jewellery company, and he could have sold ones and twos, could have sold a single one of these, and it would have had probably 400%, 500% markup. I used to work in those jewellers. Believe me, they work at those price points. Or he says, I can bring that level of luxury to the masses. And that's why he buys big quantity, direct to source where possible, which is absolutely what we do still to this day. Um, and instead of putting huge price points on, on just one or two pieces, I work off minuscule price points. He will not deviate from that ethos. And that is how we still bring you this business model effectively. Yeah, and effectively, because of, of his original relationship with all of the gem markets throughout the world, then um, he sort of removed all the so-called middlemen. Yeah. You know, and each of those people involved in the sale from concept right up to, you know, putting it in, in our retail shop window, everybody has to take their little bit. Everybody wants to feed their family and, you know, have a life. So um, Steve did say, I do remember when he first started, he said his, his sort of mantra then was, um, he'd been over in, in Africa for a while researching gemstones and, and then throughout the world uh, carried on doing that. And his mantra was, I want to bring genuine gemstone at affordable prices for everyone to enjoy. I bet he never entertained the fact of bringing type A red jade out there. He would never have given it that a thought no. at that point. Especially no. at £199. No. But that's the difference. We are not just one that of these That would have jewelers. been the dream, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it would have been the dream, utopia. That is the difference. We are not those jewellers that have the expensive overheads that have to pay astronomical insurances um, that Rents they do, believe me. Um, they pay for the security, etc. We've got our own security, don't get me wrong. You couldn't just waltz into our vault, of course not. But... Um, and we will sell volumes at any given moment in time. But as lo one of the things that's my responsibility is to make sure that you realise this is no reflection of the true value or worth. Natural, type A, not B, not C, not polymer impregnated, not dyed, 65 centimetre strand of pure red colours in your classic six millimetres. You can get it home today for £49.75. I mean, look at the continuity of colour yeah. that goes throughout that strand. Do you know why I've described this? And I said, if it's OK to describe it as mutton fat or it's OK to describe it as... Well, they're very literal in their descriptions, aren't they? Oh, the, yes. Well, it's literal in translation, isn't it? Cherry tomato red. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Leave that with you because I've got two more strands to bring you. I've got a seven mil and a five to six. The color on this one is unbelievable. Generally, it couldn't get any better. Look, I tell you what, look at the GIA. See the circled colors? So obviously you've got your yellows. See those three in a line? Would we all agree they're the best colors of red? Yeah? It's proper terracotta, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of a... Cherry tomato red. Yeah. Isn't it? You know, when yeah, you've got a really delicious yeah, ripe yeah, cherry yeah. tomato. And you're going to, well, you can go into anywhere and buy tomatoes, I suppose, but into Marks and Spencer's and you see all the different tomatoes. Yeah, yeah the posh they ones. Are the, yeah, they're the posh ones. That's the idyllic colour. Look at yours. Yeah. Uh, totally... 
These launched during the birthday. They are brand new. There are seven left. You get 150 carats. Can you just, to put this into perspective, this is like going to the, this is like tuning into Jewelry Maker and get yourself a, um, a decolourless, eternally flawless diamond. It's the best. It's the best that you could possibly get. This is like you turning up saying, okay, I want the perfect quad eight hands a night. That's what I'm looking at here in terms of its red color. There are seven available and immediately, immediately we have got in. I'm not surprised because you recognize the quality. First one has gone in a, in a heartbeat. Um, good luck, everybody. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. The ripest, juiciest cherry tomato is the color, is the pinnacle color of red jadeite. Um, not a blend, not just an air area to have that wonderful intensity we're going to do this in one price crash because we've only got a handful i agree with you ross you said this is the best i've seen i agree i mean what, what, with whatever color jadeite you've collected in the past mm. then this is your next one to go for really isn't it because it will as you've seen on the color wheel it will go with all the colors of jadeite you've already got mm. And this one being the, the one that's eventually, as in the colour wheel, it ties it all together. We've got all the colours in the same gemstone, which is just idyllic. Well, this is like the what imperialist to green. Definitely. That's what this is to red. Yeah, well, I mean, in, in China, Japan, wherever, particularly in China, red and green are the imperial colours. Yeah. And the most revered. Oh, my goodness me. Sorry, I've just looked up. Oh, I know you said I know you said one price crash, but I was expecting this to be two nine nine as well. I love it though because I'm a purchaser as well. Me too. Yeah. I couldn't say I own I, I own Jade I, if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker. No, no, absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely no. no way. I you couldn't what? say I, that I work with Jade I. I don't honestly think I would have been able to use Jade I or even known about it in any great, you know. No, not to the extent that I do no, now. Not exactly. to the extent. I remember my, my first experience of jadeite, uh, though I can tell you about the two. The first experience of jadeite was a, a carved piece that was in the jewellers I've spoken about before. Going back 24 years ago, it was about that big, half like half a credit card. It wasn't really even a piece of jewellery, it was just a carving. Um, that kind of like a cabochon, I suppose. And that was two and a half thousand pounds 24 years ago. Exactly. Um, and the other was when my mum went to China and she bought back a carving itself. But it wouldn't have been anywhere near the prices that are on your screens right now. No, in China it would have been far more expensive. Far, far yeah. more expensive. And I've, I've, I've got that piece right uh, as we speak. Um, and yeah, it is insured for far, far, far more um, than what the prices that we see on our screens. Kerry, Nicolette, Tanya, amazing. Suja in Durham. Kerry, well done. Um, how many do I have left? One. Okay. There's just one of them left. Do we agree? That's like the D to the diamond or the quad A to the, to the Tanzanite. But much, the much, much rarer than the diamond. Oh, much oh, rarer. Yeah. Oh, it's the last. Do you know, it's making me want a nice tomato salad. <laughs> mm. Makes your mouth water. It does. The bit of mozzarella on it, yeah. An onion. Yeah. Delicious. Okay, that's that's lunch sorted. Oh, let's now oops, let's now bring you. It's such a beautiful colour, isn't it? It is. And no other no, colour brings no, no other gemstone brings that colour. It doesn't, no. It's not with that sort of glow. It certainly doesn't. Even here at 499, we know this, don't we? Lovely jewelry makers, we know that that's an incredible price tag for a full 38 centimetre strand of this this level of rarity. I love it. I'd be putting this alongside maybe. It'd be a lovely addition to your colour wheel strand, I think. Most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Or maybe some of the black jadeites that we brought you earlier on mm -hmm. in the show. How about teaming along, contrasting it with maybe with some of your uh, Tahitian pearls that we saw? We're just simply knotting it. Again, colour doesn't get any better than what we see on our screens. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past, you know, Ross, when we've shown, oh, here's a red carving that was sold at X amount of monies at Christie's or Sotheby's, there was a percentage, wasn't there? There was a percentage of red colour. It didn't have, you know, that solid, intense uh, um, glow. It was, it was a proportion of it. I don't know if we can find that, can we? Do you know what I applaud, though? I love the fact that there are 
the slightly more um, orangey ones, more tangerine yeah. ones, and then you've got that deep red blood orange ones as well. I love that because that's what makes the piece of jewellery. Yeah, that's it what is. you want to do with it. Here we go. Makes the interest. It does, it does. You, you, obviously, these are natural stones, so you're not going to imagine it just with mm. one solid colour. Um, here we go. Here's a bangle. Solid that is auction. not a red jade. Like it's bangle, not. It's white, it? if anything. Yeah. But again, look, look. Mm. This is a whole, and they they don't go white. They call it red because which is the mm -hmm. rarest color? Red, uh, the red. Mm -hmm. A hundred carats of beautiful, like ripe cherry tomatoes. That's how I'm going to describe it. It's not romantic. I get it, but none of the descriptions of colors for jade I are. A hundred and forty-nine pounds only, or thirty-seven pounds and twenty-five pence on your split payment. Well done, everybody! You get a full hundred carat opportunity. Again, make sure you do check them out. Um, that, by the way, that bangle that we were just showing was back in two thousand and fifteen, when the Burmese mine was still operational. So imagine what the value of that bangle is going to be right now. Well, that was ten thousand to fifteen thousand dollars. Yes. Then. Then. And that's, that's the estimate. So it would have, they always mm -hmm. underestimate, mm -hmm. don't they? They overestimate. Um, so just to gain the interest. Well done. Make sure you stay where you are now. I'm just going to have a quick little break. Don't go anywhere, though, because we have still got more amazing birthday deals to bring you. Um, it's the after party, and we're bringing you all the best bits. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. You are officially a teenager. Over the last 13 years, you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration. So thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday. I'm very excited to come and celebrate with you. Hi, Charlie here, Summer Street Director. Just wanted to wish Jewellery Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi, you lovely people. Happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from me at one o'clock each day. Have a great time. Keep on making. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of jewellery maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the jewellery maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, jewellery maker. birthday jewelry maker happy birthday <laughs> happy 13th birthday jewelry maker i can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you uh, and happy birthday once again hi my name is susie mellon and i just want to wish jewelry maker a very happy 13th birthday Mwah. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jewelry Maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Hello Jewelry Maker, John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word. 13 years, you've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. From the Hobby Maker team. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewelry 
and I know this birthday celebration there's even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. can we squeeze in 26 minutes you can squeeze in loads. oh you betcha i can <laughs> loads and loads loads and loads and loads and i, I do you know it's funny because adam was bringing some items out and linda's like oh ooh, <laughs> ooh. i know honestly some of these i've seen some of them i haven't now we're going to come back with an i two items that absolutely flew now they're both available on pre-order they are separate um these come from uh, the czech republic and I can tell you, rainbow, $9.99. Butterfly, $9.99. If you're thinking, what's the difference? These are your pastel colours, basically. They are very, very, very limited in their stock. You get bicones in each. Um, it, it, again, to, for it to get back into stock, it sells out every single time. It was These were Mark's requests, weren't they? Um, so let's talk about the rainbow. Plus, you get this lovely little storage container as well, which is absolutely amazing. Um, if you think back, Mark did some lovely, colourful kiss cross necklaces, didn't he? And bracelets and um, uh, obviously did his, uh, his, his usual professional finishing touch. And they're just joyous. But if you're thinking, I can't kiss cross, I can't see bead, you can just put them on things like memory wire as well. They oh, work yes. absolutely beautiful like so. There are thousands in here. I and can't these remember. are the creme de they, la creme. Because they're, cre they're Czech, of, aren't they? Yeah, because they're Czech. And I mean, you know, this, this is what used to be called Bohemian Crystal. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, long um, when, when Swarovski said, right, not doing elements anymore, um, Preciosa and Czech glass all went, hey! Yeah, um, because it's like literally all their Christmases and birthdays came at once. And believe me, they're not substandard. In fact, they are. No, got, as you've just said, creme de la creme. You get they beautiful. Are. AB stands for co uh, the coating. It's Aurora Borealis coating. We were asked that question during the launch of these. How many have we got, Roscoe? 60 available of each, both the butterfly and also the rainbow. Um, and it's going to happen. 9.99. Wow, you know, we've we've gone from, you know, the creme de la creme of gemstones with the jadeite and the organics with the pearls and that. And now this is the creme de la creme of affordable beads I'm that yes. look wonderful. I mean, you do stacker bracelets, stacker stretches in these and you're on holiday or something. Ah, oh, amazing. And it's just, you know, ankle bracelets, things like that. And these really, for me, are the beginning part of jewellery making because they are so exquisitely beautiful. You get the little box. I, well, Mark was saying, like, you've got the kids who are going yeah, exactly. on, about to go on half term at the moment, um, soon, aren't they? You, you don't know, find I... the kids work. And, and, and I mean, I've got four granddaughters and they would... Love it. If they were here in the studio now, those would not be there now. No, I get it. Oh, yeah, under same. the desk and, and away. Same, 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 same. Um, yeah, Willow will be like, ooh, because they are. Uh, I think Willow's more of a magpie than I am. Um, but it's all those beautiful, joyous colours. Mm -hmm. 9 99 We've got people multi-buying. Well done, Catherine. Get it snapping up six. Jackie, Chantal, five, Stella, Helen, Wanda, Patricia, Rebecca, Maker, Marion, hello to you, Merseyside, London, Susan, new customer. Less than 30 of these left. Now, and it, I, look, it took us two years to get them back in stock. 
Yeah, and I mean, you know, going back to the kids, get the children making jewellery now, oh, and they will be the jewel because they're the jewellery makers of the future. Yeah, they might might be the you know the Coco Chanel's of the future. Who yes, knows? Absolutely. But you've got to start them early. It's like with tennis and things like that, isn't it? They all start really early. Mm -hmm. So why not with jewellery making? Do you know, Stuart from um, our sister channel, Sewin Street, who used to be a teacher. I didn't know that, and uh, he was talking about because Willow's doing a sats at the moment. He's like, don't worry about it. I would far rather the children as a teacher is and I'm not worried about it she's six years old it's not gonna mm. sort of just define her life no no um but anyway she he was like I would rather kids be creative at six years old and I totally agree yeah totally well agree creativity that. encourages education absolutely as well. Yeah. Let's bring you the flutter by, shall we? Again, these are the beautiful pastel colours. You know where it's going. We've got 60 available opportunities. So these are loose, whereas these are on strands. There are thousands um, it, within this box, plus you get the storage container. They were reordered especially for the birthday, but it's, got, it's actually been two years since they've been on screen. And this was at Mark's request. Um, we launched these alongside that colourful storage case that... Um, uh, that you saw at the beginning of the show as well. £9.99. It's all down to personal choice, whether you want to have the vibrant colours um, in the rainbow. Um, oh, to be honest, 20 quid, you can get both. Well, I mean, let's face it, you've got every chance of doing an ombre now on any of those colours, haven't yeah. you? Because you've got your paler ones and you've got your deeper ones. So uh, you can ombre those beautifully. And the amount of uh, jewellery that Mark made out of these two boxes. It's huge. Yeah, it was. Huge. It, it was. It was enormous. It, From uh, the most simplest form of jewellery making as a stretchy to the most complex, yeah. like, you know, the kiss cross. Were these yeah. on the birthday? It was, wasn't it? So you can watch the show back. I'm sure it was in the 12 o'clock hour. Sorry, beg your pardon, it was the 9th. Um, so have, in the 12 o'clock hour, you can look back, there was so much jewellery um, that he created out of these two boxes. Um, how many have you got left of the butterfly? Okay, under 20, so good luck. Again, make sure you do check them out. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Okay, let's do the last of the Cotan. Where am I looking? Okay, okay, bear with me on that one. Um, let's do this. You've had your eye oh, on Oh, I've got my you? eye on that. Oh, my word. It's a metre. Oh, my word. Of this, your birthstone. This is... Do you know what? This is divine. I mean, you know me. I love my little bit of sparkle and that. But at this level, this is a dream come true for me. Let's, let's, let's work from end to end, because this will blow your mind. It's amazing. What's better than a strand of gemstones? A strand of multiple, and I do mean multiple. So you have, within this opportunity, wow. beautiful garnet. Wow. Amazing amethyst. Whoa. Beautiful aquamarine. There's a theme, isn't there? These are yeah. your birthstones. Instead of your diamonds, we have your pristine eye clean clear quartz. Then you have, for, you, uh, for all you May babies, you have your amazing emerald. And then for our um, June. June babies, you've got moonstone. Then for July, you have your lovely ruby. For August, oh, you have your peridot. Go. September, you have Burmese sapphire. Whoa. For, where are we up October. to September? October, you have your uh, tourmaline. November, you have your citrine. Wow. And finally, December, yes, you guessed it, it is tanzanite. Now, we only have a limited quantity of these available. Only a limited quantity. It's a full metre long length strand. That's, right now, £5 per month. I mean, honestly, the, the things that are going, the pieces of jewellery that are flying through my head at the moment, the amount of creativity that seeing that strand has given me, um, I mean, um, you know, do you remember the fire opal earring yeah. from years ago? Well, oh, those, you know, yeah. I can just imagine that going through those different rainbow Sorry. colours. Amazing. And micro kiss cross as well. I think that would look lovely. Samantha, oh, hello to you. She says, gorgeous. I have this. It arrived yesterday. OMG, it's oh, beautiful. Thank imagine. you, jewellery maker, and a very happy birthday. Thank you, Samantha. It is beautiful. I totally agree. Now, when we launched it, um, we, we had 300. Um, um, I've got just 50 
remaining today. That's it. Once they are gone, they're gone. They're going to go a long way because you've got that full meter long length. Um, this was on the ninth again alongside Mark. And um, I know he was saying, oh my good goodness, that could be micro kiss cross galore. Um, you could use it for things like your bubble style. Linda, I'm looking across yeah. at your beautiful creations. It's a hundred centimeters of, of, of multiple gems. Tanzanite, emerald, Burmese sapphire, ruby, Rajasthan, um, beautiful quartz, peridot, tourmaline, moonstone. You've got multiple gems all in one. We did not hold this at 59.99. Oh. Oh gosh. How many have we got left? Because I'll have them, please. Oh gosh, 49. I mean, you know, this this is all a matter of, I don't know what's the word to use. It's all not opinion even, because it's taste. not about it. So it's just what floats your boat, basically. Mm -hmm. Personal taste. And this, as a jewellery maker, is what floats my boat. This is, these are what make me truly, truly excited. Um, there's so much that you can do I with know. this. I know, I agree. I love, I, oh, I love the three, particularly the three mil. Oh, you know, the absolutely. three mil for me, you can do your bubble styles, you can do your rosary linking, you yeah. can do your uh, um, ladder weaves, your beady beads, stretchy bracelets. Yeah. We showed earlier on, that, do you know, by the way, is £2.50 per month, by the way, for, per month. Wow. Of, you just think about it. All those emeralds in the middle, £2.50. Your tanzanite, £2.50. It's emeralds, tanzanites... I mean, the garnet is stunning. Look how that's Two pounds fifty, and the peridot. Yeah, I thought. I know. I, I totally agree with you. Absolutely agree with you. And it may, whenever I see three millimeter faceted rounds, I immediately think of Ashley Clark, who, by the way, you know, we talk about everything's going up in price point at the moment, isn't it? You've got the pints of milk. I mean, have you seen the price of them? Eggs at the moment, which I kind of get the price increase of those as well. But um, but Astley Clark have got one of their most successful collections, the Biography Collection. Um, you t they, theirs has gone up um, over recent, like 10, 10 or 20 pounds, I think, per bracelet. Um, and it's really simple, really simple beading. Um, Linda, these earrings are absolutely beautiful. They're real sh shoulder dusters, those, aren't they? Yeah. Amazing. I absolutely love them. And that sort of wire wrapping around your precious metal. Um, amazing. Well done. Now, I've got just a few more minutes left on, um, on show. Um, can I ask a favour? Adam, have you got a big white bust? <laughs> um, <laughs> I bet he hasn't been asked that before. <laughs> um, this is a, a colour that I'm, I'm experiencing with you right now. I've never seen it before. It's referred to um, in China as candy. <sighs> and it's this beautiful, delicious, almost golden. Well, it's, it's almost like a... Um... Oh gosh, it came and it's gone again. Um, what are you thinking? It's a smoky colour, isn't it? Yes, it's like a Madeira colour. Yes. An amazing kind of rich, smoky colour. Thank you, Adam. This, ah, oh, yeah, just because the white background, I think, really showcases the glow of these. Yeah. Um, as it's like an antiquity gem, that, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, like your imperial mm. topaz and gems like that. Now, first and foremost, I, I, you know, obviously this is a new colour that we've never seen, or I've never seen before. I know some of you have, but um, but let's not forget this is Kotan Mutton Fat Jade. So that alone, without the description of any colour, this is Kotan Mutton Fat Jade. So it's steeped in history, widely regarded as the best jade in the world, and that's not just your nephrite varieties. That's jade full stop. Um, sadly, though, is rumoured to be all mined out. So if you own Kotan Jade. Um, then 
again, I would uh, hold on to it even tighter. Let's just put it that way. Dave's even said about Kotan specifically, don't sell it now. Don't sell it now. Wait a few years. If you are thinking about a sort of generating money, don't sell it as we speak right now. But we've never done a color like this before, and I absolutely love it. How gorgeous would this be with the red jade? I, mm. Imagine those two together. Now, the previous... One single asymmetric red jade, I maybe on the decolletage on the on, on the um, collarbone or something yeah. like that. Now the previous Cotan um, mutton fat jade that we brought you closed at four hundred and ninety nine pounds, which is incredible. What did they close this at then? Have we ever done Cotan jade at that price? In a strand of this length. It's what, how many, you got 108 pieces to make that mala, six millimeters in this size. If you wanted a mala, if you don't, I would just knot it as it is. I, I don't think this would be a mala for me. This would just be a knotted necklace. Um, wait a minute. Have we ever done Cotan Jade at what you've just said in my ear? Outside of a, of, of a strand like this. It's a huge price jump that I've just heard. I love this colour. It's, you know, it's like, for me, it's like a Zarite. And I'm not making comparisons yeah. between the two gemstones. Um, but Zarite is quite a... Yeah, it's like, it is like a it's Zircon colour as well, isn't it? Uh, Zircon, yeah. The There's an elegance right, to yeah. it, isn't there? Yeah. You can I mean, describe some pretty, some beautiful. This is elegant. Very elegant, very chic, very stylish, very, very wearable. Uh, with with anything, I mean, I am itching now to have the birthstone strand and just with this. use all of those birthstone colours in that space. Amazing! Yeah. That would just whoa, Linda. We're at one hundred and ninety nine pounds for Cotan Jade. Incredible! I Imagine mean, it with some gold in between. <sighs> or silver, or rose, whichever. But for me, imagine gold spaces dotted in between there. How unbelievably beautiful that would be. £49.75, this has been added to my order today because I've never seen anything like this before. Never, ever, ever. From the most historic location of source of jade in the world, the Kotan mine, where they used to literally wade into the Kotan River to sift for this beautiful gemstone. Um, they used to do it under moonlight because they believed um, that yeah. that would help could, the yes. jade glow even more there are six left of these in existence now if you might think gosh they're very low in quantities that's what the after show is all about it's the last uh, last opportunities to get hold of items if at all that we've played uh, played during the show if you want it you need to be quick i've only got four only got four of them left unbelievable such a big price drop that i wasn't actually expecting okay i can do a super speedy recap because this is too beautiful to go back to a vault it really is. And I've got to be honest, if I had the budget, there's two of them available, I would join you on this. Because when we talk about legacy, when we talk about heirloom jewellery, when we talk about purchases to pass on to future generations... Absolutely. Firstly, my children were, probably won't be able to purchase Kotan Jade. Not from the primary market, no, no way. Then, they, you know, they, over in China, they've said, we are a, of a generation right now that probably won't be able to afford jade, full stop. It is that much of a price surge. So that... consequently now, collectibles very much in the frame. Yes. And collectible, that word collectible, with something like this or, or any antique, or if you've only got to watch uh, Antiques Roadshow to see that confirmed, but collectible adds a huge premium. It couldn't be any more collectible than what's on your screens. Mm -hmm. The history, there's one available. Make sure you check out... Oh, I, oh, budget. I so want to get hold of that. Because that is the best. I said it earlier, this has got to be one of the best we've ever done. Well, ever, let's, ever, let's go ever for done. it. We'll, we'll have it. We'll have it between us. Should we share? Yeah. That's a good Why call. not? And we can... Yeah, we can straight we can, down the middle. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now, we said earlier on, maybe with uh, the candy, or with this, actually, a single red jade, yeah, possibly, definitely. Most would look definitely. lovely to create that contrast. Yeah, that pop, yeah. How about something a little bit different? And one of our recent launches here at Jewelry Maker, it's been on air once. Um, this was on the 3rd of May. Um, this is your Nanhong 
Again, it's, uh, it's such a Whoa, beautiful, beautiful beauty. gemstone. That's almost like Sakura, isn't it? It is very similar to Sakura. Yeah. Um, yeah. Imagine one of these kind of dotted in between the Kotan jade, or maybe use it uh, alongside your uh, your candy coloured Kotan. Um, it's described as twisted silk, nanong agate. This is completely oh, wow. and utterly natural. And what we really need to learn that both with your nanong and also with your Sakura is we, we we know agate we know agate mm -hmm. we're familiar with agate we know that it is one of those gemstones that is you know a bit more affordable however there is a big difference between your dyed agate mm -hmm. to your nanong and your sakura a massive massive difference um, these are not treated they are not dyed they are all mother nature's doing now these absolutely flew on the original launch um we did did we do a wheel deal on it oh dear oh is that one of the ones that ross uh, that, that uh, dave was like well, so what do i do i spin it and then what one, one customer gets the price and i was like no they all do they all do dave so let's do it let's match it let's honor it he says you'll wonder why because it's a quite an obscure um number about to appear on your graphics and that's why we did the yeah yeah i do remember because uh dave was like oh so what does one customer get that price reduction no, everybody does. Of course. Of course they do. Whoa. I'm sh yeah, I agree. I think it was meant to be seventy nine ninety nine, and then it was old spinneroo of the wheel deal. And I we just love the way Mother Nature's mixed those pinks, those bright pinks, the slightly lighter pinks, and those oranges. I mean, what what we're getting lots of primary colours, aren't yeah. we, this season? in clothes and lovely things. and bright pink and bright orange is being mixed all over the place yeah it is mother nature coral like a coral before. color yeah yeah, yeah, that's why it works, obviously. Yeah. Um, I, again, I was chatting to some of our colleagues on our sister channel yesterday, and they had some Nanhong uh, pieces of jewellery. I don't know what they were taking them to, but absolutely amazing. £55.99 or £13.99 on split payment. Again, the fact that it was on split payment tells you that, you know, that's uh, um, not where we're meant to be. The last opportunity um, of the after um, of the uh, uh, of the after show, um, and it's a recap basically on the color wheel. Okay, there are still so many of you with it in your baskets. Do you know when you lay your head down tonight? I don't want you to think, oh, I should have got that color wheel, because the reality is it's not going to be there. We're not going to be able to repeat something like this again. The concept was an idea that was bounced around by our amazing uh, team upstairs and they said, look, would it be possible, do you think, to create, you know, like the GIA, that full colour wheel of, uh, of natural jadeite? Do you think that's going to be possible? And it was a case of, no, don't be ridiculous. We're talking about one of the, ra the rarest top 10 gemstones in the world. Um, and to be able to include every single one of those colours in one amazing strand surely has got to be unachievable. But we have the contacts. We made it happen. We had 200 on the birthday, on the 4th of May. Um, if, 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 do you know, it's fair to say, as an assumption, if we see Jade again, it's not going to be at £299. We know that. We've been told by our, direct by our suppliers that, look, you, I can only offer you type Bs, type Cs moving forward. We've got quantity for the time being, but it's dwindling by the day. Um, the final couple opportunities, and I do mean couple, Mary, good luck to you. Hertfordshire, good luck to you. Gloucestershire, good luck to you. Elaine, Patricia, Justina, Gillian, Staffordshire, Sussex, Cambridgeshire, you disappear off the screens. You can still do it. That's the reason why we're recapping it. Um, you have the rest of the day to make your confirmations. At midnight, everything will, of course, disappear um, or till uh, stocks last. Um, there will be a couple of opportunities loaded to the web, including things like this, the birthstone bales um, that we've brought to you. So keep, eye, uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, Linda, it's been so lovely to see you today. Thank mm. you for popping along and joining me. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Do you know when you're back? Good. No, I'm waiting for dates at the moment. Waiting for so, dates, hopefully yeah. not too long. Yeah. And if yeah. I can bag to you, that would be great. <laughs> okay. Um, have a lovely <laughs> Sunday afternoon, everybody, and I'll see you on Wednesday morning. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. You are officially a teenager. Over the last 13 years, you have 